Audio one, audio one, audio. Right. This is me, check one, one two, second. three. Right, let's do audio one, audio one, audio one. Let's do, let's go there, let's go there. Let's, let's level up the first two. Audio one, how's it sounding on to you, you guys? Yeah, you sound yeah. great. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm going to drop yep. down that way. Right. I, uh, I hear myself John? way too loud. Yep, so I'll just drop you down there. How's that? Sound uh, better? Yeah, that sounds good. Better. Uh, Zane, give me some. Check, 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 check. Just check, tell me a little check. story. Check. Come up just a little bit, maybe on me. I can. Yeah, that sounds good for me. I can hear myself pretty well. Cool. I think we are all good in this proverbial hood. Good in the hood. Oh, okay. Hang on a um, and are we doing table audio? Is that a thing? Uh, shit, yeah. <laughs> we don't need to worry about it for the first game. Yeah, yeah, okay. let's just do what we got now, and we'll, we'll, go, we'll go table audio for the next one. I'm going to move this over. Cool. All right, three, two, one. Hello there. How's it going? Hey, everybody. Can you all give us, a, give us a thumbs up in the chat if you all can hear us okay? Too much weird. Apparently, when we were doing the tests, apparently the audio was going out, so there we go. <laughs> so, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to uh, today's LCQ. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm Cockles, and I, we've got, well, you guys introduce, I'm not doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, uh, so we are with Yavin Base here. I have, uh, I'm Zane Ferguson, hot and frosty on the Discord. I'm joined by John Bushman Bushfax here. Um, Bushfax we, Bushman. Okay, sorry for the Get politics. Right yeah. <laughs> Dang it, I just do the cameras. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, right, no. So right. we are actually uh, taking. We are we are filling in for for uh, Endless here, um, running running on uh, his channel, and we are uh, most graciously joined by the That's No Moon guys yes. from the UK here. So we have Cockles on with that, and we are doing a split stream for Sim World simulcast. Yes. So you will you can see. Yavin Base and That Snow Moon streaming at the exact same time right now. Anything that is chatted in either channel funnels into one and we can see it all. So apologies for the late start this morning. Uh, it was a bit of a uh, tussle trying to get um, audio and video and everything linked up and connected the right way. But guys, I think we are rolling and we are set here. And so thank you so much for joining us on this wonderful Thursday morning. Quite literally rolling as well as the game's kicked off. Yes. So we've got uh, the LCQ, as we say. Uh, we've got Adam uh, is uh, playing. Well, we've got Adam and Jeremy are the first up. Yeah. Um, Zane, I think you've got lists. Who have you got? Whose list you got there? Yes, I believe I have Adam's list. Yeah. Uh, so Adam is playing. What's he got? Adam has got. Uh, he's playing Rebels here. He's got a Cassian um, with two Rebel vets with CMOS, uh, just Rebel troopers DLT uh, with a medical droid. Uh, a Rebel Pathfinder with POW, Duck and Cover, A300, Recon Intel. Another Rebel Pathfinder with Biston, Duck and Cover, Recon Intel, A300. Um, a Mark II and Ahsoka. So Cassie and Ahsoka, two Rebel Vets, two Rebel Trooper DLTs, one Mark II and two Pathfinders. Nice. Do you know what, do you know what I'm actually, this is going to be really fun for the LCQ today. You're going to see some lists that aren't going to be like what we expect. Well, what we'll see yes. tomorrow and Saturday and Sunday, that sort of thing. So I'm, this is going to be fun to see yeah. different things. Uh, so what's Jeremy got then? Jeremy has... He's running Empire, from what I know. He's running Empire. I'll go grab his list and I'll read it out to you. Bear with me one second. I've got his list right here. Oh, here we go. Oh, you can do that. Yeah. Uh, he is running... Color-coded chaos, he says. Darth Vader. This is Commander Vader with improv, anger, reflexes, and saber throw. Cad Bane. Uh, three snow troopers. With an astromech. Two oh. astromechs. Because so two of them, yeah. He yeah. has two ATSTs. He does, yep. That are coming up. And the two ATSTs, one with the blaster cannon. They are placed. Let's give you a, one with a the better mortar. view to see those. Also... You'll be able to see whenever we switch over to this other camera view, guys. So AMG has fully rolled out a red carpet this year as far as prize support goes. There is a full prize wall that has stuff we've never seen before. I think there's still stuff up there. We don't know what is there because we haven't seen it yet. Got that's correct. I got a brief, brief right. glimpse. Yeah. Like I literally looked up and went, oh, that's cool. And it's involving various different artworks and dice and all this sorts of stuff. So uh, 
when we get more information, we will tell you. Yes. So if so, what you, I'll, I'll pan over so you can see this here. Yeah. The sidebar. These are the new sidebars. Uh, one second. So we've got the side. We'll, when we get the camera up, we've got the sidebars. There's loads there, uh, and they have gone whole hog. And I know there was talk about tables and what might be there in terrain, but um, having scouted around and looked at the tables, not only the one we've got for stream, but also around everywhere else, the uh, the tables are awesome. Uh, Cursed Cowboy, thank you that we are just looking into the Frozen video now. Um, but yeah, it's just one of these things we're sorting out. We got it. Hopefully that might change now. Yeah, we've got some change. There we go. But the tables look awesome. Every time I looked at one of the different tables, there was something different that caught my eye. Um, one particular one has is huge. And I mean huge as in uh, for height five <laughs> minimum. It's like the big spire type object, so it was pretty cool. All right, so you, can you guys in the chat, can you all see this uh, this sidebar here that I've, I've zoomed in a little bit on? I know it's kind of upside down, but... Uh, should be good. I think we're good. I've got the screen. I've got the screen here. So we got there. Awesome. So yeah, this these are they're they're I think they're just three buys. Um, so you need two of them to go on each side of your play side. Um, but yeah, they have the AMG logo on them. They say Star Wars Legion. Um, they are stitched on the sides. They're not just that like. Not a hard cut off. Yeah. Like a mouse pad. Yeah. Like it looks. It looks really really good. So yeah. this is what like. How many tickets you need to get one of these sidebars? Like 64 or something Holy crazy? Holy crap. Like, it's a lot of tickets to get one of these things. So, um, but yeah, so as you can see here, guys, the terrain looks awesome. I suppose we can, there is the potential that you, we be able to reveal more prizes tomorrow. Yes. And, uh, well, who knows what happens with those prizes? Ooh. What are you uh, trying to say there, Cockles? Oh, I just, who knows what I'm trying to say? Who knows what, what, what I might say? No one knows. I don't tend to know. <laughs> but, but hello to all you in the chat. Uh, obviously, a uh, little shout out for Tom, who couldn't be here from the TNM team. Uh, he is, he's acting as the That's No Moon podcast on the YouTube, uh, hence why he says hello cocktails on the chat. Um, <laughs> he couldn't be here, obviously, because of life. Um, but shout out to him, though, because he's done some work behind the scenes back in the UK. Uh, that you guys will be able to see um, later on as Worlds goes on, um, which is awesome. Uh, so shout out to him. But hello to the rest of you. And um, I suppose shout out for David as well. Oh, yes. Is, is David, there a man in the... David has been watching, or is watching, actually. As has been. David is watching. He has been... Papa, in Papa Endless is overseeing <laughs> us. Papa Endless. <laughs> Papa. So shout out for David. You are missed, my friend. I know. Yeah, but, but yeah. All right, so let's say we're getting some movement here from an ATST. Left ear audio. Interesting. Let me look at the pan. That'll do. Let's have a little try. That turned out that someone had turned it all the way left hand side. Hopefully, I'll now only have uh, I'll have all the audio going both sides. All right. Yeah, let's and figure so out what they're doing in this game. So, guys, we, we don't have player audio just yet. We are going to look into that for the next one. Um, right now, we're just – today is our Slow dress rehearsal. Up. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're applying a little bit at a time. So, um, definitely the next round we will see about having that in for you guys. Um, but for now, we are just running commentary, video, making sure all the puzzle pieces are fitting together. So. Okay. Gents, how are we feeling this morning? I'm feeling great. Now I get to watch some Legion. Right, now that we're finally set up, I'm yeah. feeling excellent. Like, yep. <laughs> is, is that like, you know, everybody's running around like, this cord got uh, that connected here, and this one snapped this in here, and that, and you get feedback over, you know, and then finally like, oh, cool, it's all working now. We're good. So, so and I suppose a little bit of background on us then. Uh, Zane, how long have you played Legion then, and, and, uh, and where are you from and all this sorts of stuff, just um, for anyone who doesn't know? Yeah. So I'm... Uh, those of you who don't know me, I'm Zane Ferguson. I'm, I'm from the States. Uh, I'm actually no. I'm a travel nurse, so I am all over the awesome. nation. So, like, you, people find me, like, I'm in California right now. I've been, I was East Coast before that. I've been Central, so, like, all across the U.S. Um, I've been playing Legion since, it's like, early 2019, I That's think. That's the beginning. Yeah, like, 
it wasn't, that's it what was, I consider the beginning. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like smack beginning of release. Like I waited a little bit because I was like, oh, I'm going to get sucked into this if I do it. And then I right. walked into a store and some guys were playing and they were all painted. And I was like, yeah, cool, I'm in. And yeah. so like early 2019, I got in. And then LVO 2020 was the first uh, first competitive tournament I went to before the dark times. Um, yeah, and then I've been to uh, several since then. So <laughs> Dark times. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we don't talk about that in nursing. <laughs> um, we have a query on the chat. Is that dice cam or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just we being will. sorted, don't you worry. That could be David. So you'll see the dice on this view. He's just trying to cram all those words into the objective deployment condition. Something that should be said. Zane and I and the rest of the team, uh, like Ollie and Andy, who've been watching, I don't know about you, Zane. John's done some sterling work. Oh my gosh, oh, you dude. guys. <laughs> Can Hopefully I just say, we'll this guy over soon. here was dropping the hours, putting in some cool stuff for us. So, um, like like we said, we will be ramping up to things as we, as we get the flow down and, and get everything going here. But yeah, if we can get everything running uh, full steam, it, it, this will be an awesome, awesome production it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna be good he says oh yeah it's gonna be hot and frosty ah hey, see you did there, there? Go, there we go. <laughs> uh john will ask you in a minute when you finish doing te techie stuff in the meantime yeah. though for me hi i'm cockles i <laughs> i'm from the uk don't say it's so sad like I, don't sound like you actually came from the uk no well it's it's, oh. it's a british thing we can't have that much confidence as you guys have <laughs> it's like We've got years, <laughs> centuries, centuries of repression embedded in us that makes us go, I'm from the UK. <laughs> we have a class system. No, I know I'm from the... Uh, yeah, so I, I dived in in, in, in uh, day one on this. My wife made the mistake of thinking it was a board game. Oh, um, in this, I, so, And I moved over from X-Wing as X-Wing went 2.0. Obviously, this was released, so that was the conversion. Uh, she made the mistake of thinking it was a board game, and um, she's regretted it ever since. <laughs> um, so that's that. Uh, yep. So I, my home in the UK is uh, near Cambridge. Um, that's that. Uh, yeah, no, and I generally will play Republic mainly, but I can play all the factions. Um, I don't. I don't play Empire, but that's because I don't have it. But I could play it in theory. Yeah. Um, Rebels were my first love. Yeah. Remember the, the halcyon days of the double barbecue ATRTs running up ah, stuff and going yeah. and that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, that's me. Uh, obviously, I, uh, myself, Andy, and Ollie, and Tom do the That's No Moon podcast uh, over in the UK, and obviously around and everything else, which is good fun. Um, and yeah, that's me. Uh, Love it. I'm, g I'm generally the chatty one. I'm glad you're here, man. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. Um, I've j I bumped so the guy who established at Adepticon, Hank. Yeah. Um, seen him a few times working his. Uh, behind off yes and he he's so he's like I'm so glad you're here at the same time I was like mate I'm so glad you got me it's all <laughs> it's all lovely yeah, Hank, um, Hank did, I, I think I believe this train here I think is Hank pa Hank did Hank painted his, his team like when we were oh, talking man. with him like month two months ago he yeah. was like yeah I've got about 800 pieces of Legion terrain to That's paint crazy. and we were just like what and he's like, "Yep, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just in the garage." I think he said he has his kids, Machine. like he has his kids, like uh, um, painting for him. Uh, so he's like, "Yep, they're, they're all in there, dry brushing and airbrushing and just hammering out terrain." Because we, how like totally ethically working for him? Yes, 100%. of course, of course, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah room and board for sure. <laughs> um, but today's player count, guys. How many guys do we have playing in this LCQ? Do we have a full count on this? I heard the someone said 108. Well, that was. Your man saying. Oh, well, right. was that Andy or Ollie? Because there's a different liability factor on each one. Ah, true. 60 people. Oh, well, there we go. Look at that. Okay. Game <laughs> up like okay. That. But, guys, yeah. there, there, how many tables did we set up the other day? Uh, I don't know the f official count, but it was over 120. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. So, there, guys, there, there's, this is the biggest amount of Legion tables and terrain that we have seen today. And it is beautiful to see. And some of the, and also seeing some of the models of painting wise and things like that is, is <laughs> properly amazing. Which segues in because I forgot to mention the newest member of our team back in the UK is Jack, who uh, joined very recently and he's doing video content with, with Tom. So yeah. shout out to Jack yeah. as he's well. Our man. Mr. Prouting, 
Um, he likes to paint. He paint. You might like his paint stuff. You, I'll show you, get some pictures later on. He paints um, and tries to make them look historical. So he's. I think he's done, oh. he did some rebels. Yeah. Very World War Two style. Oh. So wow. from a distance, it looks bolt action, but close up, you go, oh, it's a oh, blaster. That's awesome. So yeah, no, he's he's painting is pretty that's special. Very cool. Um, so yes. So we've got. Oh, we have a resident judge down here. Um, Cami is judging the stream table all which weekend. Is, which is really nice to have a judge here. Yeah. Because yeah. for those of you that don't see our setup, so last year we were smack in the middle, right? Oh. Legion was just off to our right. We were in like a really good spot there. They've redone everything now. Legion is actually on the far side of the hall from where we are actually streaming. They put all of the streaming over here, so we have all of the AMG um, official titles right here yep. in one area. Um, and so we're, we're in a good spot. I like kind of being back here at the back because then you're not having a lot of traffic and people running behind you. And I don't know if you noticed, you know, there's a breeze here as well. There is a breeze oh, back so here. Good. It is cooler back here because these, these back bay doors open up. So, so it's nice having a judge right here instead of having a, have one come running over. Um, so having Cammy here the whole time will be awesome to uh, oh. So, oh, lights. Oh, hey, there we hey, go. Let there be lights. They just turned some more <laughs> lights on for us. They didn't realize how dark it was in here until that just clicked on. Man, it's going to be an adjustment. This is so lots, there was a big cheer when the light came on. That was entertaining. <laughs> Did thoroughly enjoy that one. So to my left, obviously, just for context, so this area that you're talking about is saying, to my left, I've got immediately Shatterpoint. Yeah. Straight there, which I keep, I can't, I keep glancing over and going, cool. Because, uh, I mean, it's just there. And then I think we've got MCP just over to the next. And then to our right is X-Wing. So X-Wing, yeah. When you guys, as we start winding down through this weekend, when you start hearing a lot of cheers and a lot of rambunctiousness, it's probably the X-Wing guys. Because that that's their jam, and it's we love it for them. So, do you want to hear a small world story? As how, like, so, the, so your man who's doing the stream for, for uh, X-wing, he was in the forces U, in the US forces and stationed in the UK. He's called James, and I started playing Legion with him huh. in our local area because of the air bases near where I live. And when he left the states, he, he, he stopped playing. Legion, sorry, left the UK, went over back to the states, back home. And he converted out to X-Wing. And then lo and behold, he was like, oh, man, why are you? Small world stuff. <laughs> Genuine. And he's like, what the hell, man? That sort of thing. So it was, uh, yeah. yeah, it was pretty, it's like, oh, small world. That's awesome. I love small world syndrome stuff. So, guys, state of the, state of the game here. It looks like our uh, ATSTs are moving up to a pretty dominant. Uh, They're trying to control that middle. Yeah, for sure. They, they've got a pretty good bead here. It's going to be hard for the uh, Rebels to to get out there to take shots without taking a lot of losses. Um, Cad Bane for uh, our Empire player is, if you're looking at screen, he is right behind where it says objective, um, I'm pretty sure. Um, is it me? Or did we not see the Cad Bane stuff, or did we miss that? I think we, I think we missed it. I think, he, I think he, he popped them out pretty quick. They're on, I believe they're on turn two right now. Boys are just sorting out some technical stuff. So I've just muted them for a brief moment. I think we're trying to go get. What's going down, John? Not much. Uh, still, still ramping stuff up. Still got a lot of streaming tools to plug in. Nice. Yeah. So we're getting. So think of this as our, our dress rehearsal. If you're watching, ready for everything to be looking yes. even more amazing It'll tomorrow. It'll be great. Definitely by the end of the day. Who was it? Who was it? Someone from theater said it'll be all right in the night. I can't remember who it was. Oh, I don't know. We're from America, we don't watch theater. What is this? <laughs> so, how many cross Atlantic jokes are we going to make about each other this weekend? Nonstop. <laughs> Unlimited <laughs> numbers. It's the way it should be. Sways. I'm happy with that. I can deal with that. <laughs> and then I can just, if YouTube gang up and I just call out the bullying card. It's like, no, it's not fair. It's not allowed. <laughs> We may be joined by um, the other TNM guys, Andy and Ollie, 
later in the day and or uh, over the weekend. But I'll tell you why that I say later, because the caveat is if they fail, then they're, if you hear them on here, then they've failed. <laughs> uh, and, if you, uh, and, if, and if you don't, that means they're doing well. Uh, Ollie made the point, though, he, was like, he said to me, oh, Cockles, I was, I, was, I was ill at Worlds last year. Only, only man in top eight not to be streamed. So uh, I think that's his subtle hint of saying, I want to be streamed. <laughs> and I hope everyone appreciate my Ollie impression then, really. Do we know why lists aren't appearing in Game Uplink? Just curious if there is a word on the street. They're just not visible yet. Not Judge visible hasn't yet. said them visible. So Zane is just finding out they're wondering about timings. Uh, they're just wondering about timings, and um, so Zane's got to find out how the timings work. Because obviously, when you're on stream, it takes a little, I mean, a little bit longer to get set up, and obviously there's some few things that you need to run and things. So they're just when you're on stream, you get a little bit of a, a leeway uh, doing it and all that stuff. Louisa says, uh, "Ollie needs to make a top eight appearance." Then really, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if you're rooting for Ollie or your husband there, Louisa, but there we go. You're rooting for both, surely. I'm actually rooting for everyone you know. It works. I'm intrigued to see how the Rebels hold up against what will be some interesting firepower from the ATSDs, but it's not the because it's not full ATSDs with the with every gun. One's got the black the grenade launcher, and the other one has the. It, do, it doesn't take full guns to kill rebels, though. Well, this is the way it's true. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. And white save fails, and white save fails. Is this the way that is? The rebel player does have Ahsoka, which is good, but the Empire player also has the big bad lightsaber himself, Darth Vader. So, And here's the superior Vader. Commander it Vader. is. So first impressions, I'm not hopeful for the Rebel player. I feel it's going to be a tough matchup. Even if I love Rebels. Yep. It's going double Pathfinder too. I mean, the Ion is cool against ATSTs. It's probably the its most effective use. You know what, that, I mean, not that it was planned this way, but that could be an interesting use of the Ion to see, not interesting use, as in interested to see how it fares. I still think the Pathfinders are going to get wiped. Yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, let me run down the rebel list again. Um, so we got Cassian Andor. He's got some pretty standard upgrades, duck and cover, O push, recon, and a sniper. We have two sets of Rebel Vets with the CMO-93, uh, one accompanying Mark II, and then you've got two Rebel Troopers, both with the DLT-20 and a single Medbot. Then two, both Pathfinder sets, uh, POW and Biston, duck and cover each, recon intel each, and Ahsoka Tano with force push, burst of speed, tenacity, and seize the initiative. Oh, it looks like turn two cards are down. We have Fear and Dead Man against Volunteer Mission. Okay, okay, okay. Make some updates here. It's always fun when you bump into people and people come say hello and you haven't seen them for a while. Yeah. That was that was Dave Grant, the 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 man, the meme. Oh, that the was him. The man, the meme, the legend. Um, that was Dave. Uh, he he was popular. He fl he flew in from China because he works in China for, and he was saying like, he finished work at 11 p.m. in China, China time, flew, and I think his flight is like 14, 16, 14 to 16 hours. Oh jeez. And yeah, so he's uh, he's a little tired, <laughs> uh, but he'd be fine. And this is what's interesting, to our left. There's a, there's a great divide um, currently being opened in the whole of the arena. And to our left, you've got all the vendors. So it's going to get louder in a minute. You'll hear background noises, so just be aware. Um, but yeah, it's like opening up and you can see all these vendors. It's crazy. 
Uh, I'd never had a concept of how big Adepticon was until I got here yesterday, and I was just blown away by the Man, sheer... you weren't here last year. No, I, no I'm not good enough. Uh, <laughs> so I was blown away by the sheer size of everything, and yeah, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Uh, Justin Reed says he will be grud he will grudgingly root for Oli. I don't think you should. Uh, what is the activation disparity? Uh, I think... Is it two, is it two to one? Uh, two, two, up, two up on the Rebels, I think. I'll double check. As far as the total? The total, I think it's two up on the Rebels. Yeah, that's a great question. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it might be one. Nine, I think it's nine to eight. Seven acts. Oh, seven. Yeah. From oh, Imperial. of course it would be as Vader yeah. and two ATSDs, of course. Yeah. Two hundred points a pop. Yeah. So uh, that would be is it Adam. Yeah, Adam. Adam Newton, uh, who is the Rebel player, and Jeremy being the Empire player. Um, Adam might. I mean, if he kills an ATSD, but he's going to have troubles doing that because he's just going to lose a unit per turn, probably, or more or less the bulk of a unit per turn. Correct, David. It is a very elite imperialist. We do have the dice cam on, for those wondering. Um, on the top-down view, we'll have it here. But until oh, we... Here he is. He's back. Oh. Talk to us. All right. So, guys, we have Josh here, our awesome, wonderful head judge of the uh, worlds this year. And... Uh, the players asked me a question a second ago, asking me how much time we had left in the round. Ooh. Well, we are following the random format, which AMG is putting in place. And so we will not be able to know what the player's time is. Um, the judges know that. If they ask, if the players ask us, the only thing we can say is there's time left in the round. That is all we can say. It is. Are we not allowed to say how much time has passed? No. Not even that. No, because they don't announce when the time starts either. No. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. So they make a they make a judgment call based off of when the players are. Looks like they're all at their tables. They're all squared away. Then they start the time, and it is random from there. Are so. we allowed to log it ourselves, but obviously keep it done for people watching? I assume maybe we can be. I don't even Ooh. know how much time is left. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that that is something here that we will we will play by now, like. For us, when we get the next game going, we can kind of like gauge where we're at. Um, wow, yeah, there was a very so, cold. So they're they're opening the uh, the vendor hall next to us, and and the breeze has has washed through this way. It feels great to me. Um, John is buttoning <laughs> up over here. It feels like we're in Chicago. Yes, yes, and it does. not in a convention hall. <laughs> this is fine. It's fine. It's okay. I'd rather be cooler than sweating and nothing to do about it. Yeah. Should have brought a suit jacket to wear on top of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get you guys some. We more. got some ATST measure. Or this is measuring to the ATST, probably. Looks like it. Yep. Yeah, let's swap over to our fancy teams. Looks like there's a couple rebel losses so far. Uh, probably three rebel troopers. Yeah, it looks like from a DLT squad. Yeah, yeah, DLT squad. It looks like he hasn't lost anything but just troopers out of it, so he still has some efficiency with that squad, hopefully. Yeah, heavy still there. This is a this is a, a monumental task here for um, for the rebel player for sure to take that that middle control point. Um. Yeah, and this is the scoring round, the first scoring round. Yeah, yeah. So, Imperial player has a. Where where do we have Vader hiding? Oh, Vader, man, that's a stuff good question. In. You see, you guys can see Cad right over here to the right. Actually, he's he's measuring to him. Oh, there's Vader right there. He just knocked him with his stick. Oh, behind you the building. Yeah, there head. he is. He's a little lightsaber. Right there. And then Cad is just on the top of your screen, up behind him there. Okay. So that is Cassian, that is. Oh, that is very close. To that Cassian. is yeah. That is a oh that's. Oh, that's terrifying. Oof. Yeah, this Vader's gonna come into this back line here with Cassian and whack him around. It's like some, cut him in half without even thinking. Don't oh. know about you, but I don't think he wins that fight. 
I know. Yeah. I mean, there's, but there's a Mark II with a standby, right? Are his snows kitted out with anything, or are they just snows? Uh, they have some stuff. Because if they've got flamers, then... No, they don't. Okay. You, please tell me you about to say... No, they've got scanner flamers, and toast. two Astromex. <laughs> <laughs> Astromex. Okay, all right. Okay. So some comments on the time. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris uh, Sorrentino says, How does that work with the stream, though? Guarantee the stream is due to get extra time. I would imagine that Josh, our head judge, will probably use a bit of discretion and... I think he'll just make that work. He'll be sensible about it. Yeah. Com yeah. Common sense will apply, even though it may not be a common sense rule. <laughs> right. So for, for the stream for us guys, basically basically the uh, when the judge announces the time to them, we tell you guys, hey, he, he called time. There will be a random runoff time, I believe. Yeah. That's, yeah. Is that random? T I thought that was a hard 15. Uh, that's that's where they're rolling the dice to figure out they're adding no, the extra. No, the, the rolling the it. dice was at the beginning. They oh, the rolled beginning. the dice at the beginning oh, to, to determine how much time, plus or minus. It was like plus or minus a couple of minutes per hit result. So I don't gonna, know. We can ask Josh. He's right here. Let's see. Head judge coming in. Zane's asking the question. At the moment, it just seems like those... I don't know if you follow your Premier League football, but basically whenever no. they add added time, everyone just goes, how do they make that up? So <laughs> it's the same. I think they've just applied the same rule. Now, you're talking about soccer. Right? I am talking about fo soccer. football. Football. God, soccer. Because it's called football. And yes. I mean, you're saying... I'm having this debate because I am a American football fan and a football fan. So Oof. The, the, the predominant conversation in the UK will be, why is it called football when you play it with your hands? I, you're not wrong. <laughs> All right, guys. So America I got it. America does a lot of messages. I got up it from stuff. the head honcho here. Here we go. So they're so it's two hours thirty base time. Yep. They roll red dice. You add an add a minute for extra paint. Any paint you get, you add a minute for it. How many? And red that's at the beginning. It, it, I think they're rolling five. Five. Okay. And so Ooh. then they will call time, and there is a fifteen minute hard runoff, and okay. that is it. So once he calls time, we will have fifteen minutes, and then we'll be done after that. So, so if they're anything like my red dice. When I roll Yoda saves, yes, it'll be one minute. One minute, <laughs> yes, yes. Or if I roll like uh, like I roll for my uh, my uh, Emperor at LVO, there will be no extra. Time. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, ab absolutely no extra time with eight dice rolled for sure. All right, guys. So it looks like oh, these rebels are going for those shots. Cursed Cowboy says, "Refresh my memory. Since I haven't played a game since before LVO, how many rounds are in uh, rounds are in a game? Five? Question mark? No, it'd be six. That would be six. Um, yeah, but you would hope that everyone gets to turn six, but mo most games can sort of end in turn five. Or yeah, four, according sort of to uh, what's going on. According to Head Honcho here, the fact that our our round is in two right now is actually on shed. pretty yeah. well okay. with how the other games are going. So we are not any further behind. Yeah, round behind ones normally take quite a bit longer. I don't, and I mean, maybe we're distracted with the stream stuff and the time passed, but it felt yeah. like a pretty quick round one. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Oh, that was not the role you want to see from Pathfinders going into ATSD. Looked like a single surge result. Eesh. And now they are That's ripe, be the ripe for the return fire, as it does not look like that ATSD has uh, has activated yet. Do we? Let's see. Is he keeping wounds on the ATSD models, or is he keeping them on his cards? Let me go have a look. Um, looks like on his. Pick on his card. Also, want to give, I don't know if you guys have done this, or have you done shout outs for everybody that's involved in getting this up and going for us? No, we have not. Yeah, so like, we, we want to throw out some shout outs here. Shout -outs. Obviously, like, Endless for uh, for facilitating things to get things going here for Yavin Base. The That's No Moon guys for uh, uh, collaborating with us on this. Um, AMG for hosting yet another really, really solid tournament so far. Um, the Bombad Generals have supplied a lot of the stream equipment equipment to Most help. help. Equipment. Yeah, pretty much yeah. everything that is supplying the uh, equipment up there is, is I'd say, 90%. Yeah. Um, is, yep. is theirs. Pretty um, accurate number. And so, huge shout out to those guys. Um, Game Uplink is a massive part of this entire thing. I know they are pulling out and all it's the stops. On point right now. They, yeah, they are pulling out all the stops to make sure that this weekend is running because we 
will have the largest amount of people accessing that server at the same time for Legion. Yep. Um, crazy. So huge, huge shout out there. Um, who else am I forgetting, guys? I missed who you started with. So I'm just Yavin Base, you guys, Bomb Ed Journals, AMG. Uh, just, um, do, do you know what? I think generally any, anyone who does anything content related relies for the game. For me, just yeah. shout out. So you stab cast, Legion 99, Notorious Scoundrels, all Fifth Troop, obviously. That, that, everyone, because I think it, may, it sort of joins everyone together. Yeah, and, and the community for this, and, and I've said loads of times on our show and things like this community is really, really special. Uh, without wishing to compare to other communities and things like that, it's just kind of like this feels different. Yeah, it's, it's much more personal. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I, obviously, I met you face to face yesterday. Yeah, and I feel and like I've been, known you no, forever. It's, yeah, it's like, <laughs> hey, bro, it's all good. Yeah, so it's just like all this sorts of stuff and like other things. Like, so obviously, World Team Championships took place in Spain uh, earlier this in January. Yeah, for so those of us in the UK who don't travel too often uh, because of life or quality of play, me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, both things. Are, both, both, both apply. Um, it, it's, I'm with you. It, it's, um, it's like meeting like, so I, I met Luke Cook and had a chat with him. Did we talk Legion? No, we were chatting, um, we were chatting fo football. Uh, we nice. were just chatting no, thank you. We were ch chatting about the bills, and he was unhappy about Josh Allen get treated all this way. And all this <laughs> it was just like so we, we chatted football. This was, and then Austin, and there's some st special stuff going on between Austin Miller and Ollie Dyer going on tomorrow, which you'll be all informed of. <laughs> um, it's really fun. I know, I, I know what both are doing to each other, and it's hilarious. I know. I saw la so, so last night, guys, we went out to uh, so y'all should find this uh, pretty funny. Um, <laughs> Oh yes! Also, huge shout out our new dice tray. You can't, you can't, you can't see even it. Can't see it. You can't see it because that's the point of it, and yeah. that shows you how well crafted it is. Um, you remember our dice tray from last year, and, and Endless has used this the old dice tray on many streams. That gives us this uh, chroma key overlay. Well, we kept having an issue with the shadow in the box of the dice tray, and so Alejandro saw this and he was like, "We'll fix it. I'll make you a new one." Yep. So he just made. He just had had it made brand new and it's it's deeper the sides are inclined so the dice will bounce towards the middle they won't stay in the edges and there's no shadow in it yeah. because it's all chroma key yeah. so before the sides were black so that's where our shadow casts in now it's not now it's all so chroma key so it doesn't matter where the dice go you're going to just see dice and not shadow so that's why now when you guys see this cast there's no like upside down L on your screen or weird black line like it's not there thanks to Alejandro and his amazing amazing guys that that helped make this box um, a possibility because yep. it's it's beautiful um, question from the chat uh, is there a way to track how players are doing in foot like are, are doing like in 40k uh, they use BCP so if you have game go to game to uplink I think game uplink is your, is your game, best option. Yeah, game uplink too. is your best option. Um, and yeah, you can track everything on there for to obviously today and yeah. over the whole yes. world. So it's there. Um, someone loving your pan work there. You see a little. Oh. <laughs> in the chat. Yeah, zoom enhance. That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> so just so, uh, for some context, obviously. So I have, uh, I've got my laptop and I can see the chat going on here. Uh, when I've got the audio stuff um, with a mix, with full mixing desk, which is a privilege. Um, John's got main powers of cameras uh, in terms of switching over, so what he'll switch from left to right to central and all this sort of stuff. And uh, and Zane's playing with the remote control to pan for you. That's right. Sort of stuff. I got the RC joystick over here. I get yeah. the fun part. <laughs> um, I went over to look at the wounds. So uh, no wounds on the ATSDs. Vader has taken two wounds. I think I there's think a new one. There's um, a wound on the front one. Has one. Now addition. One out of 22. Oof. Plus the well, there there are two astromechs, so those oh, could and have there been they stemming. go. They just, they just took it off. There's yep. the first astromech, yeah, or an astromech at least. So, so I, going into this game, I think the strategy here from Rebel player would be ignore your ATSDs, Hide. go for your thumbs. Yeah, shoot shoot out the thumbs. Your ATSDs are then they'll probably destroy there some stuff. There are only five units, right. The Empire player that can score on intercept, right. So that's why I'm like, yeah, it, you just go for your thumbs to get here. to those thumbs. You know, those ATSDs are completely 100% blocking LOS to the yes. snowtroopers behind them. Yep. And same same thing with the far intercept. Yep. He's 100% blocking. That was a, yep. a defense that, roll. Looked like blanks. Yeah, looks like blanks. Yeah. So you can see here, both of these ATSDs are just mobile fortresses. Blocking all incoming Pain. fire. Paint walls. 
Yeah. <laughs> and also, also, well painted units from both sides. Oh, definitely. Must must I say that is. I like the blue on that ATST there in the front. That is that is very nice. The uh, here so we can get. Alejandro says hello. Who plays? Uh, I'm going to assume who plays in the game, and that would be you've got Adam Newton and Jeremy something whose name has disappeared off his tag. Uh, both from the US. Uh, one one was from North Carolina, and I didn't get to catch where Jeremy was from. Uh, but Adam is here with his wife. His wife is playing MCP. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so this is the... Oh, the that's the dream. So he's doing this today, and I think... And then tomorrow, I think he's gone off to Armada. He's more of an Armada player, I think. But either way, uh, it's quite cool that... Couples that play together, all that sort of stuff. Quite nice. <laughs> uh, Philip Samuels, uh, do you know, uh, the, the, the lists are not visible yet. I think they're going to be later uh head judge is going to sort that out later on oh like list via game up link yeah so yeah I'm they not, may not yeah. i don't yeah, know why yet i feel like it's something that they'll do once everyone's established noise sorts of stuff i think yeah um but we'll keep you informed about list stuff um for this on the stream and also anything interesting going on yeah there are two tournaments going on right now for Correct. legion yes yeah um, there's the last chance qualifier which we will be watching which from this one how many invites are they giving out for this four four so so these guys are fighting to play tomorrow again yeah they're fighting to play a potential nine more games yeah yeah, and, and it is single elimination after today. So, I mean, you Effectively, are, see, yeah. Yeah, you can still play all your games. You can, um, well, 32 people will play on Saturday. Right. Even if some of them don't have a chance to play Sunday. Yep. Yeah. Because of decide, logistics. Because, yeah, they, they will decide the Sunday appearances. Yep. Effectively. Um, yeah, that's why. But yeah, so you've got the, L the LCO and then there's a Swiss. And then there's Swiss. And Swiss is a lot of the players who already have their invites are playing Swiss. Practice. And they're just practicing their list. They're, and it, what's, what I find interesting about that is, is there are people playing their list and they could play each other tomorrow. Yep. So, yeah. So, um, and I know a lot of the players are just playing casually. Um, they're not really trying hard. They're just having fun, getting loose, which I think is great. It's a good way to just kind of get everything working, you know. And yeah. There are feel some so sweaties out there up. for the Swiss that are yeah. looking for four more rounds of training. Yep. But yep. Not. Uh, I wonder who they might be, Ollie. I mean. <laughs> 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 um, but I think also on a, from a uh, nice point of view, it's nice to have that Swiss going on as well for the people who travel. Yeah. I, so, and, I, yes. and I don't just mean the guys who come over from Europe or uh, South America or wherever. It, you guys obviously as well. Yeah. Because so, uh, it, it takes yeah. God knows how long to get anywhere. Um, well, that's an interesting move to move Coe over. I think he's just he's just trying to drill in the pressure. Yeah. Because if, if he just parks those ATSTs close enough to where his snows are scoring behind them, then they're in perfectly good. Yeah line of sight block and cover and scoring that middle point. So yeah, It's a bold move, Bushman. <laughs> Let's see how it pays off. I don't think it's that bold. I no, think I just, it's, yeah. yeah. Failed quote right there. I don't know. Failed? Say. Failed. Practicing. This is the practice. Right. We got warm-ups. Yeah, yeah, this is our warm practice. <laughs> what will be interesting is if all of you are listening for the whole weekend, see how our voice sounds from day now. Hey, I'm already have a cough. To the end of the weekend. I already weekend. have a cough drop in my mouth. <laughs> I'm yeah, already. you've already recovered from well, yesterday. part of this is is... The English guys come over and they what's the first thing they want to go to medieval times. <laughs> so so we we took we, yeah. we we went to medieval times yesterday and it, I screamed my heart out for the blue knight, but he blue army. Yeah, blue army. But he uh, he let us down. No, he did. Um, yeah, he he got too uh, got too rambunctious in his his one win and decided to go for the guy who wound up winning the entire thing, the black and white knight, who always wins it, in yeah, my opinion. I, just, I can't believe um, the castle is so realistic. <laughs> just so like, oh. So I got, we arrived, and I was like, oh, my words. It's just like home. He, he thought he flew how many hours just oh, to just see? Eight and a half hours to see a castle. <laughs> so oh, it's just like home. Even the marble effect, because we have, because marble native to the UK. Oh, yes, of course, <laughs> yes. It's like, oh, it's just there. With all yeah. the battlements. Oh, they're so, so like a set square. Set them all up. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, so my voice is already going out <laughs> just from, uh, just from uh, screaming my heart out for the, the poor blue knight. So. Social, social screaming. Yep. 
Uh, so uh, Liam Orford, we have um, Adam Newton, uh, who calls himself Angry Ewok, on I think is, and then uh, Jeremy, whose surname I can't see. Uh, Li Liam, if that's there for you. Uh, did the castle remind me of home? It, it did remind me of home, the castle. Um, all it needed was someone at the top of the castle going, I felt in your general direction. <laughs> your in your, your father was a helpster. And, and your, your mother smelled of elderberries. <laughs> <laughs> you and your stupid English kin niggets. <laughs> Uh, are they taking travel groups into account tomorrow? I don't think they are. No, I don't think they are uh, either. I, I also don't, I think, I agree with that. I know when, when we do locals and stuff, what, I think that makes sense, but yeah. like this you can't because yeah. of the, because of what's at stake, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got just just the uh, the title of, of it all. I mean, you, it, it will stink if you have to play against someone that you play against all the time, but ultimately that might happen anyway. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're. I'm. I'm fixing the overlay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did like, I? Like we said, guys, this no, is dress rehearsal. All yeah. right. This is our. I'm this is. We're. We're. We're ironing it all out to make it even more perfect. Trying not to scream using a trackpad here. <laughs> Endless makes it look so easy. Yeah. He's got more finesse than, to his fingers than I do. Apparently. He's a professional. I'm a big old monkey when it comes to computers. Give me a big mouse I could throw around. <laughs> I do trackpads are the worst. They're very problematic. It's the click and dragging. Yo, I, oh, I can't yeah. I can't click and drag and that's what I'm having to do here. To line up those I think it, I think it looks mostly lined up there. Alright. And we are all out of USB ports to plug in my mouse. It's tragic. So, John, we never got to ask you about your background. Oh, I don't have a background. Uh, there's a banner behind me. Yeah, John, oh, John was just background. born. Look, look in, like, that. Legion happened and John existed at the same time. This it was is just, true. It was just yeah. something that... Life didn't exist before Legion. Yeah. Uh, no, so I have a lot of um, data and analytics background for almost a decade doing data visualization really for higher ups um, and lately transitioned into software development um, working kind of like with uh, game development and like VR development um, so some of the tools we'll be unveiling later are coming from the skills from the new job it's fun you will see people with, this, with, the, with the tools I don't know if I could do my tools with this trackpad, though. <laughs> I mean, I can, but we'll, we'll make it through, guys. My, I will adapt. <laughs> he will overcome. Yeah. I'm trying to see if that's a spare USB slot then, uh, there on the end. No. That Dang. is locking the laptop into a secure location. It's a little loop they provide to, yeah. Yeah, that's a no. But thank you for everybody jumping in to, uh, to join the streams here with us. We greatly appreciate all of you. Yeah. Um, this, you know, of course, the stream is exists for you guys. So uh, it's good to see that people are here to, to uh, enjoy what we're trying to produce. It looks like we have a little movement here from this Rebel Vet squad. Ooh. Who are, I mean, I oh know they actually, oh, at least they're coming to, gone. They're coming to good. score, so he's he's just moving. His, is he going to move and shoot? I think they don't have grenades. I think both ATSTs have gone. Yes, so they have. Yeah, so the tokens have gone. So both ATSTs, so he's not, he doesn't have to worry about getting shot at. So, so good there that he was able to pull those guys. Um, yeah. On the plus side for the Rebels, like we've been, we've been dogging on them in this matchup, but there are only two shots. Every round, right? True. There's True. two shots and there is Vader. But if Ahsoka can keep Vader at bay, then, like, just has to weather two shots at a time. Yeah. Ahsoka does have the Guardian turn eventually. Which um, I believe that is Ahsoka is. moving right now. Yep. Yep. So he has he has the activation count on him as well. 
Yeah, by, by one. Uh, by one. No, by Just two. One. Just the one. No, it was, oh. uh, it was a is nine he, to seven. Nine to seven. Is yeah. he moving Ahsoka? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Brave. This is the last Whoa. first move. That's what that is. Wow. Uh, yeah, he, are you thinking he may pop uh, burst of speed? Burst, right, okay, I'm calling it. Burst of speed from Ahsoka into Vader. Into Vader? Yeah, look, no, look, you look, didn't well, go near Vader. Go around that. here, or you can, or, I mean, burst of speed maybe that way. Or you're going to burst of speed maybe try and get the you stuff behind the ATSD? I think it's too far to go behind the ATSD. I think if he, well, I didn't see him measuring or, it, or is he but going? it's very possible that he could have double moved and then move so that a single move is in range one of the guys behind, pull him out, and move yeah, into him. Yeah, and then, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're thinking he's going to go for the... He's got the, to. The he snows that are hiding behind. He can't be expecting to kill the ATST with nope. Ahsoka. If he's going for middle, you need to kill those snows. And then maybe you try and mitigate to go for an ATST. I mean, ah ah Ahsoka's that. big card, right? Um, the her mastery lets her chain use dodges to upgrade dice, right? To Correct. Marksman. Here we go. So the end of round two, these guys are they are going to. I just saw. I saw a Rebel player, he already put his card in the box, so he's already locked and loaded with what he wants to do. So he's probably going to go first I bet with... you he's going the aggro Ahsoka card. I think he is, too. I think he's going to go... four extra dice or yep, whatever. He's going to go straight into... Because uh, Vader has two wounds on him, correct? Correct. Yep. So if he can if he can get Vader off his back line, that's going to help him score that back point with just the Mark II. And then he can move his other stuff forward to basically hopefully try and just overrun that middle... And then, like you said, the ATSCs are only two shots around. Yeah. So, I think if Ahsoka kills, yeah, because the three core from Empire player, one is with Vader, and one is behind each ATST. If Ahsoka can scalpel those out. Oh, I wonder who uh, Cad put his bounty on. Uh, there's a Rebel officer in there. Was no, there? I'm I'm like, no, there's sorry, a, there's I'm thinking it's some, either oh, Cassian sorry. or Ahsoka. Cassian. There's not. I'm thinking there was something else we said. It's got to be Cassian. Uh, surely it's Cassian. Surely, I would yeah. put it on Cassian. But why? But in Cassian this but in this instance, Cassian. right, right. But in this instance, right now, like if intercept Ahsoka goes into bounty, doesn't matter as much on intercept. True. But if Ahsoka goes into Vader and takes a lot of damage from Vader, still takes Vader out, yep. but then winds up going down to Cad, then you just gave up a victory point for that. Yeah. Cards are down. Is that the one we thought it was, the aggro card? Oh, I can't see. Let's see, let's see. I mean, I'll go and have not a look. familiar enough with the art. I have not been a Ahsoka believer just yet. Let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, swinging lightsaber. I think that's her. That's got to be her warm pip. Oh, two three pips. That's a three pip. What do we so get? it was um, it was the pip three from Ahsoka, a new beginning. Okay. And it was the Cad Bane three pip. I make the rules. Which is the one that he would divulge. Which is the that's one that the bombs. Yeah. That's the yep. teleporting. Interesting. Okay. So then they so did. So Ahsoka's uh, card is at the start of her activation. She recovers. Uh, are those are all those suppression hers? Is that why she's doing it? No, I think suppression of the rebel troopers. Because the pathfinders. She was over here. The pathfinders been ducking, covering. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is passing out aims and dodges and gives her inspire. All rebel, right. Apparently, rebel player still has a token on the building. They probably hope we'll see that in a second. All right, guys. So I got the. Uh, these are actually really nice. Oh, these are there? for the uh, players. Oh. So these oh, are the prize, uh, wall, prize tickets. wall tickets. So those those uh, sidebars that you guys see on screen there, kind of hard to see on the over overhead, but you can you can see a little bit of them. Um, they give out tickets for when you play. So if you win a game, you get ten tickets. If you lose a game, you get eight tickets. If you tie, then they split yep. um, the tickets. And so, yeah, they're actually really nice little cards. Um, Wow, those are thick. They're like yeah, business yeah. cards. Yeah, style. well, yeah, they're 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 like business cards, but they're also like laminated, so they're they're shiny. So um, I'll, I'm gonna take a picture and I'll put it on yeah. Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. So uh, this will go on Instagram. Uh, so yeah. So if you're looking, if you're interested, go on to the. Uh, 
Instagram page in a second when I tag it up there. That, All right, so it looks the like... ATS, I, why is the ATS tree measuring a movement forward? That is... So it, I, I take it Empire, Empire won the roll off there for the uh, three pip tie. Does, do the ATSDs have any, like the grenades or anything? Let's see, let's see. They do not. One of them has the set, the third rainbow dice, the twin light blaster. Okay. The other has a mortar. mortar. Which you would think the mortar would be the one so that's So they are pretty back. small shots, actually. It's only six dice that they're throwing at a time. Right, and I mean, what, three of those like are white dice? concentrated. Um, no, I mean, six dice is the main cannon. Right. Right, so, so so one of them is throwing nine dice, a full triple rainbow. The okay. other's full throwing six dice, and the mortar is likely going to a second target. Right. And it's three dice. Three, okay. Yeah, so he still is not giving it. So he's going to go with a heavy. What this is, is this? Is, yeah, why was I wonder if he's going to try and strip some of the dodge tokens off Ahsoka. Yeah, yeah. so he just indicated that he, he pointed at Ahsoka here. Already pulling a dodge. What is that? So, okay. All right, dice assembly. All right, so here comes an attack, guys. He's got an aim token with his ATSC. It's still not. Our overlay isn't showing up for our dice just yet. I don't know. They're rolling it on the. Are they rolling it yeah. in the box? Yeah, he just. They're rolling it in the box. Oh, son of a gun. Why is that off? Okay, sorry about that. So, it looks like Ahsoka took one, she dodged one, took one wound in suppression. So, that's not bad from an ATST shot, but he did burn a dodge, so. And he's going with his back. He's probably, uh, is he directly trying to I, hope for the I other? I mean, honestly, I if I was Ahsoka, I'd want to take both shots, protect my core. True. Like, she could survive him, take little to nothing like yeah that's true what has Vader got burst of speed on him because if he does Vader might be saying hello he does not he does not no. saber throw anger reflexes and saber throw do you reckon no I don't do you, I don't think a speed one move towards Ahsoka with a force push and enough speed one do you reckon he makes it into combat with Ahsoka no no it's too, it's too far yeah. He, he could he could probably force pull her, but she would not be in yeah. in contact. Yeah, that is not three speed one moves away. Nope. So instead, maybe you reckon he goes and murders the um, the Mark Mark Four at the top on the left hand side. I think that's a good target. Uh, yeah, because then and then if you think if he uses Vader to just go take out a Mark Two and score a point, while Rebel player moves everything around away from Vader, yep. Vader will never catch up to anything. So yeah, speed one Vader is. Oof. He could move, start moving Vader oh, towards the middle and relentless saber throw back at the mortar. You know? Yeah, that's that's very true. I think the Mark IV is going. All right, let's see if we have our dice cam on now. Should be on. All right. What he needs here is just like one of those solid Mark IV shots that just like aces everything, and then Vader just goes, oh, I fumbled my lightsaber. <laughs> There's our dice. Two hit and a crit. So. I've got it here. Yeah. Yeah. John's having a break. He's a little bit peckish, so he's going to do that. So we have a shoot and move from the Mark IV, which I think is quite clever. Uh, he'll be, he's taking the shot. Did he do any wounds to Vader? I didn't see any wound tokens added. So nope. must have been a saves. Three three natural saves, brilliant, we want. Yep. Um, yeah, he's shot and move on that one. So as I say, I put the. Uh, if anyone's interested, I'd to look at the, what the prize tickets look like. If you're bothered, uh, you can go to the uh, That's No Moon Instagram page, which is That's No Moon Podcast on Instagram. Just have a look on there. Uh, stuck on there. There'll be some pictures going up as well. You can see us hard at work, uh, and there'll be some other pictures later on. I'm gonna I'm gonna nip round in one of the little breaks. I'm gonna take pictures of people's lists and armies and just some of the tables for you. What is it?
Just time. There's time left in the round. That's all we can say. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So the question was that, well, what, how long have we got left? And we can't tell him. Yeah. Yeah. We don't even know what the time is still. Okay. I still don't know how much time is left. So it works. At least we have it. We don't know. Yeah. We just don't know. Yeah. All right. So it looks like he's measuring Ahsoka here. Uh, yeah, there may have been cover for Vader actually thinking about I it. I think he's trying to. Well, I think he's trying to see if he does he go with Cad towards her, or does he? Yeah, I don't. I. I think it's very much the wrong call for for Ahsoka to head towards Vader and Cad. Yeah. Would well, that, well, that was that was yeah. All that, four units are just waiting for her. Well, that was the Empire player measuring to see where she could go to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So I think he was just looking at the options of of what, where he could go. Because really, where he's sitting right now, he has three different ways he could go. He could go towards Vader. He could come down towards Cad. He could just go for the ATST. It's kind of up in the air as to what the Rebel player is deciding to do with um, with Ahsoka right now. I think this. I can't remember who said it. I think going for thumbs is probably the one to. Yeah, list. yeah, that's that's what but I said. Yeah. Just go run and literally try and go run to the ATSD, try and get out of his arc, yep. and then run around the back. Yeah, because if you because if you run if you can get behind that one directly in front of you, that's one less shot she has to worry about. Now, yep. yes, that shot goes into something else if it can see something, but then, which so looks like there was a shot. Another dodge being spent by Ahsoka. Yep, and She's defense. Out. Like so it's like just a suppression block and yep. cool. And that was that Cad. was not a lot of that. Okay, that was Cad. Cad. Yeah, that, yep. that makes sense. Yeah, well, spending the last dodge for Cad. That's yeah, not what I would have done. Is he got anything? He's going to be in risk of well, the so control. Well, the the second ATST can yep. still fire. Yeah, and that's all up to the uh, random bag pull of that ATST coming out. So. But if he if he holds off with Ahsoka until, oh, so he's measuring measuring thumbs here. Good, good. Okay. Good job. Okay. That, that looked like a double. Yep. Wait, why is he? Just jump over it. Just jump over it, dog. <laughs> that is true. You can just jump over those crates and be good He's not going to go. jump over the ATST. No. Like, like this is your only jump. But he's definitely in speed two to yep. force push do you range. Want to pan us over here and we'll. Yeah, let's swap to. The Controlled cams here. And I think it's worth going. I mean, if that's what he's planning on doing, I think it's worth doing it now before those snowtroopers activate. Yeah. Um, I, yeah I agree. And that other ATS he's already gone, so the one in front of him he doesn't have to worry about. He's rolling suppression. He gets one off. All right, here he goes. So he's moving. Oh, the Ahsoka move. Where? Oh, what? What are you doing, dog? Okay. I mean, if you just get a base. Oh, you do that and then speed one them round, and then charge in. Or did he base the? I think he based the. He based the TST. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was his intention there, was to base that ATST. So is he going for did the... Did he move out of arc? Is that what he did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, I mean... I think it, that's what he's, that's what he's it saying It denies right one action if he's going to shoot. Um, so he'll have to pivot or move or... All right, here we go. But he could, this is a... That was a couple natty crits. Yep. It might have been almost all of it. Uh, plus the two impact. No, I, I think they're... Oh, four? Okay. Oh, and then impact. Four, yeah, four crits. Yeah. After impact. Pierce two. That's gonna be four wounds. Sure yep, enough. Yep. Yep. Quad blanked him. But if that was on the. This was from um, Ahsoka into an ATSD. The yep. unactivated. Now is he is yeah, he force pulling the? He should. 
I think that would be the but better thing. But they could thing. just walk away after, you know. So True. But he's going to do it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think this is the call I when you should, have. I think um, he should have taken the snows out. Yes, I, I think so, yeah, too. I agree. I think I still stand by the, the move, push them into this very spot even, and then charge into them. Because um, now they could just withdraw on their turn. And uh, Mr. Astromech can sit and go, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll beat boop that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The one benefit, I think, to this is it's up to a random draw. So if he draws the ATST before the snows, then Ahsoka won't get shot at, yep. but she could get uh, kicked. I was about to say the, the three, uh, the four red dice. Is it four red? Yeah, I think it's four red. What's it called? Razor, razor cutting feet or something like that. Welcome to the chat, Flying Ferret. He says it's the first time he's ever watched one live. Oh, awesome! Fine, so finally get to see a stream live. He says. <laughs> Love that. Um, and he says last time I ran an ATST, I got wrecked by a Soaker. Oh, okay. Curse Cowboy is, uh, he loves the Ahsoka, Ahsoka model. He painted the Shatter Point one uh, for his friend. Uh, and they look so good. So, yes. So, it's what's clever about the Ahsoka model is they've um, they've been clever and indented the blue. So, you can easily oh, paint the yeah. blue in. So, it's That's not nice. really handy. It's not like Darth Maul's face. No. <laughs> exactly. So, you can actually, yeah. your brush will just follow it. And if you if you thin them down enough, it will just sink in. Uh, which is really nice. Love that. So, uh, yeah. Handy on that one. That's awesome. Um, they've also done that with other models um, from the AMG IP as well. ATSD's pulled up. So this would be interesting. Is he go? Is he just going to shoot? Oh, ATSD pulled before the snows. Yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about. So yep. Ahsoka yep. is safe from being shot at by the ATST. Um, I think, I mean, and Pathfinders are all tokened up. Well, he, this is that was a kick. That was a kick, yeah, because that's all he can do. Uh, right? No, he can shoot, just not at pretty, Ahsoka. Pretty, yeah, well, he's out of the arc. He can't shoot at Ahsoka. He could shoot at other things. Oh, because Ahsoka's also in. Whoa, in, hello. In Mila. Was that a three block? Was three block. Yeah, I think, yep. That's a so that is sad ATST. No, she took one, two blocks and a blank. Yeah, is what it must have been. Yeah. Um. So Pans and Ninja in the chat says, I thought uh, if you withdraw, you can you can do any other action. ATSC doesn't have to withdraw. No, because so he's it's thinking not about, engaged. He's thinking about right. the snows. The snows. Yes. Withdrawing. Yes. Can the, and no. The, no repair bot or repair Correct. bot? No repair bot. There you go. If they withdraw. The only, so he just the only units that can a lot of do anything there. when withdrawing. One, two. Wait. Oh, because Arsenal. Wait. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You so, can he, do that. so he kicked Ahsoka and then he arsenal into uh Yeah, okay, that's into cool, the Pathfinders sure. for uh taking two. I don't know why I was thinking you couldn't do that. But you're not engaged, so you don't yeah. need any special keyword to shoot out. Nope. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's sad for the Pathfinders. He's got he's still got three guys left there, including Biston, so it looks like so now both ATSCs have gone, so he has no worries from them. Um So where's he yeah. going with these? Oh, and then he's, he's got his med bot there. So he's going to heal. Yeah, yeah. He's oh, gonna start the that's, that's clutch. After everything is gone, that's, oh, that's yeah. well, the snows haven't gone, but still, that's that's so good. Yeah, he's still got to decide how he's going to handle this. Cause yeah. He really needs to. Ahsoka can't one-shot these snows, I don't think. No. Uh, and we're in turn three. So she's going to have between three turns, yeah. you know, she's got to kill both of them. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guesstimate we're looking at probably 45 minutes left. Really? Maybe. If we started at 8.30. The round started two hours ago in theory. I think it started a little late. Right. And they probably waited a, a bit, probably 8.45 maybe that that's, they started time. That's what I'm kind of thinking. That's what I'm giving it. 45 oh, minutes. Yeah. 45 minutes plus whatever random time. This yep. is triple block from who? Uh, 
I don't know who that attack was on. Top shot. I wondered maybe if they shoot in. Well, let's look and see what else is a target. The, no, it won't be. Oh, Vader? No, too far away. No. All the RG? No, not too far away. Try and see who that was on. Rally roll from someone. we got moving up from the bottom snows there's the snows yeah now is our rebel player controlling our left objective where is it yeah because it's on the I'm trying to identify it dang I need a I need my app plugged in and I can point at it. Uh, let's see, let's see. I see two of them. Yeah, I see the third one. The third one, third intercept, looks like it is just below Cassian. It's got to be controlled by yeah. the rival player. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I can't see where Cassian is. Well, I see his token right there. Oh, so there he is, yeah. I'm just looking around, scanning the board, and there's like, there's his right. token, so it's going to be there. There it is, yep. Yeah. Okay. And then this one is controlled by these snows. Let's swap back to see what we're talking about here. So a rebel, you can see these rebel vets move up. So you can see right towards the top of your screen there, right sandwiched between those two ATSTs. That is the that is the rebel players, um, which is being contested by Vader and or it's being aggressed on yeah, by, by Vader, Vader and, and Cad snows and Cad. And snows. So yeah, the other two are honestly like pretty vulnerable because it's a right. single five four man unit five man unit on each yeah for the empire player that's 10 wounds to control both of those yeah because he's yeah he's indicating it's deceptive because the ATSTs yeah so here you can see the empire's control point is hidden behind the ATSD but it is effectively right smack behind that that center screen ATSD so Three hits from let's see. Those I think it was rebel vet, rebel dice. vets going into the uh, snows. Okay. Uh -oh. Red saves doing their thing. Yeah. Oh, but he's attacking the thumbs back there. Oh, I yeah. see it. Yep. I see it. Yeah. Which, if he just takes those guys out, doesn't even bother to go contest that point. Just takes those guys out, then that just eliminates that point being contested altogether. Yeah. Yeah. And then he can stack more on that middle. He really point. needs to to turn the tide by turn four. Um, I see what you did there. For the <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that um, our rebel player, Mr. Adam, Adam, has got this squad of rebels hiding behind the building. Oh, the blue back there, like yeah. The basic, the, the, like, well, okay, I'll just bung them out when I need to and where yep. I need to, as uh, according to the game. Yep. Yeah, he's trying not to die to the ATSTs. There's also that. So it looks like we got these... Snows are now taking their return. Yeah, I imagine they move out, take a pop shot, and then duck behind the ATST even deeper. Yep. Yeah, the Empire player may be uh, thinking to. Because those Rebels are nearly in the open. Yeah. I'm sure, I don't know what the players contested that crate, but I would say I'm it would sure be light, light cover, light cover yeah. shooting across that. Not so. touching, so. Yep. Yep. A rally right. roll, probably. Yep, that was a rally roll. Oh, so only the one action. So yep. they will be left in the open. They've got a single, a single crit. crit. There you go. That and I think probably he... a blank. Yep, blank. yep. Picking up a guy. 
one for one, not, yeah, not a bad trade yeah. off. So I mean, when you're up, when you have more bodies, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just looked here that you can see the one blue rebel veteran squatted down by there. It looks like he ducked away to like relieve himself real quick and he got caught on camera. <laughs> and it's blue. <laughs> and he's blue, yeah. <laughs> and it's right there in the middle. I mean, to be fair, if I saw two ATSTs in Vader, then that would make me want to do that motion as well. Some yeah. brown pants. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good thing he's wearing his brown pants. <laughs> Question in the chat. Uh, happy to catch this live. This is from uh, Victor. Bustamante. Victor Bustamante. Uh, apologies on pronunciation. Happy to catch this live. How's the event so far? I've heard the Legion turnout is exceptional this year. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. great. We, we won't have a head count on how many of our 268 players are here until tomorrow. Uh, but we have two 60-man events for Legion going on right now. Right now, yep. Right now, you're watching the last chance qualifier, first round. All right, little Unknown player time left. Moving, moving the uh, PAL Pathfinders out. Yeah. This, man, that that unknown time is really going to mess them up with the yeah. w with intercept. Yes. Where it's the because last you don't know round. what your last round is going to be. Yeah. So you could very well last round could be turn three. Man, that's um, debilitating. Yeah. It's going to be, All right, don't, here we go. don't choose Intercept, guys. Yeah. Okay, Pathfinders, get, looks like they got two crits there. Two crits. One and side. one made it through, so All right. an Ion. Is this one? Oh, no, no that, this was is, the, this that was is the PAL. PAL yeah, that's PAL, guy. yeah. But he's at four or five wins now, he's so he's one away from breaking. Up. PAL has no, I, seven they break it six. Well, they got nine wounds each, right? Eleven. Oh, eleven. Eleven. And so they break it eight. I think so. That sounds right. They break at eight. Yep, yep. Okay. Pow is the one with uh, Inspire, right? The red, white, and Inspire. Yep. Yeah, that Inspire might be uh, helpful. Yeah. 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 Especially if you need to move stuff and you can't also, move it because of the li Liking how this game, you know, like, like we said before, it seemed like it was very much Empire favored. You know, ATS is moving up, controlling. But now it seems like it, this very well could go either way yeah, right. as, as we're watching this unfold. So this, this, is, this is what you want to see. This is a good game. Yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's moving Cassian now away from Vader. So as you guys can see, Vader is just, just on just the edge. He's just playing keep That's what you like do. It's just like being mean yep. to Vader. Yeah. But when it's Commander Vader that doesn't have burst, like, that's what you do. Yep, Ki just kite him away and... Granted, he could just straight climb over this building now if he realizes. Right, because it's Because definitely, that's a thing now. Yeah. Yep. Two speed ones might base him against Cassian. I think so. So we have Cassian is now on the other side. Do you reckon he now. does? When would he run implacable? Do you reckon he's got to run implacable next? Just uh, uh, the, the Vader double turn to try and get him in to do something. I think so. Yeah. Because you don't know the time, so you've got to go. Well, if they if they have any conception of how much time they've played, then I think implacable is a priority for the. So uh, Cassian took a shot at the ATSC. Now has seven wounds, oh. almost broke. He's got the pistol then, right? Yes. Nice. He's a pistol whipping. Snows are pulled. So do you reckon he swings with those vets that have been hiding out behind there? Do you reckon he swings out with them, takes another shot at the ATSD? Absolutely. Break it. Yeah. Try think, and break it. Try or, and break it. Yeah, try and break it or... Or put flood or, wounds or, on the back yeah. snows. Flood the snow, yeah, flood the snows at the back. Yeah. Yeah. Is that dice got, being rolled. They've both got, two, they both got black, the CMOs. Three. This is a punch into Ahsoka. And one wound went through yep. on Ahsoka. So she's back up to three back now. To three. I think there's still one repair, one med bot left. Yep. yep. Um, yeah, one charge. It... All right, so he pulls those vets, I think, that are hide, that were hiding. Or no, it's his, it's his one lone, lone rebel trooper back here in the back, as you can see on your left. He's, he's tucked under the uh, awning of that. He is just keeping that guy alive. He's just moving away to keep that guy alive and away from uh, points. So, Good call. Good call. Yep. Yep. So I've just been gifted something. Ooh. 
Cammy Brown's wife. She just gave me a little chicken. Ah, a little bit chicken. Is yep. this like a little glass chicken? It, yeah, I was, I was like, is this a sweet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Good thing you asked because I would have thrown that in my mouth as well. Num, 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 num. Yes. Yeah, just like a toddler, I would, Break have a tooth. I would have thrown that straight in my gullet. It's amazing. All right, so. Well, oh, yeah, it is really nice when people randomly will come up to you that you know slash don't know, they know who you are or you whatever, and they're just like, I've got some so cards. And I believe this. I just saw the Empire player look at what command card he was going to play for the next round and already set it aside. Hmm. Because I think he is. What would be the alternative if you want? If you're not, if it's not implacable, what would it be? I mean, Cad Bane's not endangered. Cad Bane, maybe Cad Bane goes for his guns. Or does he have native gunsling? He does have native. Yeah. No, does he? No. Cad Cad Bane does. Native. Guns. Oh no, not gunslinger. No, no he has. Uh, um, Move he forward steady. and shoot. Steady. Yeah, he is yeah. steady. But I don't think he has native gunslinger. No, he, has, he, he, he has a card that gives he him two attacks. Card that can do yes. that. But do you I do think the two attack turn could be useful, but I think I'm, uh, I don't see either being like pivotal so he's, this round. So he's measuring Vader, it looks like, right now. Here's one for you. That's I don't, black don't play enough Empire. If you Do you run the risk of if you take another named character when you play Empire and you take Vader, are you... Are you hurting Vader by taking other command cards away from him? I think he's he's okay losing one or two. Yeah, there's a few that aren't great. That but you could it's sub. very similar to Luke in that regard. Yep. Yeah. So Vader just moved to the edge of that building, trying to get you guys the best camera angle here. He's right behind that ATST's chin. You just go move that ATST. And see so he's moving and saber throwing into. Oh. Cassian, I believe. So he did not walk over the building. No, no, he just moved once. That's a black die in there. What is that? Doing? Oh, I think it, it's just shadow uh, from from his arm. I think they're all red. Yeah, he rolled all reds. Okay. Yeah, so he's, he's hitting Pathfinders with his saber throw. So he's because he's rolled danger close with that. Yeah. And he loses two, I believe. They all pierced. Right. Yeah. So after cover. Yeah. So he almost has. He has that squad down to Biston with one wound left on him. Oof. Ouch. Which I don't think that squad has gone yet either. So, like, that was actually a really big hit because now it's just Biston with his eye on. Well, yeah. the suppression so, there he, so he's rallying the suppression. God, how many paint does he want his white dice? Yeah. <laughs> 50 Give me some of them. Six yeah, dice. that was. But that is a one action Biston. Yeah. There is, you go. Is, they have Dauntless, don't they? Or am I crazy? They do have Dauntless. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Or is that a POW thing? No, it's, it's, I think it's... No, it's native on the card. Oh, yeah, power power adds the ion numbers. and... Yeah, and becomes okay. leader. Yep. I do not play Pathfinders. Yeah, that's native to them. Cool. So, yeah, they can just move and do their thing. So, where still. is he going? So, he's got... He's got the I don't know, he's green not, vest. He needs to like the green vest is just that one, one guy. Oof. Do you reckon he's setting up for a Vader flank and or the snow flank around the other side? With one man. Oh, is it a no, one no, man? That's, that's the Biston. That's oh, that's Biston squad. Sorry, I thought that was the um, the, 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 the vet. So that's the two wounds, but... Yeah. Interesting. So Biston doesn't become your leader in Pathfinder. It no. kills me that okay. he's not the leader. Pal, that's, Pal that's becomes the leader. Pal does, yeah. yeah. So it's not Biston. I just, yeah. Every other name. That's why he had to leader. take the extra wound on Biston and not. Okay, yeah. I got you. I got you. Okay, so here he goes with those other vets that we were talking about. We were wanting to know where they were going to go. They are definitely coming around to get those snows. Oh, I see a little bit of paint. Yeah. Nothing super it was crazy. One crit made it through probably. And it's a block. Yep. What's the rebel? Right. Oh, Suppress him. What's the rebel player got for commander and ops? He's got uh, Cassian and Ahsoka. There is commander and operatives. If that is the question, Cade Pledger. Which that is the end of turn three. They are doing cleanup now. He's got a overhead. I will venture yeah. over and have a look at the command cards when they come out. Yep. Yep. Hopefully they'll flop them in the tray for us. Yeah, that'd be nice. Cockles, tell them to flop it in the tray.
Yeah, no K2. No K2 in this one. <laughs> How does Vader's Might versus Crackshot? Vader's Might is a good one for turn four to move people around. Yeah, so Crackshot will take out the, you would hope would take out the ATST. Maybe. I mean, yeah, so you get Gunslinger right. and an extra aim. Is there an O push on this guy? There is. Don't know if he's used it yet. Oh, that's cool. Orin Freeman, the stream will be um, on during the FLG, uh, the store on Sunday, the finals, I think. Oh, that's, cool. that's rad. That's pretty cool. Yeah, there Orin, hey, Orin, we appreciate you guys uh, watching. It is our pleasure to bring this to all of you that cannot nice. be here. Um, I know it is a treat for all of us to be able to be on here to do this. Agree. This is, Fully this is, agree. <laughs> yes. This is this is so awesome to uh, to to bring this stuff to you guys, literally across the world, watching people play. So, um, are, do we have any? We should have some uh, international players in the LCQ. I, if we, well, I, I'm gonna go up when J Josh is back down. I might okay. make make a punt because if I am correct. They'll be coming up to Thursday tea time ah. over in Europe. Uh, ah. oh, hey. Hang on, what's the time? So we'll say, let's say they, what time will round two start? Um, round two will start, what, about 12.30? So that'll be about 6.30 yeah. UK, 5.30, 6.30 UK, into 7.30 Poland and yeah. Germany as well. So I'll see if I can we can swing that over. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I will let you guys know that, like, since we do have a huge international contingent here, we will be starting tomorrow. Pretty much every round, we will be trying to have a new country on stream yeah. if we can. So the because um, we're because we're essentially the first round tomorrow, guys. We will find just like the funnest matchup we can, throw that on for you. After that, we are going undefeated because it is it is cutthroat. From Which there will be a lot of undefeated. Correct. Like round two, there's still going to be 120 undefeated. Yes. So we will have a lot of people to choose 30. from uh, to yeah. get to get you guys. Do you know who? From want, all over. Do you know who I want tomorrow on stream? If it, I think. Martin from Bolivia. Oh, yes. I think that, yes. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, that'd be cool. So we we might come. just lead off with him, you know, to see if he's up. And just if he's up for it, yeah. Yeah. I think he, so for context, so um, Zane and I and Bushmore Wheels doing stuff yesterday, um, Zane and I sent upstairs to make tables for other games that we were like, okay. And as we're walking past, um, we saw a young lad and he had Legion models out, just cracked them on the table. And we just said, ha, ah, he had to play Legion. And... He said, yeah, I'm here, and him and his dad had come from Bolivia. Awesome. And I was like, brilliant, love this. Um, he's 16, his dad's playing X-Wing. Um, so, yeah, if they, I, I, I hope to see him. Uh, I might, he might, I think he's doing, is he doing the Swiss in the LCQ today, or was he doing the Swiss? Vader just yeeted the Pathfinders. Uh, Hello. Two wounds the, the on The PAL, him. yeah, he just yeeted the PAL Pathfinders away, so. Oh, bye-bye. Interesting. And this is a scoring round. Oh, and he's back. He just moved Vader up. Did what? that and then backed him up. What? Well, he's probably still in range one right there is the idea. And yeah, he could yeah, yeah. save or throw. <laughs> Diffus, Diffus in Finland says, can we have Oli on a losing stream, please? <laughs> <laughs> Watching all the way from extremely Finland. Extremely awesome. conservative with that baby. Ah, that's what I was thinking. You only have two wounds on him. Like I'd be yeah, going six for more it. health. Because here's the other thing too. If he'd melee, if he got into melee with Cassian, that negates Cassian. Uh, well, he probably killed. Especially during him out, crack right? shot turn. And I'd say during his crack shot turn. He could have stopped crack shot. Exactly. So that's why I was like, why? Why wouldn't you go that Man, way? I think yeah. I think. Also, I, but no, we're also thinking about it. Cassian now can go. I'll shift round. I'll take a shot at Vader with crack shot. Right. And then take another sh shot at, yeah. So, oh, what is, is this? What is that? That's Ahsoka? No, four blacks, a white, and a red. What throws that? Is that a Pathfinder unit? No, they don't throw blacks at any time. 
Do they not, if they're shorter range with their guns? No, they throw double. They throw double there. whites at range three, and then they throw reds at range two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is we Pathfinder dice? What are they? <laughs> yeah, what was that? What? Because I don't see a token out there. The DLTs don't add reds. I have no idea. That was, there was too many blacks for an ATST shot. Unless there was, he unless shot, was a he red. shot at the ATST. Oh, it was the. Was oh, that was Ahsoka guy? swinging into the ATST. There were she, too many blacks, though. Uh, well, did she have a uh, card that gives she her had more tenacity. whites? She got tenacity. Yeah, but she's double rainbow otherwise. It could be, to be fair, it could be the. It um, could be the shading. The shading. It could have been one of the reds coming through yeah. as a black. Yeah. But that still did. That Powell didn't, has that a red, but there's not but a that black shows, dice that for that. still didn't kill the ATST. It only broke it. That was Ahsoka? Yeah, that was Ahsoka swinging into the ATST. And she only did no I think two. one wound? Maybe two. Oh, and he's got a token on him now. Yeah, yeah, it's broken. But there's yeah, only there's three, die. six, nine, there's ten. So he's alive by one. Man. Which is um, not what you wanted that to happen. We've been joined by we've been joined by Stabcast. Oh Stabcast. They're away. He said, wait. Those are not Chicago no. accents. <laughs> no no. <laughs> Definitely one of them, isn't anyway. Um, Chicago. So are, we at, are we at least dressed like the Brute Blues Brothers? No, my friend, we're not. Wait that till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow when when interesting clothing is being worn. So that was ATSD shot into Rebel Vet Squad. Um, so, I mean, here's one thing about the ATST being at one wound left. Cassian yeah. has crack shot. Right. And he could easily throw one attack onto it. Yep. Like, get rid of it. I think that's fine. Yep, that's what he's measuring right now. But then where does he throw? Does he throw his other shot into Vader? I don't know if he could reach. Oh, well, Vader, if you can't reach the other ATST. But he also doesn't want to move out of range of that. Yeah, so he's, he's making sure he's contesting oh, okay. that point. Yeah, is it just him against Vader on that point? It is. Yep. Oh, and then Cad Bane to come around as well. Oh, yeah, Cad Bane could just double move and get up there and still have a shot at Cassian, which he could collect <laughs> back if he... Is there anything that Mark IV can do? If, can it move at least around to be range one? Uh, he would Absolutely. have to double move, not this turn, but, but he could make it. Yeah. Oh, that was a, a whiff. Is that a whiff into the... Forced one. He's forcing one to go to the ATSC. Yeah. To just see if it's if he can. Well, because it's a Pierce. Oh, it is a Pierce. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so he got got an ATSC off the board. Wait, did he? Or is it? It's not lethal, is it? Man, we are so bad with our Legion knowledge. I'm gonna find Josh. See if we get his cash. Cassian's normal pistol is Pierce. No, it's Pierce. Must have not been at the ATST. Yeah, or, I mean, but he else, had two shots. Who else would it have gone? And to? he has a standby. Vader spending a dodge. Go into Vader. It went into Vader. Yeah. And Vader just just blocks it. Right. This was the two-shot turn, though, right? Yeah. Did he just forget? But why did he? He took a. He converted to a crit for that. Well, and he had he had three six nine. He had ten wounds on him on the ATST, and he took he one repair? of them off. Well, he didn't go with the uh, snows yet because this was during Cassian's turn. He just took it yeah, off. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. So, yeah, this is this is where I would like to uh, interject and impo and figure out what happened, but. Maybe it was uh, two threes and then two ones stacked up. Maybe that was it. Uh, That's maybe what that was someone's it. saying, the ATS he took a wound. Okay, okay. That would track. Yeah, that makes more sense. A little, little easier to follow. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're like, oh, you should be dead. What are you doing? Yeah. But still, that's not great. No. That's not, I mean, that was no. a crack shot that did nothing. It did one wound. Yeah. He's got a, he should have a standby now as well. Right, crack shot gives you a standby. It's just normally not 
anything because is it you get a standby after yeah yeah so we should have one now at the end of his activation we should have a standby yeah so he's which would help against uh cad so he's going with his uh vets here i think he was just talking about potentially splitting fire so get up there to yep to score that point hopefully yeah because between ahsoka and the vets like he scores yep. it yeah which is huge because we may be coming down to time yeah in this game it's like he got two crits i think what is he shooting is he shooting at the it's a dlt hmm. i don't i didn't see any natty crit oh but there he goes he took out the he took out the ats nine to eleven yep. okay yep that's nice and it hadn't gone yet i don't yep. see an order token down yeah so. That is very useful. Bring it down, bring it down. <laughs> Little cross cross reference from another great trilogy. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and uh, Yeah, we we had thought the Cassian was at ten wounds. Yeah. So that was our mistake. Well, that, that ATSC gun frees up our uh, our Vader view of the one angle on our camera, All so right, we can let's swap back to that. See there, we'll get you over. Here we go. Swinging the cameras around. We have some pipes on you. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's. Is that three wounds on Vader? That is three wounds on Vader. Yeah. Nice. Yep. That's what I like to see. A wounded Vader. <laughs> Vader down. Wipe them out. All of them. What are we thinking for start? Time? Yeah, Richard, I think start time, we are, we're thinking it was somewhere around 8.45-ish. Yeah. Uh, Should be two hours, ten minutes ago. Yeah, they're not. Also, miss you, Richard. Wish you were here, buddy. I mean, hey, there's only like a ton of people here, so... Uh, yeah, and it's it's we we don't we fully don't know how much time is left in this round until our judge sitting here says fifteen minutes fifteen left. minutes left. Yeah. <laughs> so shout out to those Rancor riders over there in, in Raleigh. Played with those guys. Rich, Richard and those Richard and that group are, are solid, solid Legion players. All right, so looks like we got CAD here. Yeah, Richard, life comes first. It's all good. We'll, we'll catch you at the next one. Yeah, no no fuzzy fuzzy wookies in your face this time. <laughs> oh, so he's just moving. Oh, so what is he? So Cad moves behind Vader. to For the intercept. Yep, and then Makes to sense. Uh, take it. I guess he can see Cassian hidden behind, around that corner there. Yeah, I can believe so it. So I think he's going to take a shot. Oh, but Cassian had that standby, so he just moved back. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So he just, that, there it is. So you can see Cassian there. Call. Cassian moved back uh, from where he was. So, yep. That's, and that's what I said. I said, if, if he has that standby, then Cassian, or Cad moves up. Cassian goes, yep, peace. See ya. Backs up. So. Yeah. So is Cassian out of scoring range now? Uh, I think he's still in scoring range, but uh, that point is now. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can see, yeah, actually, you can see Cassian since he backed up. Yeah, see him over the building there. Yep. So I had an idea. If you weren't sure on timings, look behind us. You can see a timer. If you are ever unsure, it's the X-Wing timer at the back. So I reckon that's a, we can use it at least as a little. Oh, that's counting up. And it's at 20 minutes now. We can use that's it as a, at least some form of baseline. Um, well, we also have a clock. We have a, that we could <laughs> clocks can do that. I mean, just time-wise. But the other <laughs> thing is, um, I spoke with Josh. We'll be having a Polish player on next. Ah. Mateusz Mateo Chick or Mateusz Sick, if I pronounce his names correctly. And uh, yeah, so he'll be coming on next. Most we don't nice know who versus, okay. obviously, when the round's in, but he yeah. will definitely be on next. Nice. Awesome. He, 
he won his first game, so he uh, he's earned the right. <laughs> <laughs> As we learned last night at Medieval Times, a well-rested player can come in and really defeat another player. Blue Knight, you got too ambitious. Oh, man. <laughs> I do. It was highly entertaining. So being asked questions by uh, Tim France, who does the streaming for uh, Shatterpoint. He's doing some stuff. He's just asking questions. Uh, let's just have a little chat. So, gotta love Stabcast, both American and European. Yep, that's uh, Diff. He loves that. Um, Le Cast du Stab. For <laughs> Le Cast du Stab. Um, Daniel Thorinson. I've been scratching my head on how that on how that works with hidden time. Uh, worst is not knowing when a round starts. Yeah, it's not not it's not fun. Um, it's hard for the players to figure it all out. But uh, hopefully they might get some form of indication of what's going on as time goes on. Don't worry, you didn't lose audio. We just had a conversation with someone else going on, that's all. Just talking about, talk about lunch. Yeah, lunch is important, guys. You gotta keep that energy up. <laughs> Who have we got back there? Who, who are you saying hello to? So those are the, uh, the 5280 guys. Oh, cool. Yeah. I want to yeah. say hello because I haven't said yeah. hello. I'll say hello. Tom, I'll say hello on your behalf. They're cool peeps. Yep. Yep. Love me some 5280. Might get 5280 this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when, when did we – what was that coin, that term coin? LVO last year? Not this past year. I think the year prior. Getting 5280. Yeah. What is that? Getting 5280, man. It's like turning your drink on, getting oh, your okay. game on, okay. like turning it, ratcheting it, taking that amp and cranking it to 20. Like okay. that's getting 5280. I hit uh, Fremont Street with them after LVO. Yeah, then you got 5280. I definitely felt like I got 5280. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, though. <laughs> that's awesome. I had like the two, the whole two foot tall margaritas. Yeah. Or like yep. the, the, it was like the shaved ice stuff. It was tasty. It looks like he's measuring some. Looks like he's he's gonna try and contest that point with the pathfinders. I think. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because right now. Actually, those snows could be scoring it. The snows you see at the bottom of your screen on the bottom of the Oh, right. yeah. Yeah, that are wrapped they're, around the building. Yeah, so that could be three men That could on be it. three. So he may be just trying because he moved the, moved the rebel tro troopers back with the uh, medical droid. So that was two. So now I think he's moving these guys to make three to just break this even. think he runs at it with the Mark II? I don't think he can make it with the Mark II because, as you can see, the Mark II here is pretty far back there. Yeah, but can't it just walk right over that? It, it Well... It would probably end its first move just on the, like, kind of tilted on the other side yeah, of it. Yeah, it might not make it far and enough. And then I think, yeah, I think it would be just out of reach. It didn't look like anything shook out from those dice, whatever nope. they were. No, I think he was, uh, I think he was hitting uh, Ahsoka with those uh, snows and didn't get anything. As Ahsoka still has two wounds on her there. All right, so he's looking here. Oh, he's, he's going to oh, he he's gonna attack him. He's yeah. a, if there's only two snows there. Triple crit. Oh, <laughs> fire from the Mark II. Wait, did he rule a crit? Surely not. Oh, oh, oh man. One. I love to see red saves fail. Love it. Yeah. Especially when you when you play with uh, white defense dice, when you see those <laughs> reds do it, you're like, <laughs> "Welcome to my world, right. white dice Thunderdome."
All right, so he's trying to see here if he can get these other, the PAL Pathfinders to come in and score. Because then if he gets those, then that's four to three on that point, and then he scores that point. So that, that, that could be huge. What did I miss? Uh, the, let's see, the Mark II got a triple crit shot going into the snow. At least it looked like triple it crit. It looked like triple. It might have just been two. Yeah, but he saved one of them. One yeah. snow left. So there's one snow left on this back right. So Empire has three bodies on this intercept. On this point, and he just moved Pow up to make it four to three on that point. I'll tell you what I have missed when I was up finding out the next game. One of the ATSs is gone. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Bye bye, chicken. Yeah, he took that out with a uh, Rebel Vet squad. Uh, he had by two. It had two, two yep. wounds left two on wounds. it. He had two crits. And he blinked them and, and got it. Woof. So. Yeah. so we're on four. We don't know when the dice call is going to be made. It's going to be. It's, it's got to be, be any soon. time it's now. It's got to be soon, yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, so this round will score, and then this, I believe, turn five here will be our double score in round. So. If you're playing, I you've got to be planning for that. So play, then, play every round like it's your last. Yeah. <laughs> That's how to live. <laughs> yeah, right? That's exactly it. How many Inquisitors are on the field today? Anyone brave enough to bring them? You know what? I haven't seen any yet. Um, I haven't seen. Also, we're, we're away from the other tables, yeah. so we haven't really been yeah. able to go around and see what what people are actually uh, playing with. I feel like that'd be, I feel like people, if they're doing the Swiss non-cheesy, that'll yeah. probably, might, they might run that for the for the lulls. It'd be a fun Swiss thing to, to play. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the problem people mentioned about bringing fun stuff to play for the Swiss is just storage space. Yeah. Trying to bring, bring their own two list armies. for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and, and a fun list for Swiss. I've just had a thought. Yeah. If you play LCQ, yeah. you wouldn't have submitted a list to go into Worlds. On Correct. Friday. Correct. And the lists have been submitted. They're not made visible, obviously. No, but, I, but lots of people have been speaking about them. I so if you win an LCQ ticket, you might have... No one's saying... Oh, yeah, like you like, get like... So there's I'm two, two so you're saying you get like tech to yeah. then like play against... Pret what? I mean, it's... it's you're taking it's, against 270 it's other players. Yeah, it's right. improbable, but it I mean, right. not it's still... Effective. Plus, the lists aren't revealed yet, so you no. don't know what... I mean, yeah, there's droids and like, you know that, yeah. but you don't know like... I mean, you're going to tech against Kyle Dornboss's list because he posted it. Yep. Right, like, exactly. Go, That's yes, one list that you may get matched. Oh, same like okay. him okay, and Ollie and whatnot. Here we go. Turn five. Turn right. five. Implacable, Shorty. Come on. It, ha it has to be. Because then, then I would just go straight up into those guys. Did we get a scoring? What what all scored I will there? go find out. We definitely – Rebels definitely scored middle. And and the left. So that should have been – should, should be – And then did oh, Rebels put anything on the right? Swift Protector, and I'm your worst nightmare. So that's the Guardian turn and Gunslinger. Uncanny yeah. luck, too. Not Gunslinger, but effectively. Yeah. All right, Cockles, what you got? What you got? Okay, firstly, not the cards I thought would come out. Right, same. No. Uh, <laughs> same. No, no. Secondly, it's 3 2 to the Rebels. Okay. Totals 3 2. Okay. So you have, to, to, you have to expect this is double score. Yeah. 3 2 to the Rebels. That means it was a 2 0 a two, just now? A 2 1 on the first one. 2 1 on turn two. And then Empire, the Empire, Empire scored nothing here. He probably moved. Is something his snows. at the, the Get, left? Let's see. Where is the. No. Yeah, this one. His leader might be out because his leader's there. That's not oh, range no. one. I think he. I think he moved them too far from his oh, original no. point to not score. Yeah. I think you're right. Oh my gosh! Oh man! Oh, oh man! All right, How are we gonna describe what we're yeah, seeing? Yeah. So here? right now, uh, Brian Weebear just shows up. Um, he's wearing proper Scottish kilt with sporin. He looks immaculate. His beard is trimmed perfection <laughs> on his face. This man is the epitome of all man. And oh, the Scotsman. Oh, man. And oh, he's, and he's doling food. out cl cliff bars. Oh. oh, this guy's a saint. He is a god among men. Yes. Yes. 
We're just singing your praises over here on stream. Don't worry. Yeah. I absolutely love that, man. Brian Weber, folks, the uh, captain of jank. <laughs> he's got some jank this he, weekend, too. Oh, do you know Del what he's running? Yeah, he's running double bus, kitted out uh, with the aim passing with the guns, oh the six man. black dice guns. One of them has unhinged astromech. One of them um, has shriv. And he has R2-D2. He has four repair bots outside of R2-D2. What? Four, is that, is four or five? I think it's five repair bots outside of R2-D2. And he has op loop. Oh, bless this man. Yeah. Bless this man. So can I believe we, it's nine Can, we have, a, can we have a Legion Saint and just make it him <laughs> in that outfit? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Cockles will probably agree with this. Can we make him a Legion Saint and just in that picture, but then just like Saint Bear. completely, yes, yeah, Saint Bear? So, co context for it. Um, I said to him, I'm wearing mine. I'm packing it. He went, I guess I better do mine. I went, hell yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. And lo and behold, he's done it. Um, yes, we can make him a Legion Saint. Saint Bear. What's, Saint what's Saint the process? Yeah, we need Saint like Bear. a sword. We need to get the. Uh, yeah, how do we need to do that? What we need to do is nip back to medieval times. Um, oh, okay. yes. Grab the claymore. Oh, okay. And okay. Uh, just like, donk, donk. It I'm was not. just on the wall. Either that or whoever is anyone. Uh, yeah, or a lightsaber. Does someone have a lightsaber handy? Yeah, as soon as you touch them, though, just sit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Well, that was a welcome distraction. That was quite nice. <laughs> what, are they, what, what are these? These Blue are cliff bars. Cliff bars. Have you not had? Do you guys not, not have these in the UK? These are like the best I mean, kind of like so hiking energy did snack. You, did you tell him what I gave him? Yeah. Oh no no no. 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 So no. I so I gave I gave Be uh, Mr. Bear, <laughs> Saint Saint Bear. Saint Saint Bear. Saint Bear. I gave him some Cadbury chocolate. <laughs> I love uh, it. Which you have you have. Yep, yep. Uh, so I brought some treats over um, because uh, it's it's the superior chocolate unless you ask <laughs> unless you ask the those from Hershey's. But um, no, he, and he gave these in, in return. So I'll take that all day long. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Vets coming up to melee. Snows, get into melee with these snows. And if he, if he does this right, then he could actually score that back point and prevent those snows from, well, the snows could withdraw. And score they could withdraw, point. yes. Um, so but it keeps point. them safe and locks down snows. I mean, I think it's perfectly fine. Play. I think that's a great play. Ignore the ATSC. Um, so, bounty aside, the angry Ewok is our rebel player, right? Yep. Adam. He just needs to hold on to. He just needs to hold on to his position. Which, which, as you can see, he moved his POW pathfinders back behind the building to not be shot, but still be scoring position of his original yeah, he's left playing, position. playing like ring around the rosy with Vader. Yeah. Who again, mind you, Vader just needs to walk over that building. Yeah. Just he's he's basing like, it now. He could just get on top like, and then. If Vader cut ended his turn any turn standing on the middle of the building, no one could avoid him. No. But no. And the and right now he doesn't have enough to shoot at it to make it. Yeah. Is there scope for Vader? I'm looking at my not judging the range. Is there scope for Vader to move around, force push, and then move around and go boom? Oh, absolutely. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure a single move would put the vets in range one of Vader for a force push, and then he could do whatever he wants. Yep. All right. So where's he going with his ATSC? Snow's down there. There's uh, one. There's snow. one snow body. Yeah, left. He that the, get... the Mark II's been chunking it. Oh, okay. So he couldn't get around. And even if he did, he got shot by the other, other not at the top. If you wanna, yeah, let's switch over. So I'll show you. So what we're talking about, guys, is this this rebel, this original rebel control point here, uh, under the shade on the far right of that piece, you can see the lone snowtrooper that's Ooh, that's some red dice. Out there. That's ATST shot. Five ATST hits. into. Is he shooting up and over? Not sure. I think I think he's shooting he into the. Uh, that shot. I think he's shooting into the Biston. Yeah, because that's that's a dead that's whatever. Dead whatever it is. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. So Pathfinder. Biston Pathfinder's gone off the board. Cheerio. And then, so as you can see here, you got snows there, Pathfinders in the back. Come around the other side. Vader and Cad. On the front end of it. And then only Cassian back there to contest that. Yeah, this is a very he should, he should have double moved his mark, too. Did we see drops on rapid? 
Yeah. Oh, we did. We just missed yeah, it. Yeah, we just missed yeah, it. Okay, yeah, okay, that's fine. I was, was making my brain end, went. Yeah, they were doing it like in the round yeah, one. Yeah, we were still we, when wiring we, up when we cut in here. So. Which we will try and have some uh, player audio for you guys in the next game. Uh, we will turn on that mic and uh, make sure that is all up and running uh, yeah. effectively. We're gonna get stuff added pretty much each game. Yep. Uh, question was uh, loving the ter loving the table. Where is the terrain from? Uh, I believe this is. It's yeah, it's community, community supply, project yeah. stuff. Um, I don't know. Non-sponsored. Yep, yep. I, I just know, I know Hank, who is our, like, main guy for Adepticon, supplied a lot yeah. of it. I just know right. he was working on a ton of it. Um, he had a lot going on to get that going, so. This looks like he's measuring Vader. Where? Oh yeah, he does still. Oh, he moved that one lone rebel captain all the way around that back building. You can see oh, it on the top yeah. right of your screen. He's just he waiting because he could double move him if he's got the play. If he's got the body count, he could double move him at the end. Yeah, and come right in to help contest that point. I think Vader can easily move out, saber throw, kill it right now if he does. Because I don't think he'll have cover. You think he's range two there? I think it's probable. Oh, he, oh, is he just tucking into the building? He is. Okay. So saber throw. That is a saber into throw. Into Cassian. Three hits into whatever. We'll see if it's danger sense dice or not. No, he just gave Cassian the wounds. Why wouldn't he roll the danger sense? You always roll it. Yeah. Well, I think he just straight up was like, yep, there's the wounds. I mean, like, four blocks can stop one. Yeah. It can happen, folks. Rebellions are built on hope. <laughs> that was a good accent there. <laughs> I do, I do well, a little accent on it. Fell at home for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where's he going with Cassian? Oh, he, he must have not had a suppression oh. yet. That's why he didn't roll. I wonder if he's, he's just gaining the suppression now. If it's turn five. So he just bat Cassian all the way up. I wonder if he's getting him away from Cad now that he has three wounds on him to yeah. not get that bounty. If I mean, if they don't expect this to be the last round, I think that's a fine play. And right, is but he, if, is he still going to have, is he still in scoring position? Cassian is not. Cassian is all the way back behind oh, he that. went straight back. Yeah, you can see him up there. He's taking shots still. Yeah, so Cassian is far out of scoring position. Tucked to the bottom, up, up right of your screen there behind that uh, interesting uh, mushroom tree. Right, he's just trying to reach the, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the transmission point. Uh, can't quite reach. I mean, <laughs> even if Rebel player just gives this point over to the Empire player, the other two, the M Rebel player can secure. Oh, there's a there's a four dice. Is that a vet or a mark two? Sorry, guys, we're going to adjust the, uh, the camera took a camera milk. angle here. Boink. I mean, it has given us a nice view of the other bit behind the building. <laughs> it's the camera, I think, as opposed to the frame. Probably good. Jack Prouding, one suppression on Cassian could still do something to stop some, right? Danger sense would mean he rolls four dice, even if three of them are pierced, a fourth block, however improbable, could stop a wound. And you miss 100% of the shots you don't take.
Uh, to answer the question in the chat, oh, do, you, uh, do you see the chat question about, Which the, one? Ta about the tables? Oh, no. We plan on uh, changing the tables between days. Days, primarily. yeah. Yeah, considering where we are in the hall, we're far away from where all the main tables are at, it would be just too much to try and... Bar the final as well. We we'll change the final. The finals we will change because there's only going to be two day, two yeah. games that day, so we will have two different tables yeah. on yeah. for yeah. Sunday. Correct. Yeah, because in theory, also the semis, one will be on, and they would stay on the same table. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah so yeah. It has to. Yeah. 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 We have to change that last table. Med Medroid loses one from an ATST shot. I'm not sure who shot right there. Who's he measuring around here? Cad? It was Cad. Oh, okay. It was a Cad shot. Cad's in a weird spot where he can't really see him. Zane, the uh, picture of you in the flowery shirt went on Instagram earlier. He's getting some love. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't, guys, that is only the beginning of what I'm wearing this weekend. John's Trust seen it. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> John's it's, seen it. It's an adventure. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It might even put your kilt to shame. <gasps> what? I said it. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm tomorrow I'm tomorrow offended. will still be the flower shirt, but a vastly different pair of pants. Let's see, we got one block out of four on. I think he's taking a, is that a Cassie? Is he shooting at Cassie in there? Must be. Look how far up Cad Bane moved. Yep. Yeah, I think he's trying to get that bounty. And for those who are not American, when he says pants, he means trousers. <laughs> <laughs> my pan he? pantaloons. My britches. That's what we call it in the South. My britches. <laughs> Second Cad Bane shot yielded a single crit, looks like. Yeah, he took out that one captain up that'd there, it looks like. He didn't take out. Red dice were rolled in response to that. Uh, and it looked like one block, one blank. That's the, that's the snow. Snow's into... That was the Mark II shooting the snow then. Picked it up finally. Oh, yep, yep. Yep, that one snow is off the corner there. Oh, this is Ahsoka? No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's an Three Ahsoka. Three reds because tenacity? Yep. I count five? Five. She's going to tear up these snows right here in the middle. Oh, and the blanks. That is two blocks rolled from the snows, which will get pierced to wipe them. Boom. There it is. Pick them up. Pick Man. them up. Eating my words when also, I said she couldn't one-shot them. Also, that is a beautiful paint job. Beautiful paint job. Love that. That's great. Love that. Like standing, standing proud yeah. in her uh, moment of oh, come on, triumph. Turn, they made it to six. Oh, they sure did. They did that well there, then. Six, and Pinned I would down. say this is, this is, oh. Pinned down with one left. He can't even, oh, he can reach it, yeah. Sorry, I really want to know what his command hand is now, total. Yeah, because no one placable. No. Yeah. Well, congrats to these guys for getting to turn six. Yeah. They really picked that pace up, and they were moving really well there. Those last few rounds. Yeah. So, hang on. Let's work out what the Imperial player's total command hand was then. So, we've had pinned down. Um, two of two Cad Bane ones. Th I think all three of Cads. He didn't divulge. Right. So, he so he played because he played that three. As he did the, did What's he do the, the Cad Bane one He hasn't one done pip. the suppression one. Yeah, he didn't do that one. Oh, he didn't do the one pip. Yep, so, there's yep. that. So, only three Vader cards. Oh. Uh. And Vader's Might was one. Yeah. And we didn't see the others. Let's see. Did he fear and dead? I think he feared and dead, man. We'll do some investigative reporting here. <laughs> Absolutely floored that no Implacable came out. Ah, uh, yeah. Implacable is like game-changing. All right, here we go. Even Cockles has state. got the full spread here. Don't tell me he implacable round one. Okay, here we go. So, uh, of the pip, the, so pip ones. I'm your worst nightmare in Vader's might. Oh, he did do the, 
Oh, that's the two attacks. That's the two attacks, yeah. which are last okay. round. Okay, that was last the round. The pit yeah. twos are Fear and Dead Men and Pin Down. Yeah. And the pit threes are Darkness Descends. For all, all divulge. And, and the undivulged. Divulge. And the Interesting. All right. Yeah, All so right. Dark Descends, I'll make rules now. Oh, okay. It's definitely an interesting run. I, 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 I'm i surprised yeah. of the lack of um, Implacable. Man. No Implacable, no Burst. Could have could have made up for it this round. Yeah, it would have made this a big game, difference. If you think of it. I mean, things can still happen. Ahsoka could still get, like, one shot by anything. Well, he's moving Ahsoka right now. Oh, good. To just get behind Before that arc. Before she gets pinned yep. down. Yep. But he, even now, he's getting what? Impact four? Uh, it's weak point two. Is it weak point two? Weak point two rear? I don't know how much it is in the rear. I'm pulling it up right now. ATST is only one weak point. One weak so point. it is okay. three impact. Three impact. Plus her two dodges she can convert. Three dodges? Three, yeah. So it's like six for free, oh, basically. Oh, Wait. Why were there only three wounds being saved? Or three defense dice? I don't think he spent a single dodge on Ahsoka to. No. Wasn't, wasn't this her big turn? Yeah, because that was her one pip. Yeah, this was her big turn to add extra dice. She should have had three extra whites unless they all blanked. Unless he's just keeping it out there to just keep her alive for... Yeah, but you don't need more than she's one not, to stay alive. Not gonna, she's not going to suffer a turn five because there's nothing left to return fire at her. Exactly. Yeah. I think she should have spent two of them at least. Hmm. So the, the gist in the chat is uh, from uh, Orin. Brave to run no implacable or burst. Vader. Yeah, definitely agreed there, Oren. You kind of think if you're not running burst, you put implacable on. I think you put both on. If, yeah, especially I, Commander, Commander Vader. Vader. Yeah. yeah. Commander Vader. Yeah. Operative Vader. Maybe you don't do burst of speed because you're I moving. Mean, you could you're like take okay. your pick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But implacable, so good. It's the ten. It's the turn six destroyer. It is. Yeah. It's better than double attack with Cad Bane. Like, come on. Some white defense being rolled. Four blanks oh, picking hello. up. At the back. Oh, okay. Was that the the lone? No, was that, that, was, that was Cassian. Cassian got picked up. That's a bounty. Yeah. Which currently ties the game yep. at a 3-3. Yeah, and then it depends but on what gets scored Then you here. get score, so you could tie Which. on. But then even if you tie on that, points killed vastly goes in the Rebel player's favor. Because he's With killed an ATST a, down. An ATST is Snows. First Cassian. Two, two Snow Troopers, like, first is a Cassian and one Rebel vet squad. Yeah. yeah. So... I think not. unless Ahsoka dies, like, but she's yeah. not the player. But she's still got three in those three. Does she uh, have situational awareness? She does not. So she could just, get critted out, but. Just punched the uh, Snows, only lost uh, two. Is that uh, two, rebel, two rebel squads in there, right? Uh, no, it's just one. It's a six man? What's two, the way four, out? Or five. No, that other one's the uh, astromech droid. Oh, okay. Whoa, which way is he going? He's withdrawing with the snow. But why would you withdraw that way? I would withdraw the other way and contest that point. Yeah. Well, I think even there he might still be contesting. Is there a way for the ATR, ATSD to reverse over and stomp on Ahsoka? Walk backwards? Uh, you could absolutely yeah. walk over, yeah. but then she would get to move wherever, yeah. like within speed one. Yeah. And there's no pivot option to pivot kick. Oh, no, you could kick you from could behind. Kick. You could yeah. kick behind. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. You just can't arsenal. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's, it's, and this a, is where, it's a melee weapon. And there's this is no where pin down marking. doesn't really do much for him because he's not putting a token back in the yeah. bag. Like do you think that's, yeah. to be fair, it means it was his only card he had then, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 So, like, moving that, finally moving that Mark II up, but now he might have boxed himself out with his Pathfinders. Oh, wait, does he have? Scores it. So you just need to get to the back of that building to score that. That's that's wild. That's the Mark II and Cad Bane is left, so it's Vader against those. And Cad's Vader can only kill. He can kill one and push one. Right? Oh, he does still have that one lone captain alive, back behind there. Oh, okay. Which, I don't know if he could double move and be within one. I don't know either. From behind there, that's quite a quite a ways to go. Yeah. But if he does, then that's three things. Vader can only deal with two things when he doesn't have choke. Mm. Oh, but he's coming from the middle, middle building too. <laughs> he's pulling out all the stops now. Yep, so, so now he's scoring three. It's really annoying me. <laughs> Scoring three on this uh, on this rebel point here, which if Vader deals with two of them, then Vader himself ties it. But a tie is not enough. No, no, he needs he needs the point itself. Yeah, which I think for the Empire point. For the Empire, yes. Yeah. For the Empire. <laughs> so what? So you're basically saying he goes in, melees the three the three man squad and pushes away the mark two, the mark four. Yeah. 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 Well, and that's assuming Vader can even kill one of them. Right. Right, he could just blink. Yeah. He's not exactly close to any of them. Uh, so I don't know that he could double speed one to any of them. Yeah, I think if he'd been... Uh, he could saber throw into the lone man out there is probably his best bet. Uh, the lone man that just moved up and then force push one of the other two away. I think if he'd been more aggressive with Vader, it would have scared yeah. some of those rebel units yeah. away to not be able to just run back so easily because that's what's happened a lot here right he's been pushed back he's coming right back to his point because yeah. vader hasn't been there to do anything about it it felt like he was in indecision so he couldn't decide to commit to one side of that building or yes. the other yeah whereas that's why we're, I, he should have walked we're able to it. just go we'll try to go in the middle and then yeah. go well now you've got yeah. to make the decision which as john said if he had realized that he could just get on the building correct yeah, and it's the same that would have mitigated that entire uh, kerfuffle of figuring out where he was going. So. Cad Bane moving so far away just to chase the bounty is also a mistake. Um, yeah, being that it's only one point and he's giving up a two-point objective for it. Yep. He's probably hoping that Ahsoka doesn't once one-shot that squad. Uh, we need to give yeah. that. We just need to give this back to. Oh him. yeah. Yeah. I'll take it up there whenever I give them their tickets when they're done. So, community sharing again. Dudes from Australia with the C4 hat. Oh, oh nice. love that. I've got just compare that. It's better quality than the one I don't know that we have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here he goes with Vader. He's going to, looks like he's going into the lone guy. Yeah, he's just double moving. He's, to swing and kill the one guy. Get extra dice. And, oh, wow. See? But yeah. again, it's, I think that's now farther than range one of the others yep, to, yep. to push them. When he could have saber throwed. I mean, it's red dice, and you still throw three of them. Yeah. It's Odds that you blink. Slightly, slightly overkill to do that. One. Yeah. You know. well, and now he can't force push. Yeah. Because he could have moved over, saber throw, and then force push the one guy. Yep. And absolutely. been fine. So. <laughs> Someone's just commented, Holly Miller, Austin's mother. Oh, yeah. She says, just saw the stream live uh, stream photo, which I stuck up earlier. Did Cockles get to Chicago via Hawaii? I think she thought you were me. <laughs> or vice versa. Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so no, uh, Zane being the Californian that he is, he's wearing the hot. I'm not from California, I'm from Texas. The I'm just, I'm just in working California. in California. I, mean, I need to make that distinction. The Californian by proxy. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I'm from Texas, everybody. Um, so he's that. And then, uh, yeah, so that's that. So that's that. And who else? So uh, Mike Tawil says, hi, I'm South African, living, oh. in, living in the Netherlands, and shouting for all players for both. Uh, would be brilliant if they can make it to stream. Hey, who knows? It's not, not, in, our, not in our power yet at the moment. Um, Vader should have been way more aggressive in this in this game. 
And okay. uh, we have just okay. been told. It so it's just time to. So 15 minutes, right? Yeah, 15. They have 15 okay. minutes. Yeah. So they just got called time. They have a 15 minute runoff time. Which I think is going to be fine. Yeah. Which I think, I, call, I, think I called that about right at 45 up. left mm -hmm. earlier. That was about yeah. right. So. Yeah. Um, Vader should be made away from uh, Twitch93. Stabcast say, I'm interested in the South African meta. What are they playing? What do the tables look like? What is the play coach like? He, well, he, he's South African. He's in, he he's in the, the Netherlands. He's in the Netherlands. Yeah, so he's playing the European meta. Yeah, he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> which, which is bonkers. Right. Yeah, Sorry, it's all stab over the place. Stabcast reading comprehension is yeah. not the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Get that country and grammar. Yeah, and Holly, yes, you did mistake us, but hey, we, we could be brothers. That's I. We could. We, we both have red beards. <laughs> That's so the ginger thing yeah. going on. Um, I guess I was thinking anyone who would uh, bring a kilt to Chicago would also wear Hawaiian flowers. Yeah, I mean, I wear a, I wear a, a vast host of things. I am waiting to get my kilt till I actually go to Scotland to get it because I do not want to buy one in the U.S. I want to go to Scotland and get uh, you've properly got, measured. You've got to go get it authentic, like. Well, I've got to get the McPherson one. That's what I've got to get. That's my family clan. I've got to get that one. I do. Oh, wait, who, who, who's on chat now? Who's this? <laughs> I'm sorry, have you, met, have you met Amel Gibson from Dreef Armstrong? Yeah, <laughs> I was there last night watching the Blue Knight get his butt kicked. Oh, man. Cheering oh, for freedom. Man. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think it's kind of peas and carrots for what the Empire yeah. player can do. Yep. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Mistakes were made. Hold the, hold the phone. Vader has just gone nowhere near where we thought we'd go. Yes. No, yeah, he, yeah, he, went, he went in for the to lightsaber guy. swing, the one man. The one guy. Which did, he, did he measure to see if he'd get in there? I, I, I might no, he I'm just, pretty he's sure he's in range of the objective, but he, yeah. he moved too far to push anyone He can't now. push anything. So he only utilized part of what he could actually. Yeah. yeah. It's all right. So well, I, th I think this is going to score. So he did just back up that ATST, it looks like. Where is our yeah. Ahsoka? So he did exactly what alive. you said, Cockles. Backed up and over Ahsoka. Um, but that, unless it kills, I mean, if he kills Ahsoka with... Triple dodges. Triple, ah. I don't see it. She's got situational? No. Uh -uh. No. But she has she suppression sees. cover from the ATST. Is this the blast, though? This could be the blast one with the grenade. He one. doesn't have blast. Ooh. He only had a mortar, and he had a. And he's, um, he's not within range cannon. of a mortar to use it. Ooh. Is this the mortar one that's left? I think so. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that's, that's so it's just six dice that he has no aims for. I don't know why he's measuring that. Uh, I don't know why he's measuring that. He's, he can't, he can't oh, no, score. this is the rebel player measuring to get out of arc from the uh, displacement. Yep, yep. No, good call. Yep. Wall scoring. Solid, solid play there. Yeah, right now it's tied 3 3, but like, it doesn't it's matter tied unless three. the Empire player scores anything yep. this round. Yeah, because right now Rebel is scoring 1 2 3. Uh, this closest one uh, to us on camera, I don't know that Rebels are scoring. Yeah. There's a snow yeah. in there. Yeah. No, that snow was out. Remember, he didn't score the last round. Is it still out, though? Yeah, because he didn't move it. He, 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 he didn't get it. Does he just suppression move Ahsoka away from the... Uh... No, he, no he, measured. Measured. he measured. He's still in. He's at, he's at one. He's still in one. He's at one yeah. and outside the arc of that yeah. ATSD. I was going to say, that would be a massive misplay. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, no, he... But even that, like, the rival player would still win. So and Rival he's... player just needs to score more than Empire in this round. Yeah which he's taken care of on two different objectives. Three objectives. I think they're... I think they're done. The rebel player, or the, the captain made it in. You see that? Yep, yep. Jeez. Yeah, they're tied in. Okay, confirm. All right. So this game is done, guys. It sounds like uh, the rebel player wound up taking it. It was a exciting an unexpected game. Seven to three. Seven to three. Wow. Yep, so the Rebel player scored two of those. That's gotta be middle and the near one to us right now. Yeah. 
the Rebel players. Yeah, because he was 3 2 at the end of four. And then the bounty. And then the bounty, so then it was 3 3. Yep. And so Empire scored nothing in that last round. Correct. And he scored two out of the three. So that's. Correct. That's huge. That's huge. Awesome. That hey, guys, thank you so much for joining us for the uh, first stream. Once again, we apologize for the late start on everything. Um, we should have this next round up and going here yeah. um, shortly. I don't think they're getting, are they doing a break? I or don't we just going straight so. in? I think we're going straight in. This yeah, we're, we're doing four, four games today, guys. So we're going to, uh, okay. we're going to get this uh, round two paired up. Um, and going pretty quick, and uh, and we will be splitting the stream as well. So we will have a the AM stream, which is going on now, and then we will have a PM stream because we cannot. Yeah, we'll go probably past. break that after game two. Yeah, yeah, um, after the second game. Especially if we're not doing a lunch break. Yeah. Maybe we'll get more of a pause between game two and three, yep. depending on how quick game two is. Yep. So we won't be able to. Uh, um, We'll be able to keep that stream going all day on, in, in a single stream due to the uh, hours. Yeah. Um, so. I'm going to see. We do have, so we have a bunch of uh, pre-recorded player interviews. Yes. And I'm going to see if I could queue one of them up while we're, to show you guys while we're waiting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll let John kind of tell you about that. I'm going to go uh, talk with the players and give them their tickets. Once again, thank you guys for jumping on. Uh, it was a pleasure, and we will see you in the next round shortly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so before I send you guys over, it is just um, me and Cockles did a lot of interviews. Um, I think about 20 or so of players that have won grand championships and that were top eight and and a couple uh, and other players, some of the judges do. Um, so we're going to try and fire up one of those right now. So I uh, just went over and had a little chat. Um, Adam initially gave up on the point that's closest to us where the Mark IV is. He initially gave up and thought, uh, what's the point? And that's why he gave up. I asked Jeremy from Wisconsin, he's very found out, Jeremy yeah. Hansen from Wisconsin. I asked him, said, um, we were speculating on the stream why he didn't speed one onto the top of the building. He went, just forgot. Yeah, I, uh, that's what I would That figured. is the thing. Adam actually wasn't sure about that rule. He actually was like, is that a thing? I said, yes, it's the new climb rules, how that interacts. Yeah. So he was like, that's scary because it means Vader doesn't have to... Or, or, Climbing makes it irrelevant, that sort of stuff. So it was definitely interesting. Tell you what is interesting. We've joined by uh, the semi stream member for the moment, <laughs> Oliver Dyer. How are we doing? How are you doing, mate? You're right. Doing yeah, we're good. Were you playing a game earlier or, you, or just. Uh, yeah, so I was, uh, I was in the Swiss, um, went up against the winner of LVO. <laughs> uh, oh, the uh, OB the Cody, OB one. Yeah. Uh, Pad my list. So. Um, did, did you win? No, no. So it's, uh, <laughs> it was 3-3 it was, it was three, three on, three, three on payload. Uh, going down to kill points uh, again. It's not. It's not really something I've played into before. Like I've, I, I'm aware of its of its existence. So yeah. it, like playing in the Swiss today, and this is why I want to get like the full four matches in because the more practice I can get against lists that I just don't see in England, right. um, the better. So again, like. I think that the matchup's probably about a 50-50 into it. Uh, I had some poor rolls at the start on a bus. I think I failed. Uh, it was like nine out of nine saves failed on the first couple of shots into it. Yeah. Um, and you know, at, at that point, if you if you lose a bus and you sort of drop in your black suns, you, you kind of lose a lot of momentum that the list provides. But again, uh, re 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 really cool opponent is Nathan. Uh, is it Gribble? Gribble, that's the one. Yep. Uh, so yeah. So re yeah, really good opponent. Uh, and so yeah, it's like I come up here and uh, join you gents for the old old So what I'm, what I'm hearing is, do you remember what, just, you know what you were saying earlier? Oh, people might match up against people, they might match up and all this sort of stuff. The really cheesy lists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Ollie, that's what he's just done. Which one's the cheesy list though? Definitely Ollie. Ollie's the cheesy list? 100%. Yeah. Black Suns and Bus? That's not cheesy. Just, well, no, maybe to a cheesy person. A cheesy person. What you do if you poke, <laughs> if you poke him hard enough, you'll just like, oh, cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. <laughs> a, I don't know, like, a, is this from experience? I'm, I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm not Palmer's angle. <laughs> no, you're more of a oh, damn. <laughs> e damn. <laughs> e damn. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just to fill you in what's been happening here, though, on the relevant game that's still in the stream. So we had Empire versus Rebels. We had an Empire list, which was Ahsoka, Pathfinders. So uh, you had a Rebel list that was a yeah. Ahsoka, Pathfinders, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's so, the one. So sorry, Reb, Reb, <laughs> you, you said Empire. I was like, oh, did he? Yeah, did. <laughs> so, no, so, no. Uh, we had the Empire list with Ahsoka and Pathfinders. He was running wrong oh. cards. Anyway, so no, it was Rebel, Rebels, Ahsoka, Pathfinders. And then on the Empire side was 
uh, Vader double A TST. The interesting part, what do you think would be the command hand on the Vader ATST list? Double ATST. So if it's Vader double ATST, I think you drop Fear and Dead Men for. No, not Fear and Dead Men. I think you drop new ways to motivate them for pin down. Oh, and Cad Bane, sorry. Cad Bane's in there as well. And Cad Bane. So again, like the. The, 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 it's such a challenge to figure out cards. So you, you definitely want both evaders one pips because they're just fantastic. That was and, and, and they and they and they make him an absolutely incredible piece yeah. on the on the table. Yeah. Two pips. I think you're going to be going for potentially fear and dead men. Potentially cads two pip. That's that's the kind of argument on those two. That. Uh, and then you're going to be going for pin down over fear and dead men because it's just it's not fear and dead men. Um, new ways to motivate them. Because shuffling all the tokens back in, especially when you got range for ATSTs, that's, that's yeah. You know. New ways isn't going to get you yeah. a lot. It's, it's not, not going to get you there. And then in terms of the three pit, I I think in that list you can afford to drop Master of Evil in favour of Cad's um, three pip, so that you yeah. can so that you can get yeah. that you can get his tokens down. As I think you lose so much value from Cad if you don't have his tokens out. So you were half right. Okay. Half right. Okay. So you had. Uh, the, dark, the darkness ascends. In, uh, I think he only missed one card. There no, was he, no implacable. He, he went no. He, I think uh, he also didn't have. Um, hang on, what remember, I need to remember. We actually so, so, so it was we dark, had, darkness ascends. So no, so we had darkness ascends. Cad, cad three pip. The cad cad three pip, yeah. which wasn't divulged. Yeah. We had the cad wasn't divulged. We had the Vader three pip, which gives him the surges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had pin down. Okay. We had Fear and Dead Men. Yeah. And we had Cad's one, uh, Cad's one pip. Over which Vaders? No implacable. No implacable. No implacable. Yeah. No implacable. That's no burst of speed. And either. there's no burst of speed on the Vader as well, which was quite. On Commander Vader. Right, I'm going to actually say as well. That madness, madness, and I want no part of it. <laughs> it's <laughs> I mean, all right. It's all right. You, you're right, Holly. I am Emperor Talpatine, ruler of the Galactic Sauna. <laughs> <laughs> you gosh darn right, I am. <laughs> Uh, just so catching up on the chat, so uh, Cock was going to see us do that. Last thing we need is a union of Tom and Florida man. <laughs> Trouble spells these for all each and kind. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Richard Lavery, Austin is the absolute best. I can't disagree. Is, it, is he met you? Austin. No, <laughs> Richard Lavery. <laughs> <laughs> um, tech sketches on here. Uh, Austin keeps us on our toes, Holly says. Uh, this is it's Oli, uh, Team UK from ZZZ Rider. Is that uh, is that is that is that a sleep rider or? I don't know. And then, <laughs> and then uh, obviously Tom Tom's missing us from the chat. He's there giving it the laugh. Uh, yes, and Talpatine. I, I I knew that Tom would Tom would be sending that picture of me looking dodgy in a towel to Austin, <laughs> and I, I'd, I'd 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 prep myself for it. But uh, also Holly, I love your jumper. Thank you so much. Um, for someone who's so lovely, I'm surprised uh, <laughs> you, uh, you 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 made Austin. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard such a backhanded compliment. <laughs> oh dear! Uh, oh, so this is what, this is what we're here for. Someone here so happy to hear British humour. It's like, oh, well, basically, what British humour consists of like absolutely ripping into each other. Oh, absolutely. So uh, the, the, obviously, the, the prank war continues, and uh, Austin will be Austin will be. Well, my prank for Austin will be revealed tomorrow morning. Correct. It will. Uh, ready, ready for world. Um, so. Um, yeah, it's, uh, From it's Falling Dan, uh, do we have a rough schedule of the, of the games? I uh, want to make sure I don't miss the first four turns like I did this as game. As soon as that we get pairings, wasn't yeah. really you. That might have been a bit of us as no, well. I mean, we only <laughs> we only missed half of a turn, yeah. really, on stream. So I think there's a 30-minute lunch now. Is there? I believe that there That has not been announced to any it of us. It hasn't been shouted, but, I mean, we've got the cards. So I, I, think, I think Nick Bodnar said that there will be a lunch. Um, obviously, the, the schedule changed a little bit this morning, I think. I think uh, from what we thought we were doing in the last chance, qual last chance qualifier. Oh, we, have our, we already have our players. Lovely. So okay. we have Mateus, and we'll find out in a second. I will go. Is this, a, is this round two has already been? Round two, yes. Yeah, so round yeah. two. So yeah. are, they, are they also having a, a lunch? <laughs> Here he is, Here Mateus. He is. There, there he is. is, giving us the nod. Uh, our, 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 man of, our man of mystery from Poland. Hello. Uh, he's giving us a little handshake, hoping we might be favourable on him on the stream. Uh, but there we go. So that's that. 
Yep. So, uh, 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 John's off to get a beverage of water. Oh, delish. Yes. Um, <laughs> What's that? Hang on. Are we, are, we, are we full English on the stream right now? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I'll be the bacon. Um, <laughs> you, be, you be the egg. Um, <laughs> Why am I an egg? I didn't want to call you sausage. <laughs> I mean, judge, judge, judging by my thumbs. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Leafy models there. We're not going anywhere. Although you might have your pairing up, so have a quick check. Holly takes after his dad. <laughs> All right. Um, on a, so on a, no, on to the, on to the game. Mode. So this is jacket there. That's so on to game mode. So you, so uh, you were obviously here. Uh, you arrived on Tuesday. I feel like I'm actually doing a proper interview here. It's like leaning on the chair. I, d I did. I did. Um, arrived on Tuesday. You were here Tuesday. You, um, what? You've seen the tables. Now we on uh, on the podcast we spoke about tables uh, quite a bit recently about like potential quality, potential differences in what we are used to in Europe compared to America. What are your thoughts overall? Because these are quality. So uh, a lot of the tables have been looked at. So I'm I'm, I'm very very proud of my creation uh, on the on the table. I was I was setting this up last night at around ten uh, about seven o'clock, um, and I think that. Although maybe we sometimes see, and again, it, it, it's all a lot of the time it's community driven in terms of how much scenery you're going to get given. So I understand that there's going to be a level, a le like a level of lightness, and everybody kind of joins together for Adepticon. So this is what this is what when, when, I, when I think of Legion, I think of Legion tables. This is what I think of. Yep. Like there is that there is plenty of stuff to hide, nice cover, nothing too open. Again, not every table is going to be perfect out there. There is going to be uh, limitations on what we can actually. Uh, you know, put out onto the tables, but as as it as it stands right now, look looking at it over, I'd give the tables like a, a ninety to ninety five percent pass rate. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of love into it. The ones and I was saying earlier on, there's there's always something on a different table you see it and go, that's cool, that's yeah. cool, that's cool, something unique. Have you seen the one that is about twenty five thousand feet tall? Yeah. <laughs> so for content, there was a, a spire. I'm gonna go around and get some pictures later on, stick it on our Instagram for everyone to see. I'm gonna do a little walk around live as well when I'm off. Um, there's a spire that is going to get knocked over about nine times over the weekend. Oh, it's the... Um, and there he is. It's this the one from Rebels, right? Yes, the one, yeah, I think so. Yes, yeah, the one from... Is it Lothal? Lothal? Lothal, Lothal. Yeah. Lothal. So Lothal. The, 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 the Lothal big tower. Um, but look, there's, there, there, there's so much cool stuff out there, and I think the community is really pulled together to put out some really, really nice tables. And yep. right. uh, now Zane is back. Uh, yes, we have our next... Whoa, oh, jeez, there... Blood See, amazing. well, yeah, your levels and you speak louder than John, so yeah. Blame. That's all right. I'll, I'll quiet down. <laughs> right, what you got? Use my you got, you, you, got a, you, you, you got to whisper. Whisper. <laughs> Tell us what you got, over. Oh, yeah, that was a bit loud than expected. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if, if, any, if anyone's uh, listening, if anyone's listening in headphones, we apologise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> coming straight through your ear holes. Z Zane has given me a British flag, I so yes. he, he has col he has Pink. colonised me. <laughs> All the irony. Uh, <laughs> oh, how the turntables. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so, right, Zane, have you spoken to the players? Who have you got and what we got? Yes. Um, I'm not sure what exactly they're playing just yet. They're figuring out who's I've red and blue. But we have Mataus from, from Poland. Mataus. Yep. Yes. Mataus. Yes. We'll yeah. Mataus. <laughs> Mataus. That's what he said. Oh, okay. I said, is it Mataus? And he said, yeah, Mataus. Okay. I was like, okay. We're wrong with British pronunciations. Yeah. So Mataus I need to uh, talk from about Poland. Um, and then we have Richard uh, from the States here. And I... The, I believe. When they're done, we'll get their lists. They're just talking through, I think, at the moment. Yeah. I'll go grab I, them. I, I think um, I think Richard is actually going to be blue player because um, he's at 799. Yeah. Mattaus is at 800. So. Yep. Or flip that. I will. Uh, well, when they've when they've put their list down, I will yep. uh, go grab them and talk through what they've cool. got in a bit, or we can talk through. I should say. Uh, Ollie, have you not got a game now? I mean, I've not heard it announced, but I'll have a look. <laughs> I was like, I love it. your opponent will be waiting and going, and who is this Oddie? Uh, where is he? <laughs> I, thought, I thought there was a lunch. If there's, no, not, if there's, there's not a lunch. There's not a lunch. Either. I mean, round, round two's not been drawn yet for us, so. It, it hasn't been for them either. They just sent them back here because it's further away from everyone else. So but Is that Andy as well, yeah? Yes, I mean, yeah. Oh, cool, cool. Just passing out something to Oddie for his yeah, ticket. So I, I, I want to give out a, a, a real, real big special shout out to Mateus, though. Hats off to him for traveling from Poland to the US to participate in a last chance qualifier. No kidding. Yeah, that, 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 takes some, that, that takes some real, real guts just to come out here. And again, like, it just shows what the community is like. I'd put him as a dark horse to get into the top four for it. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and M Mateus is great. Richard from the States is so vague. Uh, again, like, uh, if, <laughs> as soon as we get more information, we'll let you know, Mr. Lavery. 
<laughs> well, uh, yeah. So, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Lavery, as soon as I go, as soon as I get, as soon as they've uh, finished doing things and they've read it, I'll, um, I'll go get. In fact, I'll go over now. Zane, Ollie, you have a chat. Uh, yeah, so th th thanks for your permission there, couples. <laughs> yeah. I'm allowed to touch it yeah, out. Now, <laughs> now we can actually, now we can converse. We've had permission granted. My, my love. <laughs> how, how have I waited? It's, it's been so long. <laughs> From Doth young, yonder window, you wait. So it looks like players are discussing uh, terrain currently. Look, everything, I think everything out here is height one. Except for the tops of those buildings, but you can't put anything on it anyway. And... Uh, so the the original the original setup that we had in mind for this table was that the buildings were to represent heavy cover, um, and then everything else, sort of like the scattered terrain, trees, stuff like that, was going to be light. But we're of course going to see what the players decide amongst themselves. So we'll have a quick readout of Richard's oh, list for you. Uh, so we are running director Orson Krennic, uh, with, and then a snowtroopers with Gideon Hask and Recon Intel. A Stormtrooper with DLT-19 Stormtrooper, Imperial Comms Technician and Comms Relay. We have then got Imperial Dark Troopers with Program Loyalty, Frag Launcher, Assault Cannon and an additional Dark Trooper. Moff Gideon with Improvised Orders, Commanding Presence and Stormtroopers with DLT-19 and Recon Intel. And then the TX-225 GAV Occupier Combat Assault Tank with Governor Price and the DLT-19 Rifle Pintel. Um, so in terms of missions, uh, did you say it was blue? Uh, oh, I didn't get that information. Ah, they didn't. I don't think they'd. So uh, let's only get a second. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll just we'll just wait to read out missions until we whilst we find out who's uh, who's blue and red. They'll dish out a bit and we'll stick them on. So here's one for you. If you had that list, what would you not want to face? Uh, I mean, ion isn't great. Like like a lot of ion uh, or really really heavy impact. Now nah, you'll be fine. So we have a Maggie. Also known as Becky over here in the States. Sh what, Shazza in the Shazza. in the Australia Shazza. as well? Shazza, as a, as no, I, as that's what I call her Maggie Thatcher. Yeah, yeah, Maggie, yeah. Ma Maggie. Yeah. Maggie, yeah. so yeah. Just, just in case people don't know the Maggie gag. So Maggie, Imperial Officer, with Underworld Connections. Uh, Bobber, with Up Close, Situational, is Flamer and the Recon Intel. One squad of Shore Troopers with the T-21B. Two Storm Troopers with HH-12s and a Specialist. So... Recover, shoot, recover, shoot, recover, shoot, get the aim off the specialist, all that sort of stuff. Uh, so that's not going to be helpful for the Dark Troopers. Uh, IG-88 oh. with Hunter and targeting scopes. Uh, more, and a mortar and a snow troopers with Del Mico and three scout snipers. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, wow. Twelve, and, I'm not missing. One, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, wow. tw so that's twelve versus eight activations. Wow. How however, though, from 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 the list that you just read out, I mean, I I mean, I I do is pretty terrifying. Uh, yes. Into into yeah. armor. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty terrifying into anything, to be honest. But um, the the activation count can really really help. In, uh, well, and, in and this, with the with the dark character. troopers, you figure they're going to go twice. So for that, well, that, that that makes it eight, I think. Two, oh. four, six, seven. Yeah, seven acts. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Seven, seven acts and then the second act second on the, act. Uh, on the right. Dark Troopers as well. Uh, so you, basically you're looking to first last with the HH-12s, aren't you? Whittle, whittle, whittle. First last? Yeah. Go last first, whatever. There we are. <laughs> 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 Who let you on stream? So, <laughs> just tired, <laughs> mate. <laughs> just yeah. catching up now. We're going to check here, guys. I have turned on the uh, player mic, so we will see Ready. what we get from this. What we got? Let's go. If you want to shuffle, please shuffle. What I would appreciate is if there's lots of background noise that makes it not harder to hear us, let us know and I can turn the game down. So just let us know your feedback, please, chat. So, did I just going to see cars out? So, we have got that is Long March. Clear conditions. Hemmed in. Chad, if you guys can hear this, if that background noise sounds too loud, please let us know. And then we'll we, we will adjust it. We'll adjust it. Well, yeah, we'll have to. Yeah. But we turn player tad down so we can hear you over the background. Yeah, exactly. Okay. okay, so Mateus was blue then. We're wearing blue. headphones, so hopefully we'll be able to hear him when they talk. 
Okay, so a lot of background, okay. Yeah, it's quite hard to hear us in background, in which case, we'll do that. Can't quite hear the players, I'm afraid. Yeah, one yeah. or the other, it's one well, or the other, it's us or them. <laughs> they're also not talking right now, they're but, just putting out cards. Yeah, Matt, so. I know which Matt that is. <laughs> Yeah. Background is pretty loud. We'll, uh, we'll we'll try and keep that down for you. I'm on the uh, I'm on the slide here. Yeah. Did uh, did Bushman uh, head to the bathroom? Yeah, he went to get some water. I get some, I went, you think he went to get some uh, sustenance or fluid? Okay. Okay. So by the looks of things, that's what long march, hemmed in, advanced positions, major offensive, clear conditions, war weary, supply drop, and fortified, key positions, intercept the transmissions, hostage exchange, and recover. And that was KP's just been flipped. And then Richard flipping into hostage exchange. Oh. What? So we'll yeah, we we, we flipped it to hostage so far. Mateus is on his second pick. Mateus. Mateus. We were told. That's what he told me. Okay, Mateus. Mateus. <laughs> I, I've, I've never called him Mateus in my life, and he's always responded. He was too polite to say. <laughs> he was too polite to say you said it wrong. <laughs> it's like you know, this man's been calling me John for three years. <laughs> <laughs> it's, past, it's, the past, it's past the point of me being able to tell him that. Okay, what was that just flipped over then? I missed that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, Jeff. It doesn't matter now. It's gone. <laughs> gone forever. <laughs> hostage. Uh, hang on a second. Hostage with... What was I missed, actually, what the list was there. What's he, what was it? Who was with the Dark Troopers? Uh, so, the, the, mission, the missions here, we had hemmed in, roll out, major offensive, advanced positions. No, no, no. Who was with the Dark Troopers and what? No, dark, so, Dark Troopers, Gav Tank... Uh, two, stor two storms with DLT 19. And the commander? Uh, commanders, Krennic and Gideon. Interesting combo. Uh, uh, I, actually re I actually really like Krennic with darks. With hostage? They're yeah. playing hostage. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, so solely because, um, like, on, on, in, in my opinion, on, on the first turn, um, you're likely going to be. Assuming he has it, of course. Um, you're likely going to be throwing out the uh, Krennic two pit. Remind for those who don't play Empire or can't remember. Right, so the Krennic, the Krennic two pit is, I think, it's two trooper units, um, and when a unit issued an order by Krennic, so when a unit is issued an order by Krennic, they receive a standby. Okay. Uh, and obviously, being unable to strip the standby from the Dark Troopers. Um, yeah, I mean, did I, I didn't quite hear. Him. Matthaus's list is—is is there, is there a vehicle in there? Or? No vehicles. Yeah, Matthaus's no. Matthaus's list is IG Bobber, so the, the bounty. So the bounty, so Krennic and Gideon the bounty. It's done. Uh, and then there's no vehicles. Yeah, so the, the, um, I'm just saying that the only thing that you, the only way you could strip that standby is with yeah. a, is with a move. Yeah. Uh, on that on that on that first turn and. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I, 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 I worry for Richard a little bit. But not that, I, not I, because I, I don't doubt his quality, but I mean, just uh, this, I, this list. I look at this list and go, what do I deal with? Uh, because you've got threats from IG and you've got threats from Bobber, so you've always got to keep your commanders hidden and or out of sight because they're they're in danger. You do, but like you, you can never underestimate three moves in the first turn with your hostage carrier. Yep. Um, and then, uh, you know, f f following, on, follow, f following on from that, um, you know, with, with, with your dark troopers there to back them up, it, it makes, it turns it into a game where you have to run at them, which is kind of what this list wants to do. Here's one for you. Um, a final turn, Annihilation looms. With dark troopers. Oh yeah, it's it's it, it's it's great. Someone saying uh, Boba, yeah. But it's, it's Boba, not Booba. It's Boba. Uh, yeah, I mean, John uh, John B. Uh, thank you. Hello, hello. Uh, you need to just 
adjust to who's saying it. If you are from north end of the country in England, it's Boba. If you're from where I am, it's Bo uh, Boba. Uh, Boba. It's not Boba. No one calls it Boba. What Boba Fett? Why not? Because they just don't. Because that's now you say just, it. They just don't. <laughs> they just don't. Just don't. <laughs> right, listen here, pal. <laughs> <laughs> don't, do not make me bring out the full northerner on you. <laughs> Not hearing from Saint and John at the moment because they're just doing some little camera adjustments and things. But so that's why you just get the company of two Brits chatting rubbish. Um, that's what life's about. Yeah, this is true. Uh, Credit Darks is super interesting from Richard Lavery, uh, and if it's Lavery, Lavery, sorry. Um, Misfortune is cheering on Mateus on this one. Sorry, Richard from the States. Um, shocked, no death troopers with Credit. I think John, that's because obviously he's gone for the Darks and he's gone Darks Gideon as opposed to. Um, darks, it, it, uh, death credits. Right? It, it feels like um, what um, Richard from America has done has mixed two kind of list formats together. So like you've you, you've mixed your uh, remnant in there, and you've kind of mixed your kind of like credit gun line a little bit. So I mean, there's not there's there's not masses, but like credit on like the two DLTs are still pretty good shots. So like the Chat, how's the um it's game two now, so how's the player mic out there for you people? So just let us know because um I heard them a little bit because we're interested what you hear. I need to come now, but uh, right, listeners at home, I am going to go and grab myself a little bite, a bite to eat before my next round starts. Uh, so I will be passing myself back over to Zane or Cockles. I'll carry on. But I'm, uh, I'm sure I'll be back. These guys are doing within the next, stuff, and within I'm the next couple of hours. Talk to the chat for a little while. Enjoy, Mr. Cockles. See you later, folks. Bye bye. Bye, Ollie. And just like that, he's gone. Um, Let's have a look at the chat then. So uh, I've seen I've seen this show. It's Dad Bod Dad Bodder, lovely. Um, Death Troopers to credit game. Death Troopers to credit game isn't a staple for the old retinue entourage type stuff. Entourage, that's the word. Um, potentially four hostage moves in one if Dark if uh, DTG get them in range of Gideon's ruthless. Uh, does not the hostage have to be done by core? Not. Uh, as opposed to troopers, so it has to be cool. So the death, the dark troopers can't take them up. If I'm wrong, correct me. Um, player mix obviously is quiet, but they're not talking at the moment. I'll try and I'm going to be like a hot DJ up in the game as then uh, when I can. I know that you can. They are. They're chatting down very quickly. What you need to bear in mind, obviously, Mateus is speaking in his second language, so the, it's not always as, cl as clear as you like. Um, Flying Ferret. I've played against Mateus, so he has my support. That's seven activations. Yes. Well, I have eight total. Yeah. But, yes. Did you need those more time? There you go. So they were just talking about their activations. There. It's me trying to play. This is my proper DJ stuff going. Uh, They're now looking at. He, Mateus has gone over to look at Richard's list in more detail, and he's doing a proper beard stroking moment to think what's going on. Uh, meanwhile, uh, John and Zane are sorting out the um, sorting out the overlay and stuff for you guys to see, so you know what's going on. Uh, it's coming together because you can see it here. There's a guy in a 40k stream with Star Wars pew pew t-shirt. I need it. What are you doing watching this? That's 40k stream. I just, I just. Um, so, chat, be interested to see your thoughts. What do you think wins? Do you think it is the double bob, the double bounty hunter, or is it the uh, dark troopers? Which do you think takes the takes the dub? I uh, see some early 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 choices. Obviously, it's hostage exchange, major defensive, rapid. Richard clearly doesn't want to play clone ball. Uh, 
Daniel Dosso, I want double bounty to win, but I have a feeling Darks will clean up. I'm, I, I actually think, I think the, I think the bounties will win because they'll get the bounty, because one of Krennic and one of, uh, one of Krennic and one of Gideon will die, I think, but because the other one will live. I think that's why the bounty. I think there'll be a bounty there. Uh, Empire with IG88 uh, as the real MVP. I. I'm aware of a, of a player coming over who's running a lit or coming over who's playing who's doing something with IGs. So it could be interesting. Um, no one cares how game time management is dealt with at Epticon. Just the, just as French frogs think it's miserable. Maybe, maybe. Um, but I suppose in your head, what you could do is if you know when you are paired and started, you just look at the time and manage it yourself. Um, I think the idea is to, to monitor slash prevent slow play. Um, I could be wrong. It's interesting logic sometimes. Some people's logic's a little bit different. Um, Darks on the back of uh, Gab is a back, are good at hunting down the bounty hunter if they claim the bounty. Uh, yes, very true. They could just jump in the back of the tank and, well, it's like a mobile firing platform, isn't it? So that would be interesting. <sighs> It's Bobber Fett in this catch. Yeah, Bobber, 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 Bobber. Uh, just ask the boys and see if they know who's red and who's, bl who's uh, blue. So Richard, oh yeah, we put the bad, uh, yeah, blue, uh, Richard is blue, we put the little blue spot. No, hang on. Yes, the blue colours, blue, blue, um, blue font. And red font in the stream that help. Uh, just to reiterate, so the red, the red list is Matthias's, uh, which is Imperial Officer Underworld Connections. <laughs> but, uh, however you pronounce Mr. Fett's first name, up close personal situation awareness, is Flame and Recon Intel. One shore trooper with C21B, one mortar, two stormtroopers with HH12s and a specialist. IG88 uh, with Hunter and Target scopes. Snows with Dell and three snipers. Yes. Yes. And yeah, a timer would make sense. Uh, it's uh, uh, yeah. Uh, again, logic is sometimes escaping in the world. Um, it's the way it is. Um, yes. And worlds is definitely a high stress tournament. Um, we see judges walking around. We see the organizer walk around. They just see the the vague, glossed-over look of someone who needs a bit of sleep and needs a little bit of, uh, needs a little bit of a beer. Uh, the blue list, if I could just ask for that piece of paper there, Mr Bushman. Thank you very much. It's coming, up coming. Right, blue list is Orson Krennic, Snowtroopers with Hask and Recon Intel, Stormtroopers with DLT, Comms Tech and Comms Relay, Dark Troopers, times one, with program loyalty, frag launcher, assault cannon, and a dark trooper extra, so full kit. Then Gideon with improvised orders and commanding presence. Uh, Stormtroopers DLT and with recon intel, with no specialist. And the Gav with Governor Price and the rifle pistol. Now your lists. Uh, quick shout out to Lee, all muscle, no, uh, no liver, Macken, currently in top position on the side event. There you go. Doing it for Blighty. And I don't know if he's running his um, Tempest list. And I've gone on record as saying Tempest is my Dark Horse winner. I think it could be the winner if it's piloted well, so who knows. <laughs> Daniel Dosso, there's no such thing as too much beer. I, I, I actually disagree. Um, and the reason I disagree is because it, it, it livers. Um, Tom, I think Lee is playing um, Tempest, I think, if he's doing practice, so that's cool. Um, so, yeah, he's doing that. <sighs> I'd be interested, those of you in the chat who aren't making it, I'd be interested to see what you would play if you were here. Um, but just because, obviously, Hey, everyone wants to come to Worlds. We don't all get a chance, and I, I know I, I definitely would. Matt, I, I actually call myself a British person now, so there you go. <laughs> Infantry-based Tempest Force. 
So, I, I, I don't know. See, I think a triple ATST uh, blizzard. Uh, sorry, triple ATST uh, tempest force is the way forward. I think. Oh, John's back, everybody. Hey, hey. for now. He's I don't back. have internet, so I can't do anything. You have no internet. No, not uh, not on my my laptop. That's a shame. That's a problem. Uh, trying to get files over to the streaming laptop the only, without oh. USB ports. Oh, maybe. Hold on. I'll be back. There we go. This one, me? Yep. All right. Uh, that was a deploy the garrison, and I think I missed the third one or the the second card there. A rule with respect: the Boba Fett add card, add dice card. Oh, sorry. We got some text needs to be fixed on the overlay. We'll be quicker about the round turnarounds on this overlay eventually. It's just a lot we're spooling up still. Thank you. 
Excuse the silence, people. We were all just given an onion ring by uh, Ollie Dyer. Yes, yes, we were. That filled me up quite nicely there, but I'm going to have this cliff bar thing in a second. That was quite pleasant, actually. I've not had something fried in, in, a, in a hot minute, so I love that. You mean you, you don't, you mean you don't have, a, have had a proper, like, what we, a full English ever? Do what? Have you not had a, a full English recently? Like a oh no! Proper full English breakfast. No, and no, it's it's been a while. It's the most unhealthiest thing in God's green earth. But, <laughs> but it's, it's, delight, so, but it's delightful. It's so good. It's so good, man. It's so good. I put a picture up. Uh, obviously, at airport breakfast yesterday because obviously I was at the airport yesterday. My oh time. yeah, you told me that. So I, my time at 3 a.m. To, li to leave the house to get to Heathrow for 7, 7 a.m. type thing. Uh, and then my my full English breakfast was two sausages, two rashes of bacon. Toast, two eggs, beans, a whole shebang. Oh, they oh. didn't, but they didn't have hash browns. So they had that's right. That's what it was. Stupid little cro uh, potato croquette things. But <laughs> as I say, they're stupid. They were stupid, but they still tasted good. <laughs> still ate them. Still ate them. It's all good. All right, guys. So yeah, looks like we uh, have a really interesting hostage exchange uh, going on here. I love the, uh, I love the brightly painted. Figures from both sides. Like the uh, the Gav tank is Richards, and that is glorious. His uh, Moff Gideon, I believe, is painted like bronze. Player cam's doing well because you can hear the dice rattling, so this is good. So I asked a question in the chat while we were I I interluding. If people weren't at, at Worlds, what would they run? So some people saying, uh, one guy called Matt, who claims to be the, the UK's greatest Republic player, he's wrong, uh, would be running, running Ken. Um, what else? Who? Uh, Tom, the video guy for us, he, he'll be doing Bright Tree Village. It's Daniel Dosso, hand chewy o oper operative Luke, very versatile. Um, John B, infantry based Tempest Force, and then Richard Lavery would be running Wookiees. So, yeah, lots of different variants. Yeah. It's nice. I know the exact list Richard would be running against. Uh, is, Richard, uh, is Richard a pal? Yeah, yeah, we played against each other only once, but seen each other many times um, at, uh, at tournaments. And that the Wookiee list that he's playing would be the, the Kashyyyk Defenders, and it is in your face fast. And. Yeah, is I killed. I killed a lot from it. All Still wasn't is enough. it full fur? Yeah, Dave, all fuzz. Dave Nolan from Ireland, will yeah. be, I think, is running that. Oh, that world. So he won that. When he won that in Denmark, winning a world's open Cup in Denmark. Yeah. So I think uh, I did not mean to say Tink. Then I think he'll be um, running that um, tomorrow. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So that, we'll keep an eye for that one. Only Irish player here. Really? Yeah. I, I, when I say only Irish, I mean only. Native Irish, well, native Irish player. Native Irish yeah, yeah. Uh, which surprises me, because apparently Legion, just, Legion is just not a thing in Ireland, apparently. That's, that's wild. You're it's, just a channel away. It's like. un, it's un, yeah, I know. It's, it's, quite, it's quite surprising that, that, isn't, that it's not as big as it should be, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's, that's interesting. So we have the hostage. Who, so what, they put them on. The buses on the tanks come round. You can't enter the tank with the hostage, can you? No. No. No, because it's carrying something. Correct. So just no space for it to fit in, apparently. Yeah, I know, right? He's going to load it up with orange uh, cargo containers, but not not an objective. 
Can you imagine how wild that would be if uh, transport could carry Oh, with R2-D2. R2-D2 doing secret mission all the time. Oh. It's wild. Uh, yep. Yeah. And you run up a bus, claim the middle, run the bus up the middle, use it as a big blocker, jump in the bus and go, boom, off you yep. go. Or in a lap as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be, be stupid. So, good move, don't do that. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't change it, please. Um, so it looks like you just went with Krennic back there, just took a dodge and a standby. Yeah. It's fair. Krennic's not really in a position to do anything dire just yet. Battle game is indeed Tom. battle game. So I will say uh, good choice from uh, Mateos to use the uh, mortar trooper for his hostage carrier because he gets that extra bit of movement with uh, with his yep. base uh, moving. Um, that's one thing I've done a couple times, and the opponent, if they've never seen it, they're always like, wait, what? They're like, yeah, you're that much closer to getting where you need to be. Added to that, it's, got, if it's, it's one wound less than uh, a, a squad of four. Yeah. If it dies that much quicker, you, he, uh, you can just catch up with something else. Yep. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, I was saying with Oli while you weren't here, I think, I asked, put the, put the vote, who wins this bit, this, this like, who, early doors, based on this, what do you think? It was a bit of a more 60-40 vote for in favour of the double bounty over the Dark Troopers. Um, yeah. I am leaning towards the double bounty. I, I would go double bounty. The reason I say that is because you bounty one of, well, you bounty each Krennic and uh, Gideon. Yep. One of them dies from the from one of the bounty hunters. You keep the other bounty hunter alive. You're a one point up. Yep. Even if the, even if that dies. Yeah. Because you can and still running those away. It's harder. To, it's, it'll be harder to recapture said a hostage yep. and all that sort of stuff. So that was why I gave that the edge. But that's to not say that the darks the darks aren't uh, a threat. Yeah. He's back. I'm back. Still no internet. So. Do you want do you want to try my guess one just in case that reaches? Because that's working and that's the same machine. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So what John is trying to do for us is he has all these, like, cool things that he's worked on. The issue is, is like, our, our internet constraint is is limited because there's so well, many people here to, doing it. I need to get the files over to the correct laptop now. Yep. So, so that's what we're working stuff. on. But we have no USB ports because we are all plugged in. Plugged up. I was hoping we'd have a break between games, and I would have pulled the camera to plug yep. in, but zero break between games. So we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Don't you worry. Damn, no spare USB port on there, no? Nope, they're all plugged in. Gosh. All plugged in. We're on it. Don't you worry. And we do want you to see John's. Yep. There's, there's some useful work. stuff. We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Ben, listen, I might, I might wind up getting you a, a USB uh, uh, port. I don't, like. I don't know if we could, honestly, because it would take up, because that's where the webcams are going that are powering that, and that affects, like, like you can't just add more. Add more ports. USBs. Ah. You can when you're not running a bunch of stuff. Right. Running a bunch of stuff. When you're maxed. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it work. We got this. Worst comes to worst. It'll be on for the world. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tonight at the latest, it will definitely be. Yeah, there's pretty, world. so like, so they, they're playing four rounds today, guys, and there is no rest for the wicked. You are straight from round one into round two. Round two is done, you're going into round three. Like, they're just mashing them out today. There's no break. There's 30 uh, minutes after round two, I'm told. Oh, is there? For lunch. All right. Yeah. Sounds like sounds like a day at the hospital for me. All right, guys, so into this game now. We've got some uh, shores moving up on top of this. This is a very interesting take on this piece of terrain. He's just moving his shores up on top of it here to get better line of sight to this middle. 
while also still retaining cover as he's he's on it. You can't see the majority of the units back behind that curved piece. So. Cockles is just taking his first bite of a uh, blueberry almond crisp cliff bar. First cliff bar for this Brit. Yep. Oh, and he's taking it just as Wee Bear is behind him, so. <laughs> Wee Bear with his glorious blue kilt. Yes. Also, guys, uh, we have our first uh, international player on stream here with uh, Mateusz from Poland. Um, Two hits, three hits rolling. That looks like a stormtrooper shot. Is it? No. Is there a DLT? That's what I'm thinking. It's a stormtrooper. There is a DLT. Could be Gideon. That's a flashback. Oh. So it's not snows with Gideon, maybe? No, Storms with DLT. Okay. Four whites and two red. Yeah. Five whites should be. Oh, those are some fantastic pink guns. Right? Holy moly. It's nice because, like, I mean, you can see where the unit's at. Yeah. You know, like, you're like, oh, yeah, the, uh, the gun, yep, yep, gun, pink gun, yep. Beautiful. That looked like one wound going somewhere. This is, a, this is like, a, a different version. This is, like, cyberpunk, <laughs> uh, neo-cyberpunk, like, yeah, yeah. with the, all the neon colors. The basing as well. Because you got the, the pink with the pink lava, lava base. Pink thing with the lava. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Here I'll get you guys. Uh, let's let's zoom in here on on Mateus's, uh Oh, and and look at there, the uh, like the commas IG? on the. That's awesome. With the hearts painted so on there. Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and IG 88s uh, leg piece there. Do you know who'd be loving this? Lila. Lila, yeah. Lila yep. would love this. Hashtag Pink Suns. <laughs> love this. Yep. Love this. Also, speaking of awesome, cool, wacky colors, we're going to go over to uh, Richard's Gav Tank here. How cool is that? With the uh, bronzy gold on there. I dig it. And, 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 cool. you look at his uh, Moss That's Gideon. A dice. Holy crap. What is this? What is, this is it a Gav? That's more dice than the Gav can throw. I counted like 10 dice total, six hit. Is it the Dark Troopers in the Gav? Uh, could be. Darks throw nine or 10. I'm not even acquainted with what's playing yet. What do we got? It's, you it's did, a it's an eight act it. it's an eight act versus a twelve act. Oh. Yeah. So uh, Moff the uh, the uh, Krennic Gav is an eight act, and the eight is counting the Dark Troopers going twice. Fake eight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fake a eight. Soft eight. Yeah. <laughs> you should start calling it a soft. Soft eight. Yeah. That's actually that's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. Let's see, and then. 12 act is with double bounty hunter. That is impressive. Right? Right? Yeah. Man. Yeah, Cockles read that out and then he like counted it and he goes, Yeah, okay, I, I counted that right, right? And we <laughs> did it again. It was like, Okay, yeah, that's 12. Me count good, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Because it hasn't been said recently, yes, I will shortly. Um, so I'm off with Harry Bow. Um, it hasn't been said recently. Pleasure with you lot on the chat. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm keeping an eye. So if you missed the first game, uh, the current setup is 
chat monitoring for myself uh, here. John doing clever technical stuff, doing the camera and providing commentary. Obviously, we all do the same as well. And Zane's got the panning, panning in camera, zooming, zooming power. Yep. Yeah, zoomy, zoomy. Yep. And that's what we've got. Um, and then, uh, then on my left shoulder, people pop up and go, hello, how are you doing? Yeah. yeah which, is, which is awesome. Uh, and they'll provide me with various bits and things. And they go, oh, that's lovely. So I've got a, just had um, Johnny Wombat earlier from Australia drop me off a head. Love it. So I've got, so I've got a rounds up a C4 hat. He will also be getting something. He dropped you off a head? He dropped, he a chopped, hit. Dropped me off a hit, mate. A hit. A hit. Yeah, a hit. A nice hit. You call that a hit? Yeah. It's a hit. Um, it's, it's a hit for his head. It's a, a hit. Hat. Yes. Yeah, it's a hit for okay. his head. An at. Um, at. If he comes back, he might get something in return. So it's all good. Uh, and then we've also had like, Wee Bear popped over and gave me what's, what you people call a cliff bar. I've never had one. That was like, quite cool. So that was just I've just eaten that first. Good. So they're they're pretty filling. They're like energizing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that is yeah. four out of five blocks. Oh. Only takes one. And you can hit. Sure. But that, like it that, the heavy, though. That shore unit is, is ra I mean, moving up there, it rapidly got shot at. Yeah, uh, but yeah. it's. And you just heard Richard just talk about red dice. And he just nearly left his mate hanging with a high five who's on the other side of the barrier there. <laughs> Why aren't the list commands working? Yeah, it, it's on our docket. Because we don't want them to. No, we're, we're working on. We're it. using <laughs> we're using extra software here to stream to two plat or to two platforms. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah. it adds complications. Yes. That we're what? just we're just learning, or we're, we're, we're figuring it out. We'll we'll get the list commands eventually. Yeah. Because for those of you Might watching, not be until later today. For those of you watching the Yavin base, for those of you watching the That's No Moon. These are simulcasting yes. right yeah. now. And so all the chats, when you chat on one or the other, it funnels into one chat for us to see. So um, for on this end, so I'm, I've obviously got the TNM chat up because yep. I can. And uh, I can see when it says from Yavin base, it says YouTube da -da -da, pings in. And on vice versa, it will say the same the other way around. Yep. So that's why you might see some strange commands. And well, you're both you're all seeing our one stream. Correct, right? you're all yeah. seeing the same picture. Yeah. But if you haven't yet, if you haven't gone to Yavin Base, or you haven't gone to TNM, go like and subscribe on the old each channel. Yes, uh, support sure. each, because this is a cross-collaborative thing, and we, well, we're all happier for it, I think, as well. I'm gonna join it. Yes, and for those of you joining, obviously you do not hear the sultry sounds of endless uh, being here. Yeah, um, we're not quite as sexy voiced as him. Yep. Um, trying. Bushman and I are, are, are filling in for him on behalf of himself any, and Yavin Base. Is uh, anyone as smooth talking? Do I? The only other, the only other smooth talking voice that like I can think is that, that is like is Keegan from Ninety Nine. That's yeah, a smooth yeah. voice. Keegan does have a smooth voice. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, let's see what we got from this other side. So you can see here from uh, Richard, our red player, he's got quite a couple uh, storms hanging out back here in the back. It's like he's measuring. Oh, he's looking. He, does he have range four to that? I think he just measured range four to that lone shore trooper hanging out on top of the uh, building up there. Trying to finish a unit. Yeah. Now, which side here is the low act side? It's uh, the, our left. Uh, this is our our low Bo act. Yeah, bottom, there, bottom it's, left. It's, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was yeah, gonna so say he's, trying, he's trying to bridge that twelve man gap. Yes. Which taking down a short trooper activation is a, is a good activation to take out. Like you you would think you take your snipers out because they're two guys you're gonna lose them. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. Getting a getting a the full, meaty squad to yep. get. Full squad For is, sure. is solid. I've just noticed Matthaus's shoes. Also pink. Also pink. Oh, dang. love it, love it. He's come footy themed. Love it, guys. It, I mean, I guess my outfit's in the Discord, so you would see what I'm wearing. So I'm all for uh, <laughs> extravagant, fun, fun things that uh, make the normal break. So, uh, Richard, where, did we establish where Richard was from? You, you said you played him. Where was he? Where, do we know much about him? 
I haven't played this Richard. I've played the Richard. Uh, Richard, Richard Lavery. Lavery. Yeah. Lavery yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've played Lavery. I have not played uh, this Richard. Mr. Bigford here. One out, one in on that one there, Roll. Yep. Just about hear what they were talking there. Is Keegan at Adepticon? Keegan is not at Adepticon. He couldn't make it this year. Uh, comments on the chat. Uh, we are one big happy dysfunctional group. I completely agree. Um, yep. Kevin Alexander says Endless is the man at casting. He's got he's got the juice, as the kids say. Yep. I don't know if I can pull off saying that phrase as a man near 40. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Richard said, can we get Keegan on there? Keegan is not here. Uh, no, he couldn't make it this year. Yeah, Keegan, Keegan is not here. I shared a message with him lamenting this fact uh, uh, a few weeks ago. I've seen. I tell you, who, who, I have seen other content creators about. Oh, there's a ton. There's loads. I bumped into. They're all here. I bumped into others, like other YouTube channels as well, who, yep. I, who I watch casually and gone. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Um, I'll just give them their names, Nick and Mubin, from another channel. Yeah. Uh, lovely to chat to. They're going to come back and have a look at these games later on because Nick loves his Legion. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was. Can we mention them? Can you say other people? Yeah, why not? Yeah, that was that was play on tabletop. Uh, who are good? Who do some nice battle reports? They do Legion stuff as well. They do more 40k, but they do do Legion now and again. Oh, that dice! You rolled one dice and it was like spin. Uh, <laughs> blank. <laughs> Taunting us. Yeah, Adepticon is, is the place to uh, come to to bump into yeah. uh, all of the tabletop big guys um, from all over all over the, the channels, which is awesome. I think it's it's so cool. Oh, so he looks like uh, Dark Troopers disembarking. Shooting at the... Disembarking and taking a shot at the uh, sniper squad here. I was going to say, that sniper squad is not long for the world. Nope. Leveling these axe out really quick. What I think he, he's... Richard's been quite clever, um, and he has... He's maneuvered the um, darks to the opposite side of the building, to the HH-12s. Yeah. So that's handy for him. Can we get some spec ops coverage on Saturday? I think you'll find that uh, would be not happening. Not from us. Yeah, not, us. not here. We'll be no. we'll be hosting the main main event. Uh, uh, Kevin Alexander, I don't know if this is a, dec uh, a decent question. It's always a decent question. But are all of us playing Star Wars Unlimited? I am not yet. I've been busy since its con inception. Oh yes, I have. I have dove into that for sure. Yep. I my see pod, lots pod, of cards on pod, either side of me. My pod is here. Um, uh, Ten Sketch says that's one 40k looking grab. Um, sorry, Pop. Hey, David, I miss your voice. Um, Brian, Brian Laver uh, playing in Legion. Is, is Brian Laver playing in Legion today that we know of? Who? Brian Laver, L E Y V A. I have no idea. I'm not sure. That would be one for the... Uh, yeah, uh, game up link look up. Yeah. Orin says, uh, play on tabletop Legion games are, well, are, are very well done. Uh, I wish they did more. Uh, if I have any conversation with Nick later on, um, there's Orin. A, there's a sniper squad gone. Be. Ooh, first act down? Yeah, yeah, and that shore unit isn't long for this world either.
Ten sketch, ten sketch. I think if you watch the streams on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you'll get some more information uh, about predictions and things. Uh, we can reveal to you that there may be a conversation with someone from AMG maybe later. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Are we supposed to have... In two hours? Yeah. I think it was 2.30. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, in fact, because I, I thought that was tomorrow, but I can remember. So, yeah, so at 2.30, we will have Will Schick, wasn't it? Yes. Will yes. Schick. Not Will Pagani. We'll have Will Schick from AMG uh, over on here live. On, on stream with us. On the stream, um, asking some of your questions, because we put out some out to the public to ask them questions, uh, but some questions that we have got ready that they know about. So, tune in uh, 2.30 local time. So, that is in approximately one hour, 50 minutes from wherever you are on the planet. Yep. So, that'd be about 7.30 UK, 8.30 Central European. So, that was an IG-88 shot into the Gav. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Finish the Gav? Oh. Uh, what? What? Has that Gav been the one getting all these shots? I'm guessing so. Well, that was a shock for all of us. Yes, it was. The Darks did make it out without penalty. Yeah. Yeah, because the Gav didn't move. It, it it ran up there first and then sat right. there. Right. And, then and the Darks were already out before. Yep. Went down, though. That's huge. Yeah. Especially now he's down to... 7x. Yeah, yeah, because that's. Yep. that's seven, soft 7. Soft 7. <laughs> yep. 4, 8, yep. Uh, so. Eight. No, that's the other one. Yeah. 6 units, a soft 7 remaining. Okay. Sounds good. We got Cockles leaving to do a little Instagram live tour walkthrough of the hall. Yep. If you check him out on That's No Moon podcast Instagram, you'll see that. Oh, here goes that last shore. Oh, that, uh, finally. That hostage unit uh, moved and then took that shot. Took him out. Or was it? Because he just double moved there. Oh, it was Snows. Yeah, yeah. yeah so he, so he moved, shoot. moved, shot, and then, and then got to move again. So looks like he is he is almost within his his deployment. And then uh, Matus is going here with his his mortar. Did a little interesting. So did you see what he? So instead of just backing up, that was an interesting play. So what he happened ha here? So his mortar was facing uh -huh. the other direction because that's the way Richard had made him go. Correct. Yeah. Rather than just moving backwards twice, he instead did a, a pivot and then a 90 degree angle to then go back towards deployment face forward. So you just wasted movement in making like a semicircle to go back when you could have just backed up twice yeah. and had much better distance. So, oh, unless he put the hostage behind him so he wasn't able to go through his hostage. Can you do that? Is it in place? No, you could, you could go through. Uh, can you go through another emplacement? Because you're an emplacement trooper. Yeah. And can you go through your own hostage? Oh, man. That's the hostage doesn't matter, but can you go through another emplacement? Well, there wasn't another emplacement there, so that's why I just wondered if the, no, hostage, yeah, if the hostage being placed directly behind him no, that's affected him. No. I didn't think so either, because then you just back up twice. So. No, nothing can triple move outside of getting extra actions, like from New Ways or... Mall. Uh, boss card, Maul. Maul can't triple move either. 
He's, oh. He can triple act. He can triple act. Not a lot of triple move. moves. That's right. Um, yeah, I don't know what that was about. Don't know. All right, it looks like we're ending uh, turn one here. Tokens are all picked up. So guys, we will let you know that we are uh, going to be splitting the cast today. So after this game is done, we will be wrapping this and then starting another stream um, that will be the PM cast. So yes, yes. Purely, um, we just have to break it up on these two four round days or YouTube won't save it because yep. it's going to go over 12 hours total. So. players deciding on cards currently. Here we go. Independent programming versus moment of moment consideration. of consideration. Yeah, that's the fire support card. Yeah. Like he's given his, Richard's giving his orders to his uh, storms back here in the back. Do we get fire support? Yeah, that's. Wow, yeah. Those uh, DLT storms back there, fire supporting could be, could be pretty nice. Oh, it'll be a juicy attack for sure. Good. I mean, and if you think about, like, if those darks shoot into Boba and the Stormtroopers fire support, like, it could be a very hefty shot. Oh, and I think they're talking about um, Richard having the uh, Imperial comms technician with comms relay on his stormtroopers back there. Let him. Let him what? Give out an order, an extra order? What did he do? He said it was five points, so was, I guess they were talking about comms relay on the stormtroopers. Okay. Just having fun talking about the uh, little little tricks that their no, lists sorry, can do. Because I was starting. So Boba has an independent, so uh, he has the, no, it's not that Boba. Oh, this one has a snake or coach. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna take a look. Yeah, sorry for that. Uh, did the U.S. get Inquisitors? I don't think we have Inquisitors yet. I know we were we were supposed to, but I, I don't know I if it they, actually happened. Because they bumped them to release today? I don't know. Because they were supposed to release a couple days prior, and then I think they got moved just a little bit to after. So as of right now, I do not think that we do. Um, but they should be 
should be legal out soon. All right, so it looks like dark troopers are taking an aim, and I think shooting at uh, IG-88 here. He's got a potentially light cover, I would say. Uh, IG-88, let's see, let's see. All right, here we go. Uh, four out of five, look like. You know, the wood crit, but no search for the other. It's four out of six. Yeah. Because IG is a full armor? IG has armor one. Armor one, okay. Yeah. And he takes three. Yikes. Whoa, that's not good. It's only one over average, but, you know, it, it still hurts when you see it. Yep. Takes three. Good shot. Good shot. Nice dice. <laughs> we haven't really had any like nice dice rolls yet. Like it's a, there's never been the like oh my gosh they just roll all those you know it's just like oh, okay. Turning fire here. One wound on a return fire from IG-88. And IG says, yeah, I've had enough of that. I'm out of here. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for the fish. See ya. Yeah, we would we definitely would have got a nice dice if Vader had it placable. That that probably would have for sure happened. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you do you really do that at your local, Kevin? That's hilarious. Nice dice. <laughs> Love that. Like Darks is going with him again. They are unrelenting here. Yep. Isn't that yep. the keyword? I feel like that's the keyword. Let's move twice. No. Unstoppable or something. Something else random. Yeah. But it looks like he's going to take that other shot into IG here, so we'll see what, uh, what comes IG's way. Not much. Three? Yeah. One goes to, or he's a droid. It doesn't get suppression cover. Yeah, that's three. Three, yeah. Oh, that didn't have impact? Was that with the, because of the armor one? Either yeah. way, three saves. I don't know why he's rolling four, but that's two more wounds. That's a dead IG. That sure is. Wow, that's huge. That's big kill. I mean, it's only one to 12, right? Yeah. That's big kill. Wow. Yes, we are on turn two, everybody. Just just kicking off turn two. We're only like the first uh, like three activations of the oh, turn two. Oh, that's my bad. Update all three of those. 
Oh, Boba now swinging over. I guess he's going to try and, and uh, deal some, some hurt, hopefully, to these darks who are just uh, just making this activation count get more and more even. There's a lot of crits there. Pierce one takes out one and a half or two, right? Because he had one wound. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, so he kills two. All right, Boba's saying, okay, my turn. I'll deal with this. I mean, Boba can't really deal with it, but he can plink away. But I mean, dude, he's only got one Dark Trooper squad. Like, yeah, these these wounds hurt a lot. Yes, they yeah, have each, each model gone is huge. Is it down to three now? Yeah, three man. So the next next one is is gonna be a heavy weapon. Yep, it's a big deal, especially since they've already gone. So all the the storms that are over there, those those guys can easily swing over and deal with them. So. Yeah, uh, they have gone twice this round. Yep. Yep, they are done activating. Oh, yeah, they're talking about how his uh, mortar has courage three. Yes, yeah, because of the hostage. Yep. Yep. Although, most likely that that unit would die before it would hit a uh, panic threshold. I mean, I've, I've had it stay alive. It's highly possible you get, you know, right. mortar man Matt hangs in there. Um, right. But. See, we got some blacks and whites being thrown. Two hits out of five. After suppression, one remaining, and it was blocked. Lots of red dice on this table. Yep. Red defense. Dark doesn't have a hostage or anything. No. Right, so, oh, so he that dark is his only firepower left. Yep. So he swinging these storms over to take a shot at the uh, darks as well. 
which that's what I figured he would do because if he can just swing everything this way and take out those dark troopers, that's a huge, huge cut to, uh, that takes away that soft uh, activation count. Yes, yes it does. Activating with these uh, storms back here who have the uh, fire support. Sounds like Richard splitting fire uh, into storms and then into a uh, sniper unit. This looks like storms will lose. Just suppression. mentioned my dislike for trackpads. <laughs> you know, I used to live off of them. I had a laptop all through college, and for years after, that was my only computer. Yeah. But, man, I can't go back. <laughs> Tasted sweet, sweet freedom. Yeah. On the other side. Richard going with his other storms here. Do these storms have heavies? Are they? Uh, they have um, DLTs. Okay, they do. Yeah. They do. <laughs> this is not remnant, right? This is like a faux remnant. Yeah, because Krennic is the what right. makes it not remnant. Well, and there's and two the storms yeah. before they have, they've repeated all of them. Yep. And the Gav. of truth if I'm going to get this app working before tonight. I believe in you, Jordan. Yeah. You can do it. He's back. He's back. The man himself is back. <laughs> there are some awesome paint jobs out there. Yeah? Man, I've, uh, there was a dude, I just saw a dude from Oklahoma and... When I said, where are you from? And he went, here. I was like, okay, you're born from Adepticon? <laughs> um, but no, it's cool. uh, that it might be of the two, there's no disrespect to others, but the two brilliant paint jobs I've probably seen in a long time. Wow. On the same table. Uh, one was clones, uh, one was Empire. They both had the snowy, rockety theme thing yeah. going on. It was just a lot of great work had gone oh. into that. And, the, that. and matey from Oklahoma was all right, love to chat to as well. <laughs> It was, it was all I could do not to go, oh, Oklahoma, and all that as well. <laughs> um, I've also just looked at some of the prize board. Yeah. What else oh. we got out there? Let us know. Let us know. So I took a picture, okay. uh, and I'll be sharing that shortly. But in the meantime, what I can tell you is special dice are special. Yeah. I want me some of them. There, is, there are, <laughs> like, marble-style uh, black dice. Oh. There are uh, un different color slash unique white dice okay. that now from the UK has already managed to scram okay. and win. Um, obviously, we've spoken about the sidebars. Yep. There are foil art command cards. Cool. Um, 
plenty of stuff, and that's not even. I mean, I've, I've only just mentioned not even a third of it. There's lots up there. So that's awesome. That's way cool. Big shout out to AMG, Love um, that. who have put a lot of effort into it. Yeah, and uh, apparently that's supposed to be, I think, a traveling thing. I think that's supposed to show up at other world qualifier events. Yes, it was. I think that. So, so there is the. There, watch this space for future events globally for uh, awesome dice and prizes and all this sorts of stuff. Love it. Yes. So Cockles, to catch you up here. Yes, tell me what's going down. What have I missed? The gav tank was... I, I left when the gav tank went cheerio. Yep, yep. <laughs> so that's gone. He has uh, moved his uh, death troopers up, uh, or dark troopers, which have taken out IG-88. Um, Boba came over, took out two dark troopers. Um, but the Dark Troopers have now activated, and so Mateus is bringing everything over to shoot at the uh, uncontested Dark Troopers um, to try and take them out. Yep. Um, he has only, Mateus has only lost his Shore Squad and then a few uh, random Stormtroopers off of other units. But he has, he almost has his hostage fully in his deployment. Yep. And Richard almost has his in his, and he's now moving... Gideon up. Is that dangerous to move Gideon up? Given the bounty situation, or is it a case he's having to because he's lost stuff, so he needs to catch up on points? I think he's having to. Yep. Um, Where we? How many? How many dark troopers have been uh, removed from the board? Is that, is that three? Two. Was it a five man? It or was, was that a three man? Is that three of the six? Oh, three of the five. Yeah. Yeah, because it was dark troopers with. No, it was a six. It was yeah. six. I thought it was frag, six, yeah. frag, assault, and an extra. Yep. Yep. So I think it is a necessity move at this point and not so much a uh, going in for the kill. I think it's a I have to back up my dark troopers before they're, right. they're uh, just completely hosed. Going with Krennic back there, which he just has Krennic. And folks, I'll tell you, just Krennic needs some help. Just Krennic in a back line, literally just <laughs> dodge standbys the whole time. There's nothing else he can do. Um, I always throw on binoculars, scanner, something to just let him be a little more useful as he just stands in the back. Yeah, yeah. I don't play Empire, but I definitely get that vibe. Gents, I'm going to say a phrase here, and I hope I nail it. Hey, would you mind passing me the water, please? Terrible, <laughs> terrible, zero percent. The fact, the, the fact you say water with uh, with a D. <laughs> water, 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 water. And then I'll say, Cookles, how's your bottle of water? Bottle of water. <laughs> bottle of water. Uh. I think I might go grab food real quick, guys. Yeah. Um, you should have pretty good pans here. So. Okay. Two seems to be your main. Okay. So. Cool, cool. I will be back, folks. Sounds good. Looks like they're wrapping up their turn two, going into three. Meanwhile, while it's just me and me and John, yeah. I'm just popping pills. Just for free healthcare, casually. Guys, free healthcare, mate. <laughs> Must be nice. I would like to say it's probably it's a bit of a myth to be fair, because you get the free healthcare at point of use, and then afterwards, if you've got tablets and all that stuff, you have to pay for it there. Mm. So it's a con. <laughs> it's how big pharma get you. Hello, chat. I'll, uh, let's have a little see, see who's been saying what on the chat in the meantime. Are both hostages recovered? I believe that was a yes. Uh, both hostages, I think, were said were recovered, so it's now down to the bounty and or points. Okay. Um, da, 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 da. The movie... <laughs> Stabcast. Okay, on, on topic. Well, we had an assault and voracious ambition. Or command cards played, so Voracious Ambition, obviously our Krennic player. An assault by our bounty player. 
Stabcast on, on point here. Uh, the movie Love Actually told me that Wisconsin women love a British accent and how a man says, bottle. Bottle? And while Cockles is a London four, I'm a London four? Okay. Wow! He could be a Chicago seven and a half. Pretty sure this is Ben talking. I could be a Chicago cast. seven and a half with my accents. You know what? I'll take that. Seven and a half's not bad. I'll tell you, this London four has been locked down for 17 years, though. It's all good. <laughs> No, uh, Kukul's there. Uh, I don't think um, he is. He, I don't think he is saving the dogs. I think he's having to go on the offensive to claw back points uh, because he is behind. Uh, but he's also down on the activations as well as he was at the start of the game. So, yeah, we'll have a, a points count here in a little bit. I just need to. One of these lists was a late submission, so I did not have it. I will shortly. Dave Nolan, who ran the Worlds, uh, did a little thing. If you forgot or you were late submitting a list, you had to bring in chocolate. <laughs> so he ended up going home with a lot of chocolate. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I am better. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> You're better looking than most of the royals. I don't take that as a compliment. <laughs> I will give. I will give you that. Well, except Princess Anne. She is more handsome than me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Where are you? Come over and say that. <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh, Gideon's heading up. Wait. Oh, Gideon's modeled with a lightsaber. FYI, he does not have dark saber equipped. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you only lost the Gav, but also lost three Dark Troopers, which is a lot of Dark Troopers to lose. He still has almost all of his firepower, minus the Gav, but he can go south quick. Next wounds take out a heavy weapon on the Dark Troopers. Did the Gav deliver, though? That is the real question. I mean, he delivered them, but not very far. No, he did not. I, I don't think it... Like, I don't think the Gav was even needed to get the Darks where they are. got there, and then they popped yeah. out there, and they've moved. So they got to where the craters are, then they popped out, and I think they've only moved up once. Yeah. Um, so I don't think they've... Oh, here yeah. He says as he moves them up to try and get into a shot. Oh, he's going to try and take out a sniper team, do you reckon? Uh, or, I mean, or, ah, Boba. Don't, don't go for Boba, man. Don't, don't do it. You need to kill Axe. Does he go to, does he go for Boba, though, to, to, um, uh, it, uh, mitigate bounty? Yeah, but watch Boba just save, like, seven out of seven. True. Where like. is Mr. IG-88? Those kill points are going to squ swing quickly, though, Daniel Thompson. And having firepower is what maintains your kill points. So, yes, there are no partial points, but... Where is IG? IG, let's see if he's... Look at our other view. Can we see him? I'll go to the table find out. Yeah. 
Oh no, IG died. He died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Currently being recycled from the chat. Oh, I missed that. Sorry. That's what happens when you go for a wonder. The entire chat telling you IG is dead. Thank you, chat. Uh, Jake's Hobbies, the blue list, unfortunately, we can't deliver with the codes. Um, what we will tell you is just that it is... Um, uh, is the Dark Trooper list, which is um, Krennic and Gideon. Thank you. Krennic and Gideon. Gideon with improvised orders. Uh, and commanding presence. Then you have Snow Troopers with Hask and Intel. You have Stormtroopers with DLT, Comms Tech, and Comms Relay. You have another Stormtrooper with DLT and Recon Intel. So there's your three core. Then you have Dark Troopers with Loyalty, Frag Launcher, Assault Cannon, and Dark Trooper. So that's a six man squad, which is now down to three. Then you have the Gav Tank with Governor Price and the DLT Pintle Rifle, which has died. Uh, but it did deliver the Darks, who then immediately lost three models. Yeah. That is a roll from, what would that be from? Stores? No, no, can't tell. That looks like a T21. Yeah, T21 roll, maybe. Whites and blacks, but there are no T21s. There is one. There is one. I lied. Yeah. See that. And then if you're interested in red list, um, Mr. Hobbies, that is, to reiterate, uh, for those who have also just joined, the Imperial Officer, Underworld Connections, um, Bubba Fett with, and with, Mr. Fett, Bobber, Boba, Bubba, however you pronounce it, Bobber Fett, um, up close, situational, his flame projector, and the Intel IG-88, who's now dead with Hunter's target and scopes, the Mortar, uh, Shore Troopers with a T-21B, Snow Troopers, Delmico, two Storm Troopers, HH-12 with a Specialist, so aim, shoot the rocket, next turn, recover, get free, uh, recover, pop the Specialist, aim, that stuff. And then three scout snipers, and that's from Mateusz from Poland. Um, Mateusz obviously coming all the way from Poland to the LCQ, so he is again? hoping to. Do you want to play again? Was a phrase that you heard on there. Um, again? What? Is he just? He just said, "Do you want to play again?" Interesting. Um, yeah, Mateusz coming all the way from Poland to make uh, make the LCQ, and then with the aims of playing at Wells tomorrow. That is impressive. He's one for you, John. Traveling this far before with the world's, for an LCQ. With the Worlds tomorrow. tomorrow. If, do you think there would ever be any scope for it? Or as in, or would you travel for it if it were to change countries now and again? I'm not saying every year, but like once in three, once in four. I would love it. Sweet. It's a great answer. <laughs> yeah. I'd love traveling. There was a, someone mooted an idea in a chat a while ago about why not have it follow Star Wars Celebration, the country that Star Wars Celebration is in. And then when it comes over to Europe or Asia, as it is next to Japan, I think, Yeah. Um, you, would, you could do a Star Wars Worlds event there. Yeah, that's a thought. Yeah. And you could be on the flip side of Travelling Man. Death Troopers are pretty good still. They're just not darks. I mean, like, you need to make sure they're getting aims to really get their value. Um, and honestly, you probably need med bots because they're, everyone's going to have some form of pierce, and it just destroys them. Did the hostages die? I don't think they did. They've, they've made it no, to their. They've both made it to their sides.
Dark Armor is the name of his list. I like it. Somewhat froggy mischief. <laughs> oh, that's the list. Like it. Yeah, yeah. So lots of interesting list names coming up. If you are a, a familiar That's No Moon uh, listener, um, don't worry, Ollie has gone with his traditional Andy does eat a dog list name thing that he does. <laughs> um, and to the point that other people now have joined in. Uh, even people who Ollie has never met have gone, you know what, I'm doing that as well. And so Andy's reputation precedes him. It's hit critical mass. Yep. <laughs> We got three hits coming into unknown unit. Like one block out of three. Sure enough, picks up three snows. So that was the, must have been the dark troopers shooting into him. Our Dark Trooper player is now set up a flank, though. He's coming from both sides of this building, being very aggressive on the hostage. And it's it's going to be a fight for kill points, yep. being hostage. I can't imagine. I mean, it could be that the Dark Trooper manages to kill the hostage at the right time so that it can't be picked back up. Is, 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 is Mr. Fett not going to go chop off uh, Gideon. Oh, I don't know. Because yeah. one there, straight over. Yeah, they're right there. They're, ne they're, they're close. Is there, uh... Who's the bounty? Oh, they're both bounties. Yeah, because two bounties are both of them. Yeah, Moff going right up there. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's bold. Is it? Is it bold? Yeah, I think it's, it's a bold move, Cotton. <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. Yeah. I'll give you that one. You tee that one up. All right. Yeah. We've just got to see if Zane can shoehorn it now in at some point. <laughs> Did we find out where Mr. Bigford, Mr. Big Ford, Bigford, where Richard is from? No. No. We did not. Quickly go find out. I'm just writing a nice little post to see if people can join us and sh share the love. Let's just find out where he's from. He may have people he wants to know watching. It's true. It's true. This recording or this uh, stream will be recorded and saved on YouTube on both channels after this. What do we get? Oh, wow, wow. Well, the laughing there. Something big just happened. I missed. We looked the roll. This. I see a. Is it two Hold natty on. crits? Is that the exciting part? I saw lots of. I, I saw, it was. Mateo was getting very excited. This is going into the dark troopers. Four crits into the dark troopers. That's two. One save. Oh, one out of four saved. That'll kill oh, oh. all of the firepower of the Darks. Yeah. So this is Richard Bigford from Michigan. No kill points taken from the Darks yet, but 95% oh, yeah. of their firepower is gone.
Let's see if our Dark Trooper player can make up for it. He's got three hits, four hits coming in. From. Like we drew Boba Fett. What is the Fett gonna do? Jumps up there, to take his shot at Moff Gideon. Yep. Who? Oh, he's splitting fire. He's gonna throw the impact over at the Dark Trooper. Turn are we on? Turn three, so there is plenty of time for Boba to hunt Gideon down and not worry about return fire now that those darks are dead. Yeah, this was shooting and killing the oh, dark. Yeah. That is 200 points. So he's now up by about 370 yeah, odd points. I'll have the number once I can Hold on. get this on the internet. Let me do my mathematic practicals. Here we go. Oh, be my guest. 163. Oh, don't gap. do them out loud for us. This that'll be painful. 363, 333, 393, 395. British education system at work. We'll see if he's right. We know RMF. Yes, yeah, so 163 plus 232. I feel pretty confident about that. <laughs> I'm not even keeping track of what units have died yet. I'm still too distracted by my apps here. Richard has killed uh, at least IG-88. And at least a sniper squad, I think. I think he's on a long road for ruin, uh, to quote the Foo Fighters. <laughs> uh, I'm looking... The d I'm, lo I'm, trying, I'm looking over at... Mateus's dead pile is, exists, but it's not very big. Um, Richard's dead pile is significantly larger in point, definitely in points. RG88 sniper team and one shore. Thanks, Daniel. Yep, there you go. We do do maths, plur uh, maths plural, uh, but I was trying to adapt um, oh, worry. To, to integrate. Oh, worry. Yeah. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. Fifty percent save on. That's a sniper strike team. No, that was red saves that he rolled back there. That was. Oh, that would be uh, yeah. Gideon. Gideon's Star Trip unit, maybe. Oh, okay. Not Gideon, uh, Del Mico, sorry. Yeah, Del Mico on Snows. Gotcha, yep. Is Del Mico not a leader? Is Gideon, Gideon, Gideon Hask the yeah, leader? Yeah, Gideon Hask is a leader, maybe, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense.
<laughs> Apparently, I'm better, better off not integrating with the American education system. Better off not integrating with the American <laughs> education system, he says. Yeah, he's not wrong. Van Diff's confirmed Lee Hask is the leader upgrade, so that's, that's all good. That's, um, that's one, t three suppression on Gideon, and. Was that. F yeah, three and three with a name. If you're in this situation here, you've lost your heavy hitters, you've got your hostage, what are you doing now? You have to evaluate what the points situation is. Um, well, no, I mean, it's pretty obvious that he is down points. You don't have to count too hard for that. Um, so what did, he, what did we so say? He's, his only win condition is to make those points back up. So what did we say he, that, that, that Mateus had lost? He'd lost IG-88, it's 120. He'd lost a mortar to make it 160. Did he lose a mortar or did he lose the shore? He lost the, didn't he? How many mortars does he have? He put the mortar on the hostage. The mortar's he? right there. Oh, mortar, yeah, okay, one mortar, sorry, sorry. So he lost the shore. Yeah, so he lost the shore. And he's I'm just, sorry, he hasn't lost Del Mico's squad yet. No, so that'd be, he's on, sorry, 84, 204. Did we say he lost the sniper team as well? Two hundred and four, two fifty. So Mateus has lost two fifty-two. Yeah. I don't think Richard can kill enough to make up the already. But you either forfeit or you try. Right? Yeah, I, I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking that like I don't think he's got enough firepower left to make up the shortfall in the points that he already has. Right. He can go down swinging. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel Dosso thinks that they've lost already. Glad double, uh, glad Darks have lost. <laughs> to join the Commonwealth Brothers in Canada, love it. Oh, Canada. Is there an opportunity for the Dark Troop player to dive for the hostage, uh, or is it behind an LOS blocker? Here's the thing, it's only turn three. Like, if he picks that off, then <laughs> he just picks it up again. Yep, and it's also a really long dive. Yeah because his stuff is very far away. Killing the hostage doesn't do you anything while it's so far away. It buys you one or two actions from your opponent picking yeah. it back up. Mortar has the hostage which is in the open. Well, yeah, I mean, but... Maybe. Imperial Bobber is, th is always a threat. Rebel Bobber is a thing that exists. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't get me started on that one. It's a never ending rant for me. Going into four. Let's see what we get. Who's got a bell? I don't know. I hear that too, though. Yeah. Wait on the other command card. So Mateus has definitely picked his, he's just waiting on Richard now. Guess who's back? A man Zane. Back again. That is Whipcord Launcher. Oh, poor Gideon. Whipcord Launcher to the whatever. Oh, no, I just picked up. Can't see now. You have what I want, I think, is the card. But you have something I want. Yeah. 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 There it is. Boom, we threw it back down for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, I am properly refueled. Nice. There is a burrito bowl bar Ooh. upstairs by the lobby. Nobody in line. Okay. See you in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, also, completely forgot I had a voucher. Oh, no. Completely forgot. Fuck it. I'm just like pulled out my card and was like, yeah, and it was like, it beeped, and then I went, oh, crud. <laughs> I wonder if the, our vouchers will work for that, too, not just concessions. 
Yeah, it's, that's part of it. There's just three different ones. So oh, that's, okay. that's concessions. It's just another one that's that's, uh, that's up there. I like so it, I, I wanted to try this Kuma's burger, Adepticon burger that they shared a picture of, which looked like it looked crazy. It's here? Apparently so. Really? Yeah, they put like, Adepticon posted it and shared it. They called it the Adepticon burger. So. Wow. Yeah. Conquer, um, conquer your table and your gullet. Correct. <laughs> um, so you join us in a world where Dark Troopers don't exist anymore in this game. Oh, okay. I knew that was probably... Yeah. Um, the action was happening behind... So you just panned it around. What you have there is Gideon with three wounds on him okay. and two suppression. Uh, who's about to be whipcorded and probably killed in this in, ah, in a minute by the, Bobba. Because Bobba's just on the other side He's here. just done it now, look. He's done the whipcord straight on him. Ah, yep, okay. Um, and yeah, all, all the action is here, but they both have the hostages still. There's no difference. Okay. So this could be deciding factor of the game right here. Is I, just getting... Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's already decided. We worked out points. Points-wise. Ah. He's 200-ish he's odd points up on him already. Oh, wow. Oh, so Mess House is up on Richard already. <laughs> and the shortfall. And it's hard, and it's going to be hard for Richard to make up the shortfall Yeah. with what he's got left to do. Right. Right, yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Uh, saves out. Not this time. He is immobilized. Does yep. Gideon have? Does he surge bo uh, surge both ways? Or he surge? does. Yeah. 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 It's that Mandalorian armor that he stole. <laughs> Stole the recipe for him, made his own batch. Did the tea leaf? <laughs> I have not heard that one. <laughs> Dirty little tea leaf. I think over the next, the coming like few days, I should uh, teach oh. you some Cockney rhyming slang. I'm, I'm absolutely here for it. It's along the lines of, uh, if I'm saying apples and pears, what am I, what am I doing? If I'm walking Apple. on the apples and pears. Working on the apples and pears. Walking up the up, up and down the apples and pears. Zero idea. Yeah, I'm not up, sure. Walking up and down the stairs. Oh, because it's a lot of rhyming. Rhyming slang. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. tea leaf, thief. Thief. Yeah. Yeah. You dirty thief. Yeah. Dirty tea leaf. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. That ends today's lesson of Cockney rhyming slang. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow we work on Scottish words. <laughs> Love that. Here for it. So it looks like Krennic's done uh, done a whole lot back there. He's walked around right. the building. All right. Ten Skench is saying, uh, the one he knows is, get that look off your old boat race. Face. <laughs> boat race equals face. Oh, okay. I, the boat was what threw me off. Boat race. Face, isn't it? Well, I get face, but, like, you're not saying, like... No, but that's the thing. It's, like, the whole thing together. Like, so, tea and leaf. Tea, leaf. Thief. Okay. Apples okay. It's, it's the, yeah. It's just the, the, phrase, yeah. it's the phrasing of it. The phrasing has yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll work up to it. I'll have some by the end of the weekend. Yep. I'll, I'll figure some out. I did like that tea leaf tickled you that much, though. <laughs> <laughs> what about use your loaf? Use your what? Use your loaf. Use your loaf? Loaf of bread. Use your head. Okay. All right. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. But you didn't say bread. You just said use your loaf. No, so I was just implying so that. I, I, yeah. So I, I, I shortened it oh, to man. imply this. Ah. So, you're, so it's implying you know what yeah. the loaf yeah. represents. Yeah. Okay. Because everyone knows what a loaf of bread is. Yes. Fun. But a loaf. Gotcha. Okay. You are welcome. Love it. Becoming more cultured by the minute. When I wind up going back to California, be like, you don't know what's going on, do you? Oh, I, I go back and go, oh, son, how you doing? Yeah. All right? 
<laughs> give it just say okay just one sec okay Gary boy <laughs> watch out just tucking that hostage back behind there yeah that's not much else they'll be doing besides scoring is there a world where Annihilation Looms comes out and really screws over Mateus? I don't think so, because he'd have to have a lot of suppression on his hostage carrier to make that not count as a scoring. And it also go on his own one as well. Exactly. So. Some cover going there. Richard Dye's doing him all right now. They weren't earlier, but now they're doing him fine now. <laughs> Coming back around. Yep. Nico squad still alive. That is yeah. impressive. Hello. I was gonna say. I was like, I saw you. I saw the Del, Del Mico Mico's on dead. there. Oh, Del Mico's dead. Okay. Yeah, he was in this far back snow squad. Ah, okay, okay. So there, you know the steakhouse, uh, Del Frisco's. Uh, no, I don't. So I, I think it's a Texas. I think it's a, a steakhouse in Texas, Del Frisco's. It's like oh, okay. a solid place. Like that's where like. The Dallas Cowboys go to like eat and stuff like that, like huge, oh, okay. huge steakhouse. Um, every time I see Del Mico's name, I think of the Del Frisco thing. It's like Del Frisco. <laughs> so like that's what I think of. Was like that's a juicy piece of meat right there. <laughs> Richard's determining what all he can see from. Because is there is there just one man left in that snow squad? And there is. Is, there is a snow squad with a single man left. Yes. Cause it, because it, Del Mico died. So because it, it seems like he's trying to split fire. Split fire. That's kind of greedy. With 
Because I'm thinking he's, he's, he's hoping he can three. take out the... Sorry? I think he's hoping he can take out the lone snow and then shoot at something out. I think he's looking at the scouts. Oh, there it is. There's the jingles. Oh, the jingle. jingles. That's the beer cart. That's, that's the beer that cart, is. man. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, those of you in chat, if you can, if you hear the jingles, that's not us celebrating Christmas early. That's just uh, the beer cart, man. Uh, coming around on his little beer beer bicycle. It's like one hit going through. Yeah, he took out he did, he did the uh, DLT into the snow and got him. He blanked too. Getting a cover check. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Players laughing about like, yeah, whether it does or doesn't hit or land doesn't change much of the uh, outcome of the game. So. I think there's about a 70 point differential in their kill points right now, 74. Okay, so. So he's catching back up. Yeah. But he's still he's still behind. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing too is in catching back up, he also has to put himself at risk. So. Did mortar die as well? No, it's still tucked away back there. Oh, okay. It's just right behind the tree. Yeah. It is. Oh, I see. It's base now. Yeah. That's his hostage carrier, right? I believe so. Are they using models for hostages? Or are they using yeah. tokens? Yeah. That's yeah, what's throwing me his... off. That I haven't seen any. Yeah, that's his hostage carrier. Oh, I see it. Yep. Yeah. With the the buns, the yeah. layer of cinnamon buns. Yep. Those are those are like blueberry muffin buns because she's. <laughs> she's blue. Nice little focus in on that tower there, Sorry, y'all. Good day. Hey, cockles back. Uh, we removed the Del Mico squad. Oh, that's leveled it up a little bit. Better. It is. It is. It is pretty close. Do we? Is it? It's quick, close on points, but I mean, this is the issue here, isn't it? The the, the, wound, is, the wounds on Gideon. Yeah, he's six health, isn't he? Isn't he five? I think he's six. I know most of them are five when they're red saves, but I think, I think, I think, I think he was, he's an he exception. He was a yeah. He was a he was a weird one. They wanted to make him tankier, so. Gideon is five. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. He's five with a three, and I think was the reason. Let's have a look. Because that means he's probably only one wound away. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he's one wound away. He's from one, yeah, he's five because Callus is red save, surge, crit, no defense. Yes. Krennic, white save, surge, both. Officer, we won't bother the officer. Palp, red save, surge, both. Five wounds. Veers. Veers also I thought five. he was the exception to the five five health uh, for red save surging wounds. No, I guess Turns not. Out, no, but I mean. Vader is effectively eight health surging <laughs> wounds. Yeah. Now with reliable two. It's insane. Yep. I thought about having a bounty. Moving his care. snipers up to, I guess. I just hope uh, you don't kill him. He yeah. needs to survive in the next round. Or... No, I, I just. It's going to try and just take out uh, Gideon here. What I like is Two Richard's, Richard's not stop smiling. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. In, in, in the face of everything getting taken <laughs> off the table, he's, he's still smiling and laughing at it all, which is great. Even if you want to touch one. The champ. Gonna roll it because you want to show it, right? 
<laughs> oh, <see, is> <laughs> oh. Mateus has just looked over here and is like, see, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, he could have dodged one. Yeah. There was there was Pierce in that shot, right? Because it was the sniper. Yeah, it was the and sniper. Gun. So it didn't yeah. matter. That's why he said he was like, you're going to roll it? Cause Did it, he not roll way, it's a the extra one. dice in Pierce? Oh, he doesn't have impervious. He doesn't have impervious, even though he's uh -uh. got window armor. Yeah. No. He doesn't know how to wear it well. Right. No. Okay. There he's missing the leather joints in between. Yeah. 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 He just got buckles. Yep. Do, so do, that's you. That's what another seventy-five point. Oh, well, it's not in a bounty. No, because that was with the uh, sniper squad. Not, oh, did not, you? Not Boba. Boba couldn't do it. Yeah. He doesn't need it really. I mean. Why? Is Gideon dead now. Yeah. And everything's like very 180 far away. point, 184 point difference in kill points. Yeah. Can I ask you why are you inventing my base? At this point, I've got to somehow get rid of that mortar and drop, make the drop better. I lose the game. It's really not like I gotta oh. be aggressive. There's no. So Richard know, telling him like, why he's still you know, playing. Like, yeah, look, he's gonna, gonna gun for his mortar. Or, yeah. Yeah. So I'm I'm really out. Which. Yeah. You know, it's up to the player to divulge why they would want that yep. to. Yep. But it don't, I, I don't think it's okay to ask your opponent why you're still playing. No, no, no. Not at a. Yeah. Like. Because. Yeah, and I think I think Mateus was I was genuinely asking is like what are what are you gunning for now like what is your. Yeah, sure. I don't think that. Sure. For, I mean that could just be a language sure. barrier thing, but yeah. that's also not really a. Thing you ask like. Yeah. Which your opponents are not going to tell him. Well, here's the thing now. But now then that he, he did tell him. Now that he's told him, Matias yeah. goes, cool, I'm running away with this exactly. guy. Like, and what does he do immediately? Double move away. Yep. He just, like, yeah. That's why, like, if someone asks you if you're, what's your what's your goal, what are you trying to get to? I think unless, you're, unless you're moving something to shoot, you know, and you're, you're showing, like, hey, my intention is to be able to make it here yeah. to shoot that. Um, up to you if you want to tell them what your plan is. I think it was. I don't know if maybe. I, I think maybe a little lost in translation on the old language front. I don't oh, know if he was. Sure. I'm trying to think what he was asking. I think. Yeah, I think so too. Because it sounded like he said, "What are you doing? Like with those white dice? Like what are you? What are you trying to hit with the white dice?" I think it was something along those lines. But I think Richard took yeah, it as, "Oh, this is what my plan is," and yeah, let him yeah, know. So, he, so and now, now my test is going. Oh right, so you're going to try and kill that? <laughs> yeah. I'll just oh, run away. That, that, we're gone. <laughs> yeah. We're gone. He, uh, the, bonus, the thing is that even if the mortar dies, he's got enough activations to go. See there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He's got enough right there to easily move and grab. The only benefit to doing that is then you could, if you could keep killing the thing that picks it up, then it's never moving away. And yep. True. It's staying in range. True. So what do we got? Be picked up. Standing, standing orders, orders on board. Yeah, Bob and Gideon would be gone, wouldn't they? You're just laughing, going, yeah. Right. I don't know what else you do. I was starting Condo 3, 4, 5, so I'm running. So my blocks. Uh, I'm gonna start it. Right. Cami was saying, just as I left, I had a little wander around. Um, so, two things of information a bit. Uh, Cami was saying, these guys know what they're doing, and she was just saying, no, they've just flown through the game. Yeah. No hiccups, no, I, don't, I haven't even had to see it get up to do a judge call. Yeah, they're moving great. It's um, good. The next, we will have. Next on stream will be a chap called Ben F, who is a Brit. Okay. So he'll be on next. Uh, next on next. Okay. Uh, he's playing. He is obviously LCQing. His uh, gaming partner Lee Macken is has already got his ticket. So basically, they're hoping to play tomorrow. They're both a con content creator as well. Uh, nice, they do crafty nice. terrains. They do battle reports on YouTube and stuff like that. So, so he's he's already won. He's two and zero now. Uh, so. I'm not quite sure, but be, uh, Josh was basically looking to try and spread the love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's what he was doing. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and then the final will be the final. Yeah. Which is absolutely fine. Yeah. Triple, no, not triple block. Well, we're not going to have a single undefeated. It's going to be four undefeated yeah. at most, three to four. So we'll have we'll have one of the... One of the guys. I mean, someone will be on that's three and zero. Like it'll be a matchup yes. that two guys are three and zero. Yeah, Josh. So. Basically, Josh is just sending them down. Yeah. And then we'll just go. Yep. So I think he's spreading the love. I don't know what Ben's at. I haven't even looked. That's awesome. Yes, crafty Ben. Crafty Ben. Diff says, "Hey, say, say hello to Cammy. We will, we will, we will when she's. Oh, when she's over, we'll say hello." 
So to stress that, I don't know if we've mentioned it earlier, we have a dedicated judge, which is yes. really handy. Yeah. Because I've been watching yeah. the judge like on X Wing to our right. I like, see their hands up and they're like, Judge, and they're like, Judge. Yeah. Which X Wing is adjacent to them, right? So it's not. Right. It terrible. is easy for them to just yeah, come right on over. Ages. Yeah. yeah. No, it's true. I mean, that's even last year when we were right in the middle, we'd still have to wait for someone to come yeah. running over. So. Yeah. We can't get Cammy on the mic, unfortunately, because obviously she's judging, so we're not officially allowed to, I'm afraid. Yep. We are tied by rules. Yep, we were given a list of rules and we are abiding. The mouse said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Mateo's saying he likes the dice that we have for the stream table because they're rolling better for him than they are for Richard. So he says, I like your dice. They're working for me. Which, that's that's something to talk about, too. I know we've talked about it on in other casts uh, at other events, but um, sharing dice is always a good way to mitigate that frustration and, like, feeling like your own dice are betraying you, yep. you know? Like, right. when you're playing with just one set, then you're like, you know what, that it's not me. It's not you. It's just that's just the way the dice are rolling for me. You know, I know a lot of times when I play, I'm like, ah, my dice aren't rolling for me. You know, sometimes they just don't. But it also helps you to not lose your dice. You know, a lot of times you're like, wait, why do I only have three red defense dice at the end yeah. of the day? Yeah. Funny Sharing story. Dice is great. A funny story about Mattels. So he came to uh, Andy Andy's um, tournament the MKGT last year, and uh, obviously. The social that we try and do is quite a big thing for us when everyone comes together. It's, it's good fun. Yeah. Mateus and uh, I can't remember who else he was with. It might be Mickey. No, I can't remember. But anyway, Mateus and might be Casper or someone. One of the other Polish players. They were over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they were giving it the, we'll out drink you boys. We'll, we'll yeah, we'll show you how to drink. Blah 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 blah, <laughs> etc. etc. Went home first, didn't he? <laughs> went, home, went home first. So when we see him the next day, what happened to you there, son? Where, where were you? Where were you at? Where were you? We, we missed you. We, we, you said you could drink. No, it was, uh, bit, it was good fun. He took it well. He took, he took it well. That's awesome. But to be fair, I give I, the reason that was is because he was fighting for a, a potential top spot the next day. Mm. Ah, so yeah. you kind of you kind of give a little bit of like, all right, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, you gotta you gotta uh, yes. you gotta give yourself a little leeway there. Exactly as Tom says in the chat, he was a lightweight. <laughs> So it looks like he just picked up uh, another uh, sniper unit there. Oh, and then Richard moving his unit back behind the wall. I guess to not get shot anymore? Can he... Can Krennic give out? No, he can't. Has he got the... No. He's got nothing. He's just, just Krennic. I just wondered if he had, like, a spotter or something like that to give out nope. aim. So, move, so, like, is yeah. an aim, move, shoot, done, whatever. Krennic says, I got a pistol, and I'm a little cunning. And that's about it. Okay. Top down view, see. Missing anything. No, there's not a lot of models left there. On either side, really. That is four games for the LCQ. We will be lunching, I think. After this. After this. Although, we'll be having a visit. Yep. We will. Oh, correct. Uh, yeah, it's in 30 minutes. In 30 minutes. Yes. Oh, man. It's unfortunate lunchtime. I shall load up the questions so I've got them there ready, to be fair. Yeah.
Yeah, I think I'd be very impressed if Richard pulls a win from here. Um, I I don't think he's going to. Um, that's not to say that's not a knock on him. I just it's yeah. one of those like uphill battle. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, I think this match is, I think, what everyone was saying. I, I, but that said, I'm surprised he let the snipers kill Gideon. Because he could have just gone Bobber next the, the, the next turn and killed him then, and there's the 3-2. And yep. that's that's unassailable. Yep. Unless Because you've got to kill Bobber and the hostage carrier. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, from what it sounded like... It I don't know what other card Richard would have had to play the next, but he was wanting him to stay alive till the next round. So, yeah. so the storms back there getting two out of three suppression off, which is good. That way they don't panic. Um, Krennic is still next to them there, so they're at least going to benefit from, from him being next to them. So as we were saying, Will Schick from AMG comes over in about half hour. Yes. I'm just going to bring up the questions. Now. What I'll do, stream, is and chat, I will just uh, show you, I'll read the questions for you, and you can be like, oh, that's what's going to be interesting, if you're wanting to know. And if you don't want to know, you don't want to know. Uh, so here we go. So the, first, the questions will be, uh, obviously, it'll be a conversation, so I'm going to ask them straight off about what their impressions of Adepticon. Uh, have they seen much of the Legion games? Because obviously, there'll be... He might be in plain clothes. Yeah. I don't know what he looks like. Nope. He could be wandering around. Blends in. He's one of us. He lives amongst. They live amongst <laughs> us. Has he given anything late the game? So that's that. Um, I want to know what he thinks. Why Legion's popular? Because obviously he is a game designer. Yeah. He will know as to why, what makes a game tick. Yep. So I might try and lead that in there. Um, how do they? So when when you're thinking of uh, what to create. Uh, to add to the game, how long does it take to go from initial conception to final fruition? Yep. Um, with AMG fully embedded in the game, i.e. the battle forces and new units, what considerations do they offer for the older units Yeah. Uh, when making new things, i.e. The, the game balance? All that that way you're not work, phasing right? yeah. out old stuff. Yep. Yeah, so as in what, like the original heroes and like, how they're going to yep. make them better with the yeah. battle force, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, there was a change in one of the questions there, so it's not that one. It was, uh, are there plans for a mission uh, and deployment update which could change the game and breathe a bit of fresh air? Because I think we're all we're all eager for a... I wouldn't say eager for a breath of fresh air, but we're all eager for, for a, a different challenge with missions and things. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah, because these the, the missions and stuff we have seem very played out. People yep. kind of know how they're all running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. Um, when you design units for each faction, do you consider the faction identity? Uh, ex for example, the Republic's built around units that are token sharing with fire support, whereas the droids are defined by their order control and AI. And if yes, what do you consider to be the identity for Rebels and Empire? So that might be a hard one, but he's got that in their list. Um, when are Gungans coming out, please? For question from the community. <laughs> that was someone there. Someone asked that. And uh, what battle forces or units would you like to give us as a spoiler or an exclusive? See what we can try and, crossed. try and tease some information. Yep. They were pretty good last year, to be fair, weren't they? They did something. They sort of, like, dropped a hint. Yeah. Well, last year they had their, which I think they're going to do the stream again this year. They, yeah. uh, there was a, a few hints that they gave us. They gave a lot of, a lot of reveals last year. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, it'd be it'd be interesting to know. Interesting to know what they've got got up their sleeves. I think the stream is on Saturday, if I'm correct. I defer to you on that one. I, I believe it's Saturday. Um, we will not have. I mean, we won't be streaming because we will be in here playing. Um, although I think they might have it scheduled out just right, so there's a break in the uh, break in the game, so people can go to the stream. Instead I feel of like, just yeah. being stuck in here playing the whole time. Is that going to so. be in this hall? Oh, no, I, no, it's going to be in one of the like ballrooms. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. So there are the questions. Um, response to those will be... Uh, payload needs hover one. What is it? Payload needs hover one. Yeah. From Daniel. Yeah. Um, thank you, Shadow Scout. They are uh, the questions. They were actually drawn from some people in the community as well, so it's not just my brain. Yeah. Um, Orin likes the identity question. Rebels and Empire were kind of uh, the test bed for the yeah. game itself. And the, yeah. 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 I think that's that's exactly it. Bum, 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 dum, dum. I did change question six because there was a question about timing and scheduling. Uh, Andy wasn't a fan. So I said, yeah, all right, we'll change it to somewhere else. Yeah. And so I'm just trying to find what yeah. that flipping question is. We bear is back. We bear is back with his weak hilt. I would like to stress that he has gone full kilt. He's gone with the prince. He's got the um, the brogues, the shoes. He's got the socks, and he's got the la laces around the socks. He hasn't got. I can't see the flashes on his socks, so he's not gone there. But what is quite cool about having a kilt is you have your sporran, and you can hide things in your sporran. So he's just cracked out his mobile phone and his sporran. It's quite good. Oh, lovely. Dum, 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 dum. Right, the question is six. How frequent, that was it, how frequent might we see balance changes going forward? Are we talking yearly or six monthly? So there were the questions that uh, that Mr. Will Schick will be posed. I will attempt to throw a couple of curveballs as part of the natural conversation because, hey, if I can get some extra information for us all, oh, I love that. that's what you want. Dude, okay. I love that. Welcome back, Zane. Yep. What's he saying? Oh, he's just showing us the uh, outfits that uh, all those uh, Indy Garrison guys are going to be wearing tomorrow. Are you, can I? Can you share? Or am I yeah, oh, no, they're, they're, they're track suits. They're custom track suits, sweet. essentially. <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet. Have they called the game? I don't think so. No, he's measuring. Yeah, no, he's, he's measuring. measuring. Sorry, he walked around. It looked like they were about to go. And that was it. But I'm just telling uh, you. Yeah. Any more deaths? Uh, I mean, the Boba jumped down and shot those uh, storms down to just DLT and the leader. Oh, okay. um, but that's so far about it. And then Krennic just, uh, I guess, double moved around the other side. So, Let's swap back for you soon. Sounds good to me. I'm just going to go confirm with Tim France about Wilshire's visit in case there's been any rearrangements because he knows he is the coordinator over there. Cool. Ah, okay. Yeah, we went over, just went over the questions that we were going to be talking with, with Will about. Oh, okay. So, cool. Which I will probably jump off. I'll hand my mic over to him for that. Either way, I'm down. Because um, I think our we'll have some break, but... Did you get all your stuff downloaded over, moved over? Yeah, some of it. Okay. It's difficult to use with the trackpad. <laughs> I did, it, that didn't even register in my head. Right. In, like, the month that I've been working on this. Yeah. That, like, oh, with the trackpad, you know, clicking and dragging. Yep. But, um, yeah, I got some of the stuff. Some of it's still buggy um, that I'll fix tonight. Um, but yeah, a lot of it's working. Nice. Table's a little bare now. There are a lot of units off the board. I believe we're still on. 2.30 hasn't heard any difference because apparently afterwards he's going over to, to those guys. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um, <laughs> Tim's just said, um, oh, but if you can hold him up, because this game's not going to be finished in time for when, for when he comes over. So if you can hold him up, <laughs> that'd be great. And I just went, I'll do my best. Yeah, <laughs> we will try. Uh, 
Uh, Daniel, uh, do, I don't know if you do, do you reply to Daniel's question on the chat. No, I worry. So, yeah, we are breaking for lunch after this game. However, during said lunch, yep. Will Schick comes over. Yep. That is the plan. So we don't get to eat because Will Schick's come to visit. Breaks are <laughs> suckers. Should we uh, start the next stream with Will Schick on? Maybe like a separate video? I don't think it will be. Uh, we won't be at the next round. We'll be at oh, the next round. oh like, starting the next stream. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we could do it either way, before or after. Okay. Because it might, because if we get him for, it might work out perfect that he can tie in to the, to the end of this game, because this game should be wrapping up here right. soon, that he could tie on to the end of this game. Correct. And then hopefully we can finish with him in time to then restart the next stream for the next two games. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's what we so. That's probably the plan. Otherwise, worst comes to worst, we go to game three and stream that, and then cut at that, and then we just have a PM match that's separate. Right. So. So stay tuned, folks. There will be another stream. We're just trying to figure out when that would happen. Yeah. You will get four games out of us today. Yes. Yeah. And if it goes offline, it'll be back on. Yeah. yeah. And also, well, we were thinking about rotating this, but it seems like the three of us just had it's, it's just working. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is smooth. It's easy. I'll be more involved with it tomorrow for sure once I don't have to pay attention to my stuff as much. <laughs> Been a little spacey for these games. So this turn six flop. Yep, standing orders and annihilation looms. There it is. Okay. But he has to. If he's trying to panic his mortar, he already has, he has two wounds on him. He has to he pa to has panic him. He has to six. He has to have six. Yeah. Six suppression. But that then he will clear it at the end of the round. Correct. He will clear one well, of those. Well, it doesn't matter. He'll drop it. Yeah, but as soon as he panics, drops oh, the hostage. That's drops and it. someone yeah. else can grab it. Yeah. Well, no, but will they? Because they've only got if one activation. Right. Yeah. If that was, sorry, one action maybe. Yeah. So yeah. that's the, yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's the, we, I mean. Well, because he has, he has, uh, he has Becky. Are there, are there any suppressions on the mortar yet? No. Okay, no, so he's, he's not he's double moved. Yeah, yeah. So here you can see here. Oh, so yeah. he's, he's doling out all of the two suppression right now to everybody. As you can see, perfectly silhouetted in the tree there. Commander Becky is poised, ready Sorry, to go who? to that. Oh, Mark. Commander uh, Maggie. Becky. Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> the officer. What? The officer. Yeah. <laughs> the in-joke is, if you listen to That's No Moon, she's called Maggie after oh. a certain former prime minister. <laughs> if you're not, then it's Becky. I want to know where Becky came from, actually. I think it's just a haircut. <laughs> I think that's a what they call a Becky haircut. So, <laughs> so even if. Uh, So yeah, Richard, Richard goes first, but he has to put a shot on that mortar, and that mortar can still just creep further away into the corner and not have to worry about yeah. any other suppression. I don't see so. a win condition outside of um, getting getting more kill points for. Yeah, and that's the only thing I can think of is you would just have it harder and harder to get. Oh, let's get the conversation. Our uh, mic may have died. Yep. It's highly possible. Also, I will say the way our setup here is, I mean, X-Wing on the side, like they can, they can have people come see their stuff fairly easily. There's a little bit of room for like Shatterpoint MCP to see as well, but like, Ours has got this perfect viewing spot for people to tag in on the end and be able to just look in and yep. see the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and be kind of out of the way of most most uh, traffic. I see, though, you look, well, you got the shadow point one there. Yeah. Marvel one there. Yeah. So there's always like a and and, and those are like a gallery. And those are like major traffic lanes, right? Yeah. So ours is like this nice little 
off the shoot. Like, now it is, it does butt right up to MCP, so like those guys will be playing back there. Hey, might have some so. new players. They turn around and go, Ooh. oh, what's going on back here? That's a, that's a, that's a lightsaber. Oh. <laughs> John Hall played Ben from Crafty a few weeks back. He was uh, last game, uh, last game of the day. He was running experimental droids and he was running Wookies with the fl triple flutter comms jammer. Ooh. Whoa. He snuck triple a win. Triple comms jammers. Yeah, oh, uh, I snuck a win only because I got the flutters stuck in and took out Kalani. So I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. What, I don't know what Richard's uh, game plan is anymore. Cause he, I think he shot with the one storm and then moved them behind cover. And uh, I mean, would killing Boba swing it enough? From oh, why did this go? Away? I mean, his his storms have three suppression on them. Someone's not rallied. Mateos is just scratching his head now. I just moved, just moved Maggie over. I love you for that. <laughs> Push traitor. Shake his head. <laughs> Mag's traitor. <laughs> I mean, at least that pertains to an actual person. Becky is just a name. Yeah. She's a cursed name in the northern parts of England. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, and also elsewhere, maybe. I think I think Richard's just enjoying playing Legion right now. I think that's hey, that's great. I think it's a that's a great outlook. That's what he's doing. So, by all means, that's what we're here for. He's trying to see if he can swing Krennic around. Are he shooting in the snipers team with Krennic? <laughs> Which I, I guess he got nothing from it. So they, both players just thumbs down the the role. Trying, man. He's trying. And like we said, guys, he's he's still smiling through the whole thing. So, just a happy guy. We've just been joined by October Dennis Yankel himself. Oh, there he is. Hello. <laughs> Dennis apparently had arrived, and he was. I'll, I'll let John get his headphones on so he can hear properly. Dennis arrived and he saw Finn. He was like, uh, he was like, there's cockles. He tried to hit for the stream and uh, <laughs> sent him down this way. Ted and Dirt and stuff is what want to pop down and say hello. Um, he, he, I said to him, are you coming out for the social on Saturday night that Ollie's arranged? He went, oh, my family are coming up. I was like, well, they can be invited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dennis is, um, Dennis was one of the original people in, in who started like the, the karaoke sort of phenomenon in Europe for the karaoke lead. lead oh, thing. this. Oh, okay. Yeah, That's so it started. Awesome. Many many years ago, uh, a, what's called LGT London Grand Tournament. Yeah, the Germans came over, absolutely curb stomped everybody <laughs> uh, on, on day one and then day two. That's when Finn won, and um, they went to a pub and they said, "Well, we're going to go to a pub after. It's quite close to where our hotel is." And we were like, "Okay, that's absolutely fine." And we arrived, and they had said, "Is this normal? Is this always on this pub?" And basically, they had the pub had karaoke on, and lo and behold, <laughs> Johannes. And Finn sang um, Eternal Flame by the Bangles <laughs> in a beautiful German accent. So it's like, close my eyes, give me your hand, darling. Do you feel my heart beating? All that kind of thing. Um, and, th and then they still went and curb stomped us the next oh. day. Will Schick is here, y'all. Lovely. Right. All right, I'm going to have him jump in my spot here. Okay. You have a check. Yeah, good. Yep. Yeah. You saw that. <laughs> well. Will's early. 
He is. He is. I like that prompt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's all good. Do you need the questions up in yeah, front of you? Yeah, I do not have the questions. Do you want me to just fire and you can have them up here? Uh, bang. So I put them up. There we go. Enhance. There we go. That's all good. Chat, I'm going to move that there. So yeah, we'll be joined by Will Schick shortly. Looking forward to that conversation. Yeah. See what hidden little tidbits we can get. <laughs> what do we call... <laughs> what do we call the rebel generic commander? Gary? I thought, I thought we had a name for him. Nick H says, I call mine Bluey Westgrove. Jeez because he is a ginger Aussie cowboy with a green staff hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you do. Uh, bug, so the question is, can we bug this man about the, the, the range trooper price? Oh, probably not. I'm, I'm, I'm going to probably not, unless yeah. it's the last question, but I, I want to <laughs> talk to him again in the future, so I'll figure something else. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Zane's giving him the brief. Yeah. <laughs> giving him our expectations. <laughs> Can't have a third Gideon. Nah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> this one's spelled G I D. Well, well, well. It seems that just as the game looks like they're wrapping up, no, they're still rolling and wrapping, but this game... He's still trying. He's trying. <laughs> but but as not it's, looking it's, great. It's, 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 it's hard. But uh, in the meantime, we're joined. Will Schick. Hello. Thank you How for joining you, us. Hi, uh, Will. So, but I'm Cockles. This is John and Zane. Um, yeah, welcome to this get to the stream. Um, what we've got here, just tell you what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mateusz from Poland has come all the way from Poland in the last chance qualifier to get his ticket. Ooh. He's a good player, but he comes over to the UK and he does well. <laughs> uh, Richard has been fighting an uphill battle, losing his dark troopers mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a cav tank. Fairly early. Very I think early. like round Ooh. three yeah. they went down. That's not what you want to have happen. No. no. And no. it was only one unit of dark troopers too, so his firepower went down the gutter. Mm. Yeah. So half after. his army points in within two, within, within a turn. Yeah, because sort of yeah, he lost his tank oh. first. Oh, yeah. In yeah. round one or two. But there we go. But, Will, you're here to join us. Uh, you I mean, have this joined just us, proves so. that whenever the Empire fights the Empire, nobody wins. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> They've just wrapped, and that is the game done. Um, Mateos now takes it 2-0, and, oh, and unlucky Richards on that one. Uh, Zen's going to go just get some final info. He's going to give them their prize tickets. By the way, mm. those prize tickets, I had a little venture around earlier. <laughs> Bravo, sir. Bravo. <laughs> you can get some choice things with those, oh, right? Yeah. Like, are, it's not too yeah. bad. They're really cool. It's not too bad of an arcade prize wall for people. So, for the context, Will, you've joined us. Tell us, uh, for people who don't know who you are because they may not know, yeah, uh, yeah. who are you what, and what do you do, please? Uh, so, my name is Will Schick. I am the... Uh, oh my gosh, it's day one of the convention. I've forgotten what I do. Uh, I <laughs> am the right. director of product development for Atomic Mass Games, nice. um, which effectively means that I oversee all of the creative departments for the game development, uh, sculpting, painting, artwork, all that. It's my job to kind of provide the cohesive vision, yep. do the long-term product planning and release scheduling, and then work with those teams to execute it. Awesome. Um, okay. So I get to work with a lot of really talented people and uh, tell them what to do. Sweet. Nice. What you've been here? What do you have yesterday? Today, because I saw Will, other Will. Yeah. Was so, <laughs> um, so we we got in. I got in on Tuesday night, so we were here all day for setup yesterday, getting everything like built for the prize wall and for the little HQ setups, and then our exhibit hall, yep. and then um, I got to watch as all these glorious tables went up. So I've been here. I haven't been here 
too, too long. Um, Dallas and a couple of our other people got in on Monday, so they've been here for the whole week. Awesome. And what are your sort of your overall impressions of Adepticon as a whole? Oh, I love Adepticon. I mean, every year I think it can't get any bigger or can't get any more spectacle, and like it always does, right? Um, just the fact that we've, you know, we've we've seen the player grow so much. We have the largest, as far I was I was told, so far we have the largest uh, Legion tournament happening tomorrow with round yeah. one of the Worlds events. Uh, it's going to be 14 hours of nonstop Legion action. Let's do this. Uh, I can't wait. Ooh. I mean, that is an event right there. Um, so uh, we just we have, yeah, it's it's been wild and crazy to just watch everything. And like Hank's team and the Adepticon staff, they do such an incredible, like every year you come and there's new terrain, there's new tables, there's new, like, so... Yeah, it's it's been it's been amazing. I, I love Adepticon. I love seeing where it's going. Oh, now we're on camera. Look at me. Yeah, he Hi. threw us on camera. <laughs> there he is. And then I'm hiding John, behind. John's the, literally John's the under big the monitor. He's just under there. Yeah, he's right. just a monitor. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. He's, been his job you just <laughs> peer out, you know. <laughs> John, after you, you got the next one? Uh, yeah, so have you been able to watch many of the Legion games yet? Or any you know, games, to be fair, as well. I honestly have not. Um, There's a we, lot going on. We yeah, started started the day, and uh, I I made the mistake of wandering uh, to go s see how Bagani was doing this morning, and then I got I got locked into doing uh, registration for all of the League events because oh, we no. had a line out the door for that, which was awesome. Um, so I got to meet a lot of people and basically give them the same spiel about how they get their cool prize tickets that we just talked about. Yep. Um, so that took until, I mean, I think we had a line until about 9, 10 or something. Oh, and then okay. I wandered over. Uh, I, I saw, like, I saw the event for Legion start. The, the LCQ started at, like, 7.30. 7.30 was Reg and got started. I think you guys kicked right. off at like 8 or something? 8.30? Okay. 8.30 was for LCQ. So yeah. so yeah, so I saw I saw the players like filtering in. I've seen some gonk racing. I've seen, so I've walked the hall a little bit, but I've been basically running back and forth between different spots. I just came back over from uh, the Armada section yep. and, and talking with those guys over there. So so I've seen I've seen speckles of games, but it won't be, probably be until Saturday where I can just like be free to wander around and stare over people's shoulders and really, a yeah, little. and start yes. you know start really getting in on their miniatures. That's cool. My favorite thing to do is walk over to a tournament table and just start picking things up and be like, "This is amazing! Oh, it's so cool!" And then <laughs> put them back, put back just randomly. <laughs> I don't do that, but it would be funny. What What do you think makes uh, Legion well unique and why why it's popular? What you obviously you come, come from a game design yeah, yeah. perspective because it obviously has many unique points to it. What do you think is the big one for it, though? I mean, you know, obviously, I think the first thing that draws people in is is Star Wars, right? Yep. Like, seeing seeing something that's multi-generational and as just um, evocative of people's imaginations as Star Wars, like, right away, you know what a Stormtrooper is, you can recognize Luke Skywalker, you know what Darth Vader is, you know what clone troopers look like. So I, I think that's the first thing, but I think what really, you know, Star Wars can only take you so far, and then I think what really what really hooks people in um, and and kind of like keeps them in the game or gets them motivated to go with the game. I think it's the, for me, there's a couple of pillars of what makes Legion Legion. One is the command card hand and how yeah. the construction of that hand and the way in which you play it throughout the course of the game has so much impact and can lead to big play opportunities. It's extreme, like it, it can make or break your game, absolutely. Yeah. That's what makes uh, Vader and Luke so strong mm -hmm. still is their command hand. They have yeah. six each, and, and they're great kits for both of them. Yeah, hundred percent agree. And, and knowing when you want to try to hard go for priority versus what you might lose in terms of your order allocation, yeah. uh, and potentially you know if you're playing a, a one pip for um, one of your characters or you built your character's command cards around like what they can do, those those things all impact. So you can say, okay, well I know I have to go first, but then I'm not going to have order control because my one pip that's left. You know, it only gives me one order typically, like, so I'm going to be drawn off the top of my stack. Yeah. What does that mean? And that, that leads into the second pillar, which is the order stack, right? The yeah, idea yeah. that your activations are not completely in your control, but through either clever use of uh, assigning orders or army construction, you can kind of mitigate some of that. Um, so I think those puzzles and those challenges start to bring things in. And then last, and then, you know, the last part, which may be the most important part for a lot of people, because 
you asked from like a game design and perspective. Like for me, those two things are the things that I think really make Legion stand out from other games that I played. And I played a lot of games. Yeah. But those are the those are the unique mental challenges. And when you get to the table and you say, okay, these are the things I have to think about, and they and they matter. You have all the classic miniature stuff, you know, positional elements, where am I deploying, where am I moving my forces, how are the objectives forcing me to like react to my opponent, what is my opponent doing to place pressure on me, how am I putting pressure on my opponent. But, you know, that order stack, that command deck, I think those are really unique. And then, of course, I think you have the, the theme of Star Wars, right? The, yeah. the, the, the places where that, that flavor can really come through, largely in the characters, because yeah. they're obviously more expensive, so they can do more stuff. But I think even when you look at some of like the through lines of, you know, Mandalorians being immune to Pierce because they have the Beskar armor, um, things like uh, Jedi um, and how the lightsabers are kind of thematic with the Pierce, um, and uh, and that kind of those kinds of things, right? I think I think those things. There's when you play, you can see Star Wars on the table. You can feel the movies playing out, and I and I think there's a lot of games out there that. You know, they struggle with hitting that theme. And our goal at Atomic Mass, especially since kind of like taking the reins on these games and building off of the foundations from them, has always been very focused on, okay, how do we get more Star Wars into the game? How do we get more narrative? Yeah. How do we get more theme into, the, into these units, into these ideas? Um, and it's a unique, you know, it's a unique challenge when you're talking about something like Legion because Legion uses a universal keyword system. So... At, at bare bones, when you deconstruct a character, when you deconstruct a unit, you say, okay, well, it's really just made up of these same rules that are on these same things. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. it's the combination of how those rules work that can create theme and flavor. Sometimes you can make new ones, but there's always that danger of if you continue to add universal rules to the cards, you don't actually have universal rules because... <laughs> You can only support so many before it's like, well, everyone has a unique rule, but they're all universal. <laughs> they could share at some point, but they don't. But they don't ever, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, so I think, you know, that's the other thing, right, is that it takes these elements, these, these really cool army game elements of command and control, combines them with some really good Star Wars, the Star Wars look, and then a lot of Star Wars, hopefully a, a growing amount of Star Wars flavor, and it creates an experience that makes you feel like you're playing out the movies, that it feels like you're in the general seat and you know you're you're enacting some of these big battles. That's cool. You've segued quite nicely into number f into the like, the next question, really, <laughs> which was like when you're uh, thinking what to create next in the game. Uh, how long does it go from initial concept to fruition? Yeah. So, I mean, so the the process actually is if we're talking about initial idea to final thing, um, it could be as long as five years. Wow. Because. Wow. Whoa! Um, I, I wasn't. That was yeah. Well, so and 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 really, what that means is, is that we we plan a minimum of five years ahead. My yeah. job is to have a roadmap, to that know where sense. we want to go, to have an idea of like how are we going to get there. And because you have to structure, you know, the way in which these lifestyle games grow, the way in which it, one unit can impact the entire meta versus a faction. How are you growing these factions in ways that are offering players new opportunities, that are pushing boundaries of the meta and keeping the game experience fresh, exciting players and their imaginations, letting them innovate. There's a lot of stuff to it, right? So you have to have a long-term view of, I think this is where we're going. Now, just because we have an idea at a mark and we have a five-year plan, it doesn't mean that five years from now, yeah. we've, we've like, com like it's not a solid map. It's a, it's a general, like, we think we're going in that direction, Yep. right? But we might yeah. veer left or right, depending on what's going on. So five years is about the idea. Like, we have ideas out from five years, and we say, we think these are the things we're going to make. Now, there might be a piece of Star Wars media or an opportunity with LFL that comes in, and it's like, yeah. okay, well, we're going to shift. Um, when the work really starts is two years. It's a minimum of two years to create hard plastic miniatures with all the rules, with all the art. Like, that's our timeline, and it's okay. very immutable. Um, you can shave some months off here and there, but it requires doing things that we don't like to do unless there's a really good reason to do it. So we've built everything around the fact that, you know, two years we can make what we believe are the best miniatures and the best rules that we possibly can. Yep. And so here's what we're going to do. So those ideas, once we get in that two-year cycle, you know, from that point, it becomes less of an idea, and we start making a concept. We say, okay, this is what it's going to do. This is how it's going to fit within the general army or right. within the faction, or this is what it's going to add to the game. These are the design beats for development to hit. This is the art that we're going to need. These are the kind of, like, cards that we envision needing, yeah, yeah. The, whether it's command cards, upgrades, unit stuff, whatever. And from that point, you know, 
we start really banging out everything. And so development starts, development gets basically about 18 months um, or more, depending on kind of what the complexity of the thing is. Sculpting starts right away. So sculpting and development are kind of working concurrently. And there's a lot of cross-checking where it's like, okay, if the concept says he's going to have like, you know, the DC-15 long blaster, uh, if it's a clone, clone unit or a clone character or whatever, then if development suddenly changes their mind or sculpting suddenly changes their mind on something, they have to communicate that to make sure right. that it gets reflected in the rules if it matters or whatever. Like this character is going to be equipped with X, Y, and Z. Okay, well, the sculptors need to know that. And if the sculptors are like, well, why doesn't work because of these reasons, yep. then development either goes, okay, well, we'll just kind of hand wave it that it's there or we'll remove it and come up with a new idea. Um, artwork happens typically after the sculpting or after the sculpting stage is, is in process because it takes a little less time. And then once we have all these elements together, our amazing graphic design team has to get has to get them all and then create them into products. Right? They have to lay out the cards, they have to Man. lay out the packaging, they have to do all the photography. So it really doesn't become a thing that players get to have until they're done with it. And then by that point, it then we then send it off to Asmodee, who is our publisher. So we as the studio actually don't manufacture anything. Yep. Um, we create all of the files and all of the things they need, uh, and then we turn it over to the publisher to create. So you think, like, a great example is kind of like how old school record companies used to work, yeah. where the band, we make the music, but they print the records. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I've got this cool and, album. <laughs> yeah, and so, and so, you know, even though we're done with our work at that point, the real work of manufacturing and production happens, and that's a consistent process with them. Uh, back and forth as they work on getting the things actually made, actually manufactured. We have to have a lot of conversations about tooling and how the factory is going to cut the different parts, yep. how the mold layouts are going to be. Um, we do a lot of proof checking and then eventually it gets on a boat and then provided that you know there aren't somebody shooting rockets at people across canals or anything, the boats wind up getting to places and we release on a global on a global release date. That makes sense. Okay. On a sort of a follow-up to that development thing, is it You've got so the, the the miniatures have changed drastically. The plastics changed, and also then you and, and then it's changed in terms of the sculpt. Mm -hmm. Wet the feedback from the community that has been like pretty po very positive. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Uh, what, sorry, I recall last year's stream concept stuff coming out. So the the, mm -hmm. the future stuff as well. How long is that? Where's that? How long does that sort of take to sort of design an in intricate mini miniature? I'm not a graphic designer. I'm not a designer. How long is it like a sculptor from? Like to sculpt? From sculpt to think. Do they have to like design it, make an initial, see how it looks, and then go from there? Is it, I'm yeah. Not, uh, so the so the sculpting process to get to miniatures is, um, it's interesting. It usually like to go from a sculpted or like from a miniatures concept to a final like in stores miniature yeah. is about 18 months. Okay. Um, and with with a large amount of that being like production and tooling and stuff. But effectively, what happens is is that uh, the way a miniature is birthed is the like art first. team, yeah, the art team under Dallas will create a concept. So he and I, Dallas and I will work together and we'll say, okay, this is the thing that it's supposed to be. So I will pull reference from the LFL archives, we'll identify, you know, this is the costume, this is the equipment that they're supposed to have, this is all this. And that concept goes to both development and to uh, the designers and the miniature sculptors. That's cool. From there, Dallas and the art team will start sketching out poses. So if it's a single character, we'll have a smattering of poses. We'll say, we like this one for the character because we think it looks great. It's going to look really good in miniature. If it's a unit, we'll have a number of them. So we like, guy doing this, guy doing this, guy doing this, right? right? right. And you'll pick those. From there, that concept gets sent to Marco, who leads the sculpting uh, team. Uh, he works with a great guy called Mike Jones who is the uh, sculpting manager. He actually works with all of our freelance sculptors across the world. He sends out different jobs to all of them. And then the sculptors start working in their various uh, digital programs. Yep, yep. They'll turn over. So there's a lot of iteration that happens between Mike, uh, Marco, and everyone else, right? Eventually, when they believe that that job is final, it comes back to the studio. We print it out as a 3D prototype. And then a number of us sit down in person, and we have what's called a cam. And during the cam, we're actually reviewing the 3D printed sculpt. And the reason that's so important is because when you look at something on a screen, whether it's a photograph or a three-dimensional CAD modeling program, you're only seeing it in two dimensions. Yeah. Like yeah. the CAD program cheats, and it, and it does things to make it look 3D on the screen, but it's not. And so the only way you can really tell if something is sculpted correctly to the scale 
is by seeing it in person. And there's a thing like that people don't notice, which is as you start to shrink things, certain proportions have to be adjusted yep. for the eye to read it properly. So for example, if you take a miniature, if you take like a miniature stormtrooper or whatever, and you blew it up to real proportions, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that thing's hands are insane. You know, the hands would be the size of somebody's like <laughs> head. The, the head itself would be like a bobble head. Yep. But it's because as you start to shrink things down, the eye needs these certain cues and it needs these certain distortions in order to read properly. Didn't know that. So yeah, the neither. fact of the matter is, is that when you look at something, you say, that miniature looks amazing. It's so proportional. When you look at it on screen or if you blow it up into anything that doesn't show it at accurate scale, the proportions are off. Wow. The eyes are way bigger. Like They all look like gray aliens because their eyes are super huge. You have all these different <laughs> accounts that you have to do for this stuff. And so... So we have this cam, and that's when we're looking at the thing in 3D, and we say, okay, this needs to change proportionally. This is too big. This isn't reading right. We don't like this pose, or it's obscuring this. This isn't printing properly. And so it goes through a process. That's not done by the sculptor. That's done by our engineering team. And oh, our engineering cool. team is really, they are the secret heroes that make everything possible. Because you can have the best sculptor in the world, but the fact of the matter is, is that their sculpt is probably not going to be manufacturable. Yep. So the engineering team goes in, they adjust all of the different they adjust all the different proportions, they do all the final tweaks, they make the thing as, as perfect as it can be based on the original sculpt. And then they go through the process of working at the factory to determine, okay, this is how we're going to part it, this is how we're going to cut it, we have to remove this detail here for undercuts, all these different considerations. That whole process takes about four to five months. And then by that oh, point, wow. it goes off to the factory, and the actual manufacturing and tooling process starts, and we, and we do all yeah. that. We get shots back, we check the shots, we make sure they fit together. If they don't, we have notes to the factory. So it's, it's a very long and intensive process, and it's part of the reason why we've really carved out that two years is the minimum. Yep, that makes um, sense. So when we do things like roadmaps and stuff, you know, like the roadmap we're gonna have on Sunday, um, where we're gonna show off a bunch of things, that stuff typically is all within a, a calendar year. It's, we're usually only showing stuff about 12 months out. Yep. Because at that point, we're very confident in the fact that it's gone to manufacturing, that we know that there's not going to be any major hiccups. And, and it's to a point to where you know, we can show it in a way that people are going to be like, what is this nonsense that you're putting on the screen? So it was this time last year. <laughs> it was the, actually, it was at Adepticon last year. It was Bad Patch revealed, was yep. it? And yep. yeah, that's it. Now take the next one. Our next question. Let's yeah, see. Uh, bang. How frequently might we see balance changes going forward? Um, kind of like yearly or six months mm -hmm. or? So, um, you know, I think we talk a little bit about this at our mini extravaganza panels or just in general. Our, our desire as game designers and developers, right, is to have as minimal impact as possible on the meta and the community yep. uh, to have on the games. Because every change you make has a ripple effect oh, absolutely. that can massively yeah. affect other things. And so every every time you go in and adjust something, even if that thing looks clearly broken, the reality of the situation is is that you may have unintended consequences that cause a bigger problem down the line. It's so hard to predict. And when you consider the fact that we are balancing and playtesting new releases that are two years in development, against things that as they live now, right? We don't know if we're gonna make an errata change or a yeah. balance change until we make that determination, right? So there are things that are currently in print that we can't change that may be affected by an errata change that could be catastrophic, that could have a yeah. game-breaking effect. Yep. So every time we make a change, we have to say, okay, well, what what is unchangeable? How does this affect different things? With that in mind, we're very hesitant to go in and make and have like a regular schedule. We do, we're constantly reviewing things, we're constantly taking in community feedback, looking at tournament results, looking at community chatter, talking to our playtesters, talking to our judges, talking to members of the community that, that have a good sense of what's going on, talking to our retailers and everything else, right? We want to take as much data in as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then kind of consolidate and determine, okay, these are, the, these are the items that are hot right now, we'll watch them. We want to see if the community can solve them. A lot of the times when things come out, it's just somebody in the community hasn't innovated a way to beat it yet. Yep. And that's knee-jerk reactions are not only bad because of their unintended consequences, but they also can be bad because if you're always coming to the rescue, quote unquote, of the community because something is currently dominating or strong arming the meta, you're you're denying the players the opportunity to find the tools yeah. that exist in the box to solve it. Now that doesn't that doesn't mean that I like believe that there's always a solution. Sometimes there's not. Sometimes we make mistakes. Right. We as game developers are not perfect. And the, the reality of the situation is, is no matter how much we test, no matter how hard we work, we can't replicate in two years 
yeah. what the community can do in a month. Because the community is global. It's yeah. huge. It's, it's massive. Huge. Um, and so our goal as, as kind of like what we try to do is make sure that everything is as locked down as possible and then we release it into the world and we see how it organically grows. And most of the time we're pleasantly surprised by how people utilize things in different ways or think of different things. It's a long kind of answer to your question to say, we don't hold to a regular yeah. kind of update yeah. schedule. I don't see a world in which we would ever commit to a six month schedule yep. because it's just too fast. You wouldn't even know how the last six months changes affected the next six months changes, That's right? Fair. You can't even test within that period. A year itself is pretty tight yeah. because like, how long does it take for people to reset their expectations to relearn like the errata balance adjustments and stuff? I, you know, overall, I think where we kind of wind up is like somewhere within that 18 month to 24 month cycle yeah. where it's like, we have enough data, we have enough knowledge, we have enough testing time to say we are very confident in what these things will do. Yeah. Um, and you know, the, the reality of the situation is, is that we're moving into that point. Like when we took over, when we took over stewardships of the games, there were things that, you know, the community felt like needed to be addressed. We felt like needed to be addressed. We kind of have been working through that stuff. As we become more confident and comfortable with the game, so we, as we've kind of stepped fully into our role of working on these things, which I think we still have some space to go as well, um, and become more intimately familiar with these game designs, it's always hard to take over designs that are not your own, right? To, to learn and to think like other people thought. Oh, yeah. And, and so I think what, it, you know, what these last few years have been for us has been kind of a, okay, we understand or we're learning what the original intent of, you know, what the FFG designers did or what they were thinking, what this unit was supposed to do or maybe what it was aimed to do. We can see very well what that was. How would we have done it a little differently or we wouldn't have done it that way or maybe we have future plans. How do we want to expand? How do we kind of merge these two, right? How do we make a blended home in a way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, because yeah. we're not, we are the step parent in some ways but we want what's best for the kid that, we, that we've taken in. We want to see them grow and thrive and be amazing, but we're not gonna do it exactly the same way. So how do we, how do we make sure that you know, we're balancing that against what the future comes from and what's gonna work best for us to take these games long-term into the thing? And, and so we did, have a, we did have a number of adjustments. You know, we kind of worked off of the original Fantasy Flight um, release schedule and they were very aggressive with kind of the points updates and stuff. And that was a mentality that was a little bit, you know, it was nerve wracking to us, especially at the time. But I think it was necessary to kind of move into that and we've spaced them out more and more. And I think we're getting to a point now where comfortably, right, 12 months to me feels very aggressive for where the game is and, and how the state is and where we are with everything in our future plans. But obviously it's not that we're never gonna touch anything yeah. ever again, right? Uh, you always have to come in and tend the garden and you have to like, you have to trim some weeds back. And if there's a major issue, we're obviously gonna solve it. Um, but I would say, you know, more than a year is the ideal, right? Like somewhere between 18 and 24 months, that's like, that's the minimum amount of time you want to go to let a community breathe, to let, to let new releases live, to let problems kind of be solved through organically. both organically yeah. through the community and also from testing on ourselves, right? Like I said, every single change you make has a dramatic impact. Yeah. And the one thing that also from just a perspective of having a platform to talk about these things, right? Is that I know a lot of the times when issues happen, right? They can feel from a player perspective, because I've lived it, I've been there, I've been a player for a lot of these games, right? When something doesn't work or it seems broken or there's a problem, you can, your immediate reaction is they should just fix it and they should fix it this way. And even if the solution seems very clear, yeah. the reality is, is that it, there's more to it. But also, you know, the idea that we are, our silence is indicative of the fact that we've accepted this problem as okay, or that we don't believe there's a problem, or we're not working on it, right? I, I wanna assure everyone that that is just categorically untrue. We are constantly taking every bit of feedback and yeah. talking about it, big and small, to try to see is there val is there validity to it? Is this something that we need to like? We have a we have a we have a DefCon board at the office <laughs> where it's all these things that we've listed out, and, we're, and every week we're like, does it move up? Is this are we at the point to where like this needs immediate address? I would love to be a fly on the wall for that. Uh, yeah, just to know just, what's just, on that wall. Yeah, just want to know what's there. <laughs> so that, I, I mean, literally, it's it's, it's almost everything. Oh, you okay, know? yes. It, <laughs> it's because somebody somewhere has said something about 
every single thing in this game being unfair, overpowered, broken, whatever, uh, not good enough. You know that also gets on the board. This thing is just so terrible. No one will take it. Okay, do we need to uh, do we need to bounce or add it to bring it up? I think I think every player can sit and say. I've got an idea about something to change. Yeah. And I, I know oh, I can, yeah. I know you can. Oh, yeah. Everyone probably can say, I would do this, I would do that. Someone might say, oh, Pathfinder. Someone might say, Rebel Core or whatever. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got an idea of what they think would be, the perf would be their perfect world mm -hmm. in that sense. Yeah. Um, and, and all of those things, right? Like if it's, if it's a piece of data that gets spoken into the world and we can find it, yeah. again, whether it's a retailer talking about it, whether it's here at a convention talking about it, whether it's online, you know, any place. The dev team is voracious for data, right? They can never have enough data. And so it all, it kind of all winds up yep. on the board. That's a lot of it doesn't get brought up, you know, every week, but it's all there. So that board is just, it's kind of everything in a way. You've, we've segued quite nicely into the, into the penultimate sort of question, really. So when you design the new stuff, uh, when you design units for each faction, do you, uh, well, obviously you will, but like how, bigger part is faction identity mm -hmm. a part of that i.e. the Republic share the share all the stuff and defensive tech or whatnot and the red saves um, the separatists order control that sort of thing and where um, and if you do what do you see as the uh, when you do sorry what do you see as the identity for rebels and empire sure because it's like they they do everything whereas mm -hmm. the other two have a fit what do you what do you think or what, what how would you design them in that head yeah so so I think there's like there's a couple of different there's some there's some mixing going on in your question right from my point of view absolutely fine. so like token sharing and like AI right um, or droid droid rules for the separatists those are mechanics that do separate them and they're things you have to consider but they're not necessarily the identities of oh, those okay. factions right like I would say so they are things like those two things specifically because they're there are absolutely things you have to design around. You have to be aware of token sharing because yeah. it can completely blow out a unit's power level. Absolutely. And we've seen it, right? We've seen Rick's how out. problematic that rule has been just based on the number of times it has been toned down or addressed in some way. Mm -hmm. um, so we do take into the, those things into account. But I think when you talk about faction identity, it, it's larger than just a mechanic or a shared kind of through line on a universal thing. Like for us, Right, when we look at faction identity, what we're looking at is, you know, we're saying, okay, what is it to be, what is it to play Galactic Republic? What, what are the big notes that players want out of that? And for us, you know, what we've identified for Galactic Republic is, it's an elite army. They're typically outnumbered, but they have kind of the best of the best. Red saves is a great example of that. Like most Republic units will have red saves because there aren't that many of them, but they are well equipped. They are the yep. elites, right? They're bred, they're cloned and trained for war. Uh, and it's all they know. And they, they can kind of rely on the best of equipment. But they're typically going to struggle against higher activation lists, right? Um, they're, they're not going to attrition super well. So once that attrition ball starts rolling, it's going to be a more uphill battle for them because there's just not as many of them on the table. And so once you have those kind of ideas in there, and then, of course, you have the, like, the idea of brotherhood, right? You want to see clones working together. You want to see every clone should care about every other clone. Yeah. You want to feel that connectivity between those units. That's kind of the token sharing thing. Yeah. That's the idea behind it. Um, and then, of course, you have Jedi, right? What is a Jedi? How does that work? They, get to they have access to the most Jedi, the most Force users. Um, how do you play into that? I know, there's like a bell going on right now. There's a bicycle it's wild. just literally yeah, riding it's, behind it's me. It's the minute. beer cart. Um, oh, is it a beer cart? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. there you go. So, so then you take those things and you say, okay, how do, how do those influence like what unit choices? How do we, how do we work around? Because part of faction identity, identity is about their strengths, but also their weaknesses. Yeah. So if, they're, if they have low activation count, how, what are the tools that you can give them to mitigate that? What are some of the things you can do that make that, make that necessarily not go away because then everything's the same, but how do you do things that will allow them to compete in ways that are meaningful, that give players options and opportunities. And in those things, you can often find how to create new meaningful units that add value, right? Um, wh whatever those may be, or new upgrade cards or new command cards, things like that. Separatists, we look at, like for me, the faction I did in the Separatists, is, they're kind of like the Star Wars undead army. They're, it's, you play them like these hordes of endless like rank and file troops that just grind you down. Yep. They're yeah. terrible on their own. Like <laughs> like a child could beat one of them, but a child can't beat ten of them, right? Is that the old right. question of how many how many 
how toddlers. Many, how many toddlers and how many yeah. ducks do you reckon it'll take before you lose? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so when we're looking at that, right, it's it's always a question of, you know, they're going to have the lower lower stats, but they're always going to have this numerical superiority. They do have, you know, higher grade units like IG units and, and things like that, but the programming is really unique. Like, how does the AI system play in? These are obviously rules mechanics that express. But then you have the idea of like the you know the super tactical droids or the the leaders of the separatist army being kind of like the necromancers. How do they how do they enhance the droid army? And these some of these concepts I'm talking about we haven't really seen yet. So but these are the ideas that are going through our heads. So like how do we integrate you know talking about going back to that blended home and where we're going in the future? How do we get more of this faction identity out of them? Yeah. How do we start to really diverge these factions and this game into a way where every faction has a very unique feel? Right. And and one that is indicative of what a player who comes to the game like would want to play. I want to play the elites. I love the clones because they're bonds of brothers yeah. and they, they have the best of the best. I want to play the droids because I want to crush my enemies under this merciless like machine of droids. And the droids' deficiencies are made up for either in quantity or through their AI systems. Uh, a little bit of this comes through in the experimental droids yes. battle force, right? The, the whole concept of the idea of the super tac droids being able to spend these tokens to enhance the abilities of their things, it goes back again to feeling like, okay, how does, how does a necromancer make his skeletons better? He uses a little bit of necromancer magic and he <laughs> empowers them and stuff. Yep, yep, yep. So it's the Star Wars kind of equivalent of that because I think that's what you see when you watch those big battles on screen and stuff, that's what you see. Talking about the Rebels faction identity, you know, for us, it's really about, okay, so the Rebels are a scrappy group that's not coordinated, so they don't have great order control. They can't really rely on generals. They don't have a lot of heavy equipment. But what do they have? They have grit and gumption, right? They have a belief. And, and so what that means is, is that, you know, I think you see this a little bit in the fact that the Rebels have, you know, traditionally their, their blaster rifles are better, black dice versus white for the stormtroopers. Um, they typically are very survivable. They, they're cagey. They know how, how and when to strike and fade. Um, so playing into kind of those ideas like that, that kind of, that subterfuge, sabotage, dodgy, um, but uh, a force that, well, it has a belief in something, when pinpoint pressure is applied to it, it will kind of crack and it will start to fall apart. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's, it can't survive a strong grind because each rebel knows that their best bet is to run away to live to fight another day, right? They're not gonna win, they're not gonna win the galaxy in one engagement. Um, and then you have the Empire, right? The Empire is very command and control. And, and you talk about how the Imperial officers, the leaders of that army are so critical because unlike the clones who have this personal initiative and this belief that they have a brotherhood with each other and they're trained to kind of be these elite soldiers yep. that can operate without the overseer of a Jedi, the Empire is all about obedience, right? So a stormtrooper... I like the way you went yeah, like obedience. that at the same time. <laughs> we know. Um, so a stormtrooper by himself is not going to know what to do. They're, they are trained in a way that they will not deviate from orders. And so you talk about like, okay, you know, Imperial officers are the backbone of the, Imper of the Imperial Army because without them, a stormtrooper is going to be like, well, the, my last order was to stand here, yeah. and that's what I'm going to do because <laughs> if I don't do it, someone's going to choke me to death <laughs> with the force, right? But they also have access to, you know, they have access to the best heavy equipment, so they have a lot more vehicles and tanks, and their tanks should be of quality compared to other things. Um, they have, you know, they have a number of elite troops, and so the backbone of their force is, well, okay. The, unlike the Republic where their elites are centered in their core units, for the Empire, their elites are centered in their special forces, are centered in their like support choices yeah. and things yeah. like that, right? Yeah. And so it, you get kind of this, this inverse mirror of the Republic and it, you play a little bit off of that. We're like personality and personal initiative and trusting in the common soldier to be the best is the Republic version. The Empire version is kind of the opposite. Common soldier doesn't get to make any decisions. It doesn't get to do anything without it. Has no personal initiative. We rely on our, our specialized units and our Imperial doctrine to give us the needs to go over. And trying to play in more of that and to see more of that in, in those factions and how does that play into like units like range troopers or some of the other things that we've seen, dark troopers for instance, um, being a really unique one where we kind of got to flex our ideas behind 
how the Imperial units would really work in, a, in this kind of microcosm of things that are going on. Um, so that, that kind of comes down to like kind of the identities that, the greater identities narratively and thematically that we see and, and we really want to work towards while also making sure that the game maintains, you know, it's really great balance level and where it is right now. That makes sense. A follow up for that one. Community question this one. Mm -hmm. Major, major importance. I, I got you, I'm ready. Gungans, question mark. <laughs> Gungans, question mark. Well, there's a lot of ways to answer that one. Um, the, the, I think it's like, I, I, I think they're wondering where they are. Where they are? <laughs> oh, they're located in Naboo, but they live underwater, so they're pretty hard to find. Like, all their cities are hidden. Of course, that's it. Yeah, so, that's so, so yeah. you got to be able to swim really well. <laughs> so, yeah, no, but yes, that was, that was a, uh, that was a community mean, question. Uh, yeah, so. I, think, I think as far as, you know, I, we, all, we obviously see a lot of chatter for Gundan, Gungans, uh, Mandalorians, and things like that. I, one of the really, you know, one of the things that was so exciting, one of the very first things we did and worked on was, uh, you know, the... The, the finishing up of Shadow Collective. Um, and one of the developmental choices that we made as we were taking that product and those products across the finish line is that we reimagined what the scum and villainy faction, as it had appeared in X-Wing, yep. uh, could be. And we turned it into this idea of mercenaries. And then utilizing battle forces, we were able to take these mercenaries that now could have value to multiple different factions that the standard factions, but also then combine them into these thematic and very specific groups. Um, and that's important because, well, Legion is a player choice game, right? You, you can construct your army however you want within yeah. the rules. You can have things happen. You can have the Empire, you know, fight the Separatist Alliance. You can have Darth Vader fight Dooku. These things never happen in media and they never will. They're not canon, but we can do them on the tabletop. Yeah. The reality of the situation is, is that we are still, as game designers and developers, beholden to respecting the canon, to presenting things in a way that could be canonical. So even though you have the choice to play Legion any way you want, we have also made sure that the, the foundations of being able to play the game to the truth of the media, of the movies, is there. So like a custodian. Yeah, yeah. in a way. Um, and that's really important because there are people who want to express that, right? They want to play the game more historically. They want to see that. But it also shows, it also grounds, I think, the whole game experience in a way that's really important because it makes it feel real like Star Wars. If, if you go too far out of those bounds, it starts to feel less like, well, less what Legion wants to be, which is the very grounded, like, gritty, realistic kind of world of Star Wars warfare, right? Um, it's not the it's not the carefree laissez-faire kind of Saturday morning cartoon feel that Shatterpoint has, where today's enemy can be tomorrow's allies, and at the end of the day, no matter how bad it looks, though you know those characters have survived to show up next yep. week. Um, right. So, so with that, right, with Star Wars, there are consider or with Legion, there are considerations and things we want to be sure to be careful of. For example, you know the idea that you could play an entire rebel army of Ewoks. The Ewoks never left off-world, right? The, the Ewoks' alliance with the Rebel Alliance was very temporary and it was very exclusive to Endor. So player choice-wise, right, it would have been very difficult to do Ewoks in the game in a way that wouldn't have broken the canon in ways that would yeah. have been kind of difficult or weird to work around. But using the mercenary, the mercenary rule and the, and the battle force rules, we can let you play that Ewok army, but ground it more into the narrative and the, and the story of the canon, yeah. while also giving you the choice as a player to say, well, I want to take some Ewoks in my army, because Ewoks are cool, and then I'm going to pair them up with my Wookiees, and I'm going to have, like... Wall of fur. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, the, the army of fur. Fur Force. And uh, Fur Force 9, specifically, sir. <laughs> um, so, so that gives us the flexibility. And the reason that I bring all that up is because that opened up everything in terms of like what, what LFL and us can agree to do, what can be brought into this world. And so Gungans, I think, are very, very possible in the future based on the idea that, you know, Gungans did work with the Galactic Republic, but they were never official part of that army. Yeah, yeah. So much like Ewoks, right, there needs to be a way to canonically represent that and how the Gungans interacted within the canon of the story versus in the, you know, the story and the narrative of Legion itself as a game. And we have that. Yeah. And so the roadmap is there. Ewoks have shown it. Shadow Collective has shown it. 
Gungans, I have no doubt at some point we will see we will see the Bombad General Jar Jar <laughs> leading his troops to glorious victory on the tabletop. It's just a matter of time. Yeah, right? that makes sense. Gungan mercenaries. John, let's do go. you have any other business questions to follow up? I've got two little tiny ones, but that's about it. No, let's hear it. So the two tiny ones are one, anything you can spoil for us? Oh, I can spoil <laughs> everything for you, but you've <laughs> got to be that was in me, Nirvana. That was, that was me, bro, the yeah. cheeky British guy. Going. It's got to be, <laughs> it's it, gotta be in, it. in Nirvana at noon on Sunday, oh. and all with, the secrets will be revealed. I can deal with that. Actually, you guys are going to get quite the spoiler uh, tomorrow when they hand out the participation prize card for uh, Legion Worlds. Boom. That's good okay, to know. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and the other one, I forgot what the other one was because that's that, that was it, really. That was it. <laughs> that I mean, was pretty much it. <laughs> you got to close with spoilers, right? That's oh, just how it works. Yeah, yeah. That's how it works. <laughs> try, try some journalistic approach. Go, spoilers, anyone? That sort of thing. And uh, no, but um, Will, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely. Fully aware you are about to go behind me and go I see am. the guys over there. I'm going to pop over and see Professional Casual as I make my little stream circuit. Nice. Are you, actually, I remember what my last question was. Are you willing to put a little thing and go, uh, a unit that might win, uh, something, a force that might win, or a list that might win in the, in the, the worlds. Oh, do I have to pick oh. a list? No, pl not a player, but like a, a type a list? of list you think that might be the A the faction champion. or an archetype. Well, I, I mean, we got a pretty, we got a pretty good, we got a pretty good dark horse last year with the whole Black Suns and uh, Black Suns list. It was the pink horse. It, the pink horse, <laughs> yes. I'll tell Lila, will, I'll, she'll like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I. I'll chuck mine for you, and if it helps, it trick yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I think a well-piloted triple ATST Tempest. Oh, you think Tempest? I think just have a sneak suspicion if it's well-piloted and it's a triple ATST variant, not the trooper variant. Okay. Because it techs well into uh, the exper experimental droids, mm -hmm. which a lot of tier one players are trying. I'll tell you from from my from my personal heart, like mm -hmm. what my personal heart would love to see, I would love to see the ascension of the 501st because it's it's had oh, glimmers yeah, of greatness yeah. and I love an underdog. Uh, and and I think and I think and I think we've seen how powerful that list can be in the right hands yep. even with its lower activation count. I don't know if there's enough. I don't I don't know if even the greatest skill is enough to get it over the hump of this level of competition. It's a lot. But I would love to see it. So I would love to see it because so I love the 501st. A sneak, well, not a sneak, but a, a reaction from World Team Championships that took place in Spain in January. 501st, when it ended playing the 14 activation Ewok lists led by the French, who won the tournament, didn't fare because the activation count, they just went, well, I'll, you're going to kill them, and it took you so long, even with Sharpshooter from Arcs. Mm -hmm. They were managed to sneak around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that was so. Uh, lots of people obviously tech into the 14, 14 Ewoks. Yep. It's an interesting one. I'm loving it because I love. I love there's no one list that anything can do yeah. anymore. So yeah. It's so much yeah. fun. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much uh, for having me. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. Absolutely. Uh, I'll I'll stick my head into your little section every once in a while and cause problems. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> thank you very much. All right. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you. Right. And that was Will Schick. Uh, chat thank you very much for joining us uh, i hope you've had lots of reactions out i'm going to look through the all chat right, a bit i'll hand you your seat back <laughs> thank you thank you so much see you around thanks for all your hard work i know that yeah, this is not easy to do oh it's <laughs> a pleasure no, honestly it's a pleasure to do to be honest it's having so much yeah. fun and it's all good yeah. Yeah. um thanks for giving me your seat awesome oh, of course. So like zane's having a chat john first reactions on things gungans. from the interview gungans might be something oh gungans are definitely else. Else. Gungans are definitely in the pipeline. I think that's that, what I got from that interview. I, I, yeah, I got like, because they were, so we had to send them the questions in advance. So some of them obviously say, please don't do that, it's fine. Right. The, the fact that Gunga ones stayed in. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the, well, do you know what? That's game, that's uh, day one of, not day one, that's, uh, that's round two. Round two, first half of LCQ. Yeah, two games down. Uh, I've already lost count. Eight, thirteen, eleven to go. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And we still and we still have the power of retaining our voices. And and we've got a dancing, dancing. Zane. Hey, already is. Hey, already. Who invited me on? Um. Anyway, Zane. Welcome back, mate. Yeah. Thank you for sacrificing your chair. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Camera, oh, you're panicking, that's why. <laughs> oh, what is that? What's going on? Camera's falling. I'm going to say hello to Ollie while you have a chat. All right.
All right, are we gonna cut stream here? Because they're gonna restart round. They're gonna oh, put man. pairs up here in just a little bit. So. Yeah. All right, chat. Uh, hang in tight. Log back in in like two minutes. We're yep. just gonna close the stream and reopen it to. Yep. Just so we can we can save our uh, our video here. So All right. we will be back in just a second. Just 